All right, we should be live now, I, I think. <laughs> you just made it. Yeah. Hope everyone's doing well today. Oh, wait. Uh, you guys are muted for them. Okay, say something. A uh, hello. Okay, there we uh, go. I brought guns. Tired. <laughs> you saying I've got a gun just reminds me of that fucking Hellboy comic panel. Oh my god, he's got a gun! It's like just a fucking monkey or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, One of these man. days, we'll have a stream without technical difficulties. Clearly, today is not that day. Yeah. No, the difficulties make it fun. I disagree. It wouldn't be a stag. <laughs> yeah, Saddle it wouldn't be partner. a stag stream without it, though. Yeah. Saddle up, partner. We're on the way to difficulties. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, if our uh, if your internet starts to die and stuff, don't like feel free to go ahead and call them like during the stream because we need to get that sorted. So yeah. yeah. Um. If that happens, you guys can keep talking. Oh, I guess yeah. we should give the audience an update on that. So, I called my ISP about the fucking internet issues. They had me do a speed test, and they are like, yeah, everything's fine on our end. There shouldn't be any problem. Uh, it's perfect. I'm like, it's not. Anytime I stream, it fucking dies. Uh, what do I do? Do I just call when it happens live? And they're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, there I, you I, go. I, I love listening to a host call the ISP. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm going to be muted because uh, there's no reason for the audience to have to listen to me, like, waiting while shitty music is playing on my phone. No, it's entertaining. <laughs> I am not an entertaining person when I'm talking uh, It to will you. be if you get fucking super mad and start to I'll, rage. I will call <laughs> it for you. I, I don't normally do that. At, like, I don't think I've ever actually raged at customer support because that's just not the kind of person I am. Oh, it's like, yeah, they're yeah, dealing... You forget, you forget he's Canadian. Oh, yeah, it's true. So, so we can't be like, sorry, sorry, eh, sorry. No, you, you can sorry. rage at them, just make it funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's just not... That's not me. I, I can't do that. Like, I have to be mega, mega pissed off to... to uh, I guess, go off. Like, sometimes I'll get... The, the worst it gets normally is, like, I'll get a little short, like, yeah, thanks. But but even that's a stretch for me. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I'll I'll get pretty mad if, like, if I'm calling somebody and they just aren't helping whatsoever and, like, they're not even trying. Like, they're clearly not even attempting to help me, really. They're just, like, going by the numbers until I hang up. I will get pissed off. I'm like... Fuck you. Like, I, I go off sometimes on him. I'm like, you need to find a new fucking job. I I don't, but it's because I've had to do that in the past. I've had to do tech support in the past. And so have I. There's a, there's a reason yeah. why you go down the list, because 99.9% .9 of the time, that's the fucking problem. No, no all I'm... Is, is, really is it plugged in? It's like, it's like, all right, is your shirt plugged in? Yes, I'm sure it's fucking plugged in. I'm like, you'd be shocked. You'd be yeah, shocked I'm... the number of times that it's like, of course it's plugged. What the fuck? It's not plugged in. <laughs> I don't usually get mad at stuff by people for just doing that. It's it's usually just like when I call somebody and then it's literally just like, oh, well, you need to go talk to this person. Okay. I, I go talk to that person. Well, you need to go back and talk to this person. Oh my fucking God. I just went there and they told me to talk to you. Uh, I don't know why they did that. They're not supposed to do that. You need to talk to them. I go back. I try to talk to them again. They're, and they're just like literally, and sometimes they'll literally just be like, I don't know what to tell you, man. And then like the, they just won't even respond after that. They're just like, I don't know. And I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? The fuck? The, get, get a new job then. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vehicles of Peace Limited Edition says make the switch to Linux and you won't have issues again. I actually uh, finally installed Linux last weekend and god i love it i love it there's a lot of hiccups to it and like there's a lot for me to learn about this but i'm so glad i, I started the journey of of switching to linux so like right now i'm using windows for this stream just because i don't want anything to fuck up from my end but my god like the, the more efficient my computer is just without that 
operating system. I love it. Yeah. Uh, five dollars yep. from Public Road Scare Me. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> uh, glad to catch one more stag before I leave for Air Force uh, Country Club field training tomorrow. Oh, I hope that goes That's well. Godspeed. Yeah. Uh, membership message from Dry Complimentary. Thank you. Um, have you seen the Sonic Should Be Gay article by The Gamer? It pissed me off. I what? saw well, the it, headline. I didn't read it, though, but I, I did haven't see the seen headline. this. It, it's funny that you mentioned The Gamer because we're going to be doing one of their shitty articles. Have we covered one of their articles before? No, but we will today because <laughs> okay. the 25 glaring problems with Fallout comes from them. Oh, wow. Same fucking person. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw the headline for that article. Someone shared it in our... Uh, I think it was in the Suggestions channel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I did not read the article. I just saw the headline. It was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I need to look into that article. I, I'm a massive fucking Sonic fan, so I, I think that's going to be up my alley. <laughs> it's a you French mean, fry. <laughs> it'll definitely make you angry, probably. People are asking, like, what's the orange thing in my profile picture? It's a french fry. It's just Chrysalis eating french fries. That's all it is. I thought it was chicken nuggies. No. Um, a thick fucking okay. french fry. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It is a thick fucking french fry. What, have you never had thick cut french fries? I'm... Okay, I, I have had thick french fries. Look at the size of those french fries compared to her, like, eyes. Or her mouth. Yeah, They're it is fucking gigantic. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah fair, they are they are huge. Hold in on. comparison to her, yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, Big. And other, we live in a clown world news. Um, you guys want to hear something incredibly fucking stupid, and then I'll tell you where it comes from. Yes. Uh oh. So, uh, bees are now classified as fish. Uh okay. Let me let me grab this. Not the image I was expecting. <laughs> I I, uh, I opened up the Discord chat and, uh, you know, I, I had a notification, so I was expecting what <laughs> Seth was sending. It's just no, an image no. for Pagan's icon. Yep. <laughs> so, the, uh, I, I, let me, let me get this uh, up, because I talked about it in our uh, chat earlier, and I was like, what the f Um, the California Court of Appeals, a fucking course, has sided with the Fish and Game Commission with the interveners, the Xerxes Found or Society for Invertebrate Conservation against the Almond Alliance. <laughs> the fuck? It's the Almond Alliance versus the Fish and Game Commission with interveners, the Xerxes Society for Invertebrate Conservation. And they're saying that, well, we need to classify bees as fucking fish so we can bring them into Fish and Game Commission so we can protect them as an endangered species. <laughs> and the Almond Alliance is the name for a bunch of almond farms uh, and uh, conglomerates that are fighting against this. Because, like, this is fucking retarded. Bees are not fish. What the fuck is wrong with you? You'll take bees seriously when they're fish, fucker. Exactly. So, so as as uncivil law put it, uh, so if if you're if you're if you're, if you're a beekeeper, you need to go get your fishing license now, or else you're in trouble. No, beekeepers are now fishmongers. Exactly. Oh, it's like so. Wait, do we so do do we go get honey from from the fish markets now? I guess so. They're flying fish. This is the most retarded fucking thing I've ever heard of. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's even more if, retarded if, when you actually read the court documents. It if, is so much worse. If we're, There's always more and it's worse. If we're at the point where we need to classify bees as fish just in order to protect them because they're, what, endangered? Yes. I, I think that shows a massive failing of society. Like, why can't we just have a new thing just to protect the bees. Why do they have to be classified as fish in order to protect them? That is yeah, fucking no, magnum it retarded. No sense. It, it's so they can be brought under the Fish and Game uh, Commission. And it's like, 
What? And the Almond Alliance is arguing, why the fuck do we need the Fish and Game Commission to do it? Just make something new, goddammit. Yeah. yeah. Right, son, get over here. Dan's gonna teach you how to fillet a bee. <laughs> I like Threadnought's comment. Science, damn you, United Atheist Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, it, it's so fucking oh god, it's so shit on so many different levels. It's fucking amazing. Oh wow, that is beyond retarded. And oh, again, wow. this was the Court of Appeals. So the Almond Alliance won, and then the fucking game commission took it to the Court of Appeals. <laughs> and the Court of Appeals was like in California, so, you know, surprise, surprise, California are all fucking retarded. Well, <laughs> California Court of Appeals is like, yeah, no, fish, fish are bees now. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. You can't be serious. They actually approve that. Yes. So now oh they'll have to god. take it. The Alvin Elias will have to take it to this, the California Supreme Court to overthrow this. What the Hail fuck? the queen fish. We are literally in clown world. This we is really insane. are. It's oh my god. Of course it's fucking California. Of fucking course. Yeah, it is. Of course it would be. I want to grab a uh, comment to chat and the super chat quickly. Uh, Krito says, when is the next Halo show stream? That will be next week. Um, Flamenco said he usually isn't available on Sundays. So we're, we pushed that one back to Monday. Which works out because we are going to do uh, the second part of this one today. So it all works out. Yeah. Um, Two dollars from Skids. Thank you. New name. Some technical awkwardness guaranteed. Oh. Nah. Yeah, that works. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right, Threadnought it is. It, he said this is literally a South Park episode. Yeah. I could see this being a South Park episode. <laughs> yep. Well, I've, ever, I've ever told you about the birds and the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's just so fucking... Oh god. Oh, and not to mention the... Naturally, the Johnny Depp, uh, the Amber Heard thing wrapped up. Uh, mm -hmm. Johnny Depp won pretty fucking handily. Finally. Yeah. And... Yep. And, it, by god, it has truly become a case of the people that watch the trial versus the people that only read mainstream media. I just searched another but... trial that uh, we all watched several months ago. Yep. yep. And another trial, which was the Edgecombe trial, too. Like, holy fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... but I mean, the misinformation being spread is pretty much on the same level as uh, Rittenhouse. Well, it's the same thing in Edgecombe and in the Curtis Reeves trial. Like, it is fucking Looney Tunes. Uh, fuck it, after the Curtis Reeves trial, there are still people saying that he shot him over getting popcorn thrown in his face. It's like, uh, no. He was drawing the weapon after the guy hit him multiple times and then grabbed the popcorn as the weapon was rising and the dude fired as the popcorn came flying into his face. There's nobody that has enough reaction time to draw and shoot <laughs> within this, that span. It was like popcorn? a nanosecond. Yeah. Popcorn. The dude, they were at a movie theater and he, he, Curtis Reeves had asked the guy, hey, can you can you turn off your phone? And the guy, who it turns out has a history of being violent and getting in fistfights and stuff like that, started screaming back at him. So Curtis Reeves went to go get the manager. The manager said, they can't do anything about it, sir, please return. So he said, fine, whatever. So he, again, and Curtis Reeves was being a Karen. However, the dude was being loud and obnoxious. So, but he goes back and the guy, he sees that the phone has been turned off. He goes, man, if I, if I had known that you were to shut your phone off, I didn't want to go talk to manager. Dude literally stood up, started throwing punches, grabbed Curtis Reeves' phone, threw it in his fucking face, and then started going in for what looked like another punch. Meanwhile, after the phone cracked Curtis Reeves in the face, the dude was, Curtis Reeves was grabbing his gun and starting to draw it because that Curtis Reeves is like uh, an 80 year old man. Okay, he is getting his ass fucking laid out by a dude that is like twice his size and is fucking obviously a rageaholic piece of shit. And yeah, he fires one shot, just a single shot. It goes right through the the guy's wife's hand and then into his chest. Immediately drops him. Oh my god! Jesus yeah. Christ! 
Well, I, I don't blame the guy for, for pulling out his gun. Like, it, a, a punch can fucking kill somebody if you're not careful about it. Especially yeah. at that age. And it doesn't take man. anything. Yeah, yeah. at that age. Man. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take much of anything to kill you. Dude. So, yeah. And then the, the prosecution's case was so fucked up. So we, the wife is the most, like, unbelievable. But of course, of course the wife is lying out there. She's talking about how, because it was her left hand that had the bullet hole in it, but she was on the left side of the dude. And she said, oh, yeah, no, I reached across myself with my left hand to put on his, on his shoulder and say, there, there, sit down, honey. And it's like, I want you guys to take your, your left hand, reach across your entire body without moving your body, and try to touch what would be something that's a foot away from you. Just say so you try to Damn. catch the bullet. Yeah, oh, dude, it's fucking insanity. It's insane. Yeah. But, oh my god, fucking Amber has not taken this loss very well, and <laughs> it does just not... Be... Hang it, she just wants media. to be left alone. She just wants to be left alone. Remember. Yeah, she, that's yeah, what she, she kept just saying. wants to be left alone, guys. So, you know, I'm going to go on a me. We didn't win. Yeah. Oh, they cheated. The, the system is corrupt. It's about race, guys. It's about race. Yes, I was going to bring that up. The mainstream media is saying that this is, this is a crippling blow to black women. And I was like, what the f <laughs> Amber's a white bitch. What yeah, what the fuck about? does this have to do with anything with race? The fuck you talking about? It's insane. No, How I know dudes? I know where their line of logic is coming from. The line of logic is, well, if a white woman can't uh, win such an obvious case in her favor, then uh, women of color everywhere are doomed. It's like, yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's well, how many guys is right now? How many guys right now are looking at this like, can I have a shot? <laughs> 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 People were saying, they were saying, like, my God, the amount of simperies, like, you, you know that there'd be guys be like, you know what, if I hit it and quit it, though. <laughs> sorry. Meanwhile, everyone else is like, don't stick your dick in crazy. I'm sorry, this chat from Meme Night is fucking killing me. Amber Heard made her bed, now it's time she shat on it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a boy. Yeah, I love that that got confirmed, and oh, man. I love the fact she tried to say it was the dogs that did it, and yeah, Johnny starts fucking... laughing. And he's like, he's like, they're they're, um, it was the dogs. How do you know? They're they're teacup Yorkies. They fit in the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you they show the picture of the turd. And there's this massive steaming pile of red white shit. I am so <laughs> glad I did not see that image. My dog stepped on a fish. Yeah, this is what I was reading. <laughs> like, could you imagine my dog like, stepped on a fish? being in the fucking jury of all this? And you're like, I watched Aquaman. This, I can't do this anymore. Yes. Oh, God, that's what just made it so much funnier. All of Am... So, the way it got... The way I like to describe the trial, having watched it, was... Johnny had actual experts with integrity and ethics. They brought charts and numbers they had exhibits to showcase their points and amber heard brought the fucking bizarro world variant of them like in every case it was <laughs> fucking ludicrous dr Dupenschmertz, okay dr spiegel is his actual name but, yeah i was about to bring up that weirdo uh, talking about how ethics are just kind of a guideline and everything like that and <laughs> Oh, oh my dude. god, that is <laughs> It's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, <laughs> dude, just he guidelines. Actually, he actually said this. I shit you not. He got asked you so you diagnosed a person, in this case, Mr. Johnny Depp, without ever having met him. Yes. Do you realize that's unethical? Well, ethics are more of a guideline. And then they said, okay, how did you diagnose him? So already, that's already damning. How did you diagnose him? Well, I compared him to his role as Jack Sparrow. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> his, base, his baselines for if Johnny Depp had cognitive impairment was he watched a bunch of his movies and listened to how rapidly he would speak and emote and react to people's conversations and then compared it to Johnny Depp on the stand. Fucking kidding me! No, I'm not. 
Holy shit, it was a fucking clown show. Oh my god, and, that uh, is... Dude, the trial is like the greatest entertainment I have ever seen. I thought I thought Rittenhouse was fucking hilarious. Gage Grosskreutz fucking admitting, <laughs> admitting he didn't get shot until he took his gun out and pointed it at Kyle's head. <laughs> what would you rather have a lawyer, like a lawyer that uh, points the gun at people in the court, or having to look at Amber Amber Heard's shit in the trial? I I don't know, man. I I don't know, dude. It's, you, it was... I highly recommend watching the Amber Heard trial. It is the funniest fucking thing I have ever seen. Yeah, I saw some like snippets of it, and man, the shit I saw from it was so fucking funny. I didn't oh, tune in for the whole thing, but I did listen to quite a bit of it, both at home and at work. Um, quite the show. Yes. It, yeah. It it was really bizarre. Her agent fucking saying that this is what this was Amber Star on the rise, and and uh, Aquaman was the greatest movie of all time. There is literally no negative criticism of it, and there's especially no negative criticism of Amber Heard's acting. <laughs> Aquaman. I, yes! God, fuck that movie. <laughs> I saw Aquaman in theaters, and it wasn't very good at all. It was actually pretty shit. Jason um, Momoa is better as Conan the Barbarian than fucking Aquaman. I don't even oh, mind him as Aquaman if, if they at least give him some good writing. I think he can do it. Yeah, the that's problem the thing. is He's got good writing. He's a fucking great actor. The problem is, that entire movie is just fucking garbage, and... Uh, Amber is a terrible fucking actress. Like, my, you would have been better off with fucking Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie in her place in fucking Aquaman. No, that's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, damn it. I can't quite recall what that was. Yeah, somebody uh, made a joke in, uh, in chat that, uh, oh, fuck, where'd it go? Oh yeah, the whole trial was a hit piece against the muffin industry. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's so funny. So, Amber Heard's team literally had nothing to go against a lot of these expert witnesses, so they had to attack their character. So they attacked the, so they attacked the, the expert uh, psychologist, or uh, was it forensic psychology? I think was what uh, was what uh, Johnny Depp's uh, oh, team like was. Oh, like how she brought she brought muffins. Yes, to one uh, of the, the one of the meetings. The it's argument just, was apparently that the muffins were to butter uh, Johnny Depp up or something. No, 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 no. To Amber Heard, she brought it to a meeting with Amber Heard, and she said it was showing clear bias because her husband. She she would have then told her husband that who she was meeting with. That's the only reason her husband would have ever gotten her muffins. And she's like, I, I have muffins about every day because I'm busy. So I I run out the door, and my husband doesn't want me to starve. So he, he got me some muffins. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> the fact they that they actually to... tried to argue that 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 like yeah, well, her her having food yeah. means that she's fucking untrustworthy. Like what? Yeah, that the, the that she brought muffins and said, "Hey, my husband got me these. Would you care for one?" Uh, is a clear sign that she told her husband that she was she was diagnosing Amber Heard. But even funnier, even funnier, they they first tried to destroy her character by saying like. Yeah, and you went over to Johnny Depp's uh, mansion, right? And she's like, yes. And you met with him for several hours, right? Yes. And you had dinner there, right? Yes. Did you have sex with him? No. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, I was there with him and his lawyers. They are obviously contacting me for the trial. Bullshit! <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. I got a. I found a mint on my hotel room bed. It's a little sketchy. Oh, dude, it was so fucking like. Oh god, the trial was amazing. But you knew, you knew Amber Heard had nothing because again, they immediately went to attacking the expert witness's character, and and they did it every single fucking time. They attacked their character instead of attacking the argument. But even better was when they brought in their own experts and they would introduce stuff like. Yeah, and then the hashtag justice for Johnny Depp was so big, I had to actually cut it from the data because it, it dwarfed all the other data points. You couldn't see them on the graphs anymore. It's like, <laughs> dude, I need you to realize, it, okay, Elaine and Rottenborn, I need you to understand what you just did to your client. 
you just had your expert witness introduce testimony that there is a hashtag called Justice for Johnny Depp going around with millions of posts. Okay? Clearly, people have chosen in the public space. Do you understand what you just did? You just told the jury that the public is with Johnny Depp instead. <laughs> this isn't a trial. This is a gladiatorial arena. Oh, that's what mainstream media is arguing. I say, fuck no. If we hadn't seen this trial, I guarantee you, if we had not actually been able to watch this trial, there would be way more people on the side of Amber Heard be like, this is a, an abortion of justice. Like, no. Actually, having watched the trial, if you watch the trial and you realize all of her photo evidence was photoshopped, they actually got got to show that every single photo she submitted was doctored evidence. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. No way. Not just yeah. that. And she didn't... had a bruise kit. <laughs> she no... actually had a bruise kit to make bruises. No <laughs> medical uh, records of any of these severe beatings she apparently had. No pictures of the injuries. It was all written off as, oh, she just wore makeup. Um, oh, you can even... only do so much with makeup to cover these wounds. Oh, and, and Amica cream. It's, it's Arnica cream, but Amica cream is what Elaine said. Amica cream uh, lowers the swelling <laughs> from a from a broken nose and two black eyes at once. Yeah, Amica cream's doing some God's work, if that's what it was. Because the very next day she went on the fucking, um, uh, um, God damn it. James Corden. Yes, thank you. She went on James Corden and there was nothing. No evidence of anything. She didn't have a yeah. bruise, anything. It's but mad. even with... I don't know if you guys ever watched this this scene from Ed and Eddie where the Eds are in, are in a house and they're trying to ham it up as if they're getting their asses kicked and they see Ed getting choked and then and look a little closer and they they realize, oh no, it's just Ed using his big fucking arm to choke himself. Mm. That's yeah. what this whole thing feels like. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Because you think, uh, if you got... really did get beaten that badly, you would have plenty of pictures of it. Like, yeah. oh, well, my, my the... nose got broken, here's a picture from the front, here's a picture from the side. Here's a uh, three-quarter view, um, like, to the front and to the right or left, so you can get, like, all the angles of, yeah, look how bad this injury is. Not, yeah. oh, yeah, here's um, her on a show, and she used a little bit of makeup, and now it's just, she looks fine. Yeah, like, it's what? gone. There, there's literally nothing. You can't see anything. But And there's such, it... there's such a fucking hypocrite, too, because... They're trying to be like, oh, well, Johnny only came forward after this and such and such. And, you know, like he didn't say anything about this at that time. Like, why would he only come forward now? Which, one, he didn't come forward. He was suing, uh, what, what was it? The Sun? The Sun in the UK. Yeah, in the UK. Which, we could talk about that, how fucking rigged that trial was. Holy yeah, it was. Shit. But they're trying to use that fucking argument of like, oh, but he didn't do that until after that and such and such. And it's like, but what about you? You didn't go to any like any medical like hospital or the police or anything to make a record of any of this shit and to actually show your supposed tons of injuries. You never did anything. It wasn't until years later when you don't even have any evidence that you started saying this shit. So fuck yeah. you. You don't you don't get to claim that. Oh, it was so fucking funny, too, though, because Elaine's like, we should have been able to bring up that he lost the UK trial. I was like, should we really have brought up the fact that the judge's son worked for the son? Like, the judge's own son worked for the newspaper currently being sued, and the judge was in the was being paid by members of the media. And, oh, my God. Wasn't the trial his wife UK, also... Wasn't his wife also a massive Me Too advocate? Yes. The the trial in the UK was, was a, a sham. fucking sham. Yes. Yeah, a complete kangaroo court. Uh, in fact, she's now actually being investigated for perjury charges in the UK after this trial came up. Good. Like, Wait a minute. Good. All that stuff Fuck was her. a lie? <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. Nice. You know what? Oh, Fuck dude. it. The, the rapes from I Spit It On Your Grave are real. Just, <laughs> you, you might as well continue that. <laughs> Oh god, it's fucking insanity. Uh, but yeah, it's just insane to me that like yeah, that they would try to claim that like, oh, he didn't come forward till this time. It's like, okay, well, what's your excuse then? You did the same thing. At least he has evidence. At least he has actual pic pictures of injuries that he actually went to the police for. My favorite one was that there were there were pictures submitted 
and Amber Heard submitted two pictures to show like her her swelling of, of an uh, injury she got when he slapped her in the face. Um, and he, he hit her real hard, and it was bright red cheeks, right? Well, there was another picture that looks suspiciously the same, and in fact, they they brought on an expert. Johnny Depp's team said it's like, yeah, these are literally the same picture. Like, the, no, the okay. Amber said clearly that this picture, this other picture, was taken after she turned on a light. And it's like, no, that's impossible because every single strand of hair is literally in the same exact position. Not not just that. Go turn the light on. Uh, and get back into the exact same position with every hair in the exact same position within a millisecond. It's not possible. Yes. Yeah, better. That Johnny Depp's expert got to show a fade between the two pictures, and they are literally fucking identical, except one picture that Amber Heard says shows the swelling and everything like that has clearly been fucking color corrected. Yeah. Like, really blatantly so. Dude, every single one of her photos was fucking fake. Holy shit. Every single one had been through photo editing software. Uh, looks like we're having some uh, stream yeah, issues here. It. Yeah. The funny thing was, was the fact that they tried to claim that um, this will set women back because it's clearly if Amber Heard had all this mountain of evidence and it wasn't enough, then there go. You'll never get it without any evidence. It's like, the problem is she had a mountain of evidence and none of them showed injury. In fact, the, the after the Australian incident, which she alleged some horrific shit, like thrown into glass, dragged across broken glass, feet sliced apart, raped with a maker's mark bottle. And like she, she said some horrific shit happened. And then she took pictures of, of writing that was on mirrors, but convenient. What was even worse that it was a maker's mark bottle. Wax would fuck you up. Holy shit. Wax is not like... Guys, just, just try grinding... Uh -oh. For some reason, OBS isn't recording anymore. It stopped at 1751 and the number hasn't moved since then. Uh-oh. It shouldn't be full because it's still got 45, it's 46 oh. gigabytes left. Uh, you started roboting there yeah. too. We, we could tell what you were saying, but you were starting to robot. I guess it's time to call the ISP. Yeah. Uh, what a show of calling the ISP, yes. No, I'm meeting well, my do. side. Well, you, you guys keep that. going. Yeah, yeah well, we'll keep that. talking. We'll do, the, we'll do the super chats. Uh, Five dollars from Scoopmeister. Thank you very much. Didn't Amber portray a redhead? What if this was all an elaborate scheme to remove yet another redhead act uh, character, real or otherwise? She does seem kind of uh, vindictive like that. Uh, I know some other <laughs> cats went in, but I think my chat busted. Yeah, there's the doco, and I think there's one more. Yeah, here we go. Peace with an option with five dollars. Thank you very much. Johnny Depp will forever be known as the first man to win an argument with a woman. <laughs> yeah, I saw that shit. Dude, absolutely true. Again, the the family courts especially are so rigged in favor of the woman. It is ridiculous. It has actually been called the cartel of family law. Win, and the lawyers can rake in a ton of money by destroying the man. That, that's their entire purpose. It is a truly fucking disgusting business. It is dirty as shit, and it's a, it's a common playbook tactic. They go and get a temporary restraining order. doesn't matter if the allegations are false or anything. You just allege that things horrible happen. They then get the temporary restraining order because the judge wants to err on the side of caution that a victim is coming forward. And then you use the evidence that the judge granted the temporary restraining order to say, see, they wouldn't have done that if it wasn't true. Well, congratulations. Now you've set up the unwinnable scenario for the man. The man can't do anything. Gave the temporary, like, hey, yeah, a victim came forward. They need protecting. So now it's in court record that they needed a temporary restraining order. So it doesn't even matter if there was no evidence given. And now that in and of itself is being used as evidence that see therefore everything i say is true so you must now destroy him in every aspect you must take away his livelihood and everything and then while the man is out trying to fight it the woman goes back changes the locks in the house to literally make the guy homeless and kick him out and this is what amber heard did she tells on how to destroy a man thankfully johnny depp is not your average man he has multiple homes he could go to but holy fucking shit yeah. See, that's that's uh 
I don't want to get married, man. I I just I don't want to go through that shit. Yeah, or if you do, make sure you get a prenup. I don't care how much you love her. You get a prenup. Yeah, you always get a prenup. <clears throat> yep. Oh okay. man, I just realized what a missed opportunity. I should have changed my uh profile picture to that base border patrol officer uh where they watched the first episode. That's all all I've seen so far though is the first episode. I haven't watched anything of Kenobi at all. Yeah. I have abandoned Star Wars completely. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm the same. I Mandalorian was dog shit. Book of Boba Fett was even worse. And yeah, like, I, I get, I get that shitting on what's going on with with uh, Disney Star Wars is like the in thing. It, it gets you views, it gets you clicks. But I, I'd rather just find something I, I would be able to enjoy if if I've abandoned Star Wars at this point. For me, it, it died when Disney said that the uh, expanded universe is no longer canon. At that yep. point, it was like, what the fuck? Why why would I get invested with this shit? Yeah, yeah, it's so that they wouldn't be beholden to things that are written by someone else, and it, it's Fuck it's it. always Lucas, the same shit creators. If hey, we Lucas see it every time. To do that, so could they. Fuck them. Yeah, we again we see it every time. Every single time, it's these awful storylines. Oh. Fucking time with these shit heel writers. It's the same like playbook. It's the literal it. It's literal the fucking NPCs like following their normal quest chain. At least EFAP makes it entertaining to watch, though. Like, they shit all over it, which makes it funny, so. Yeah. That's the only way I could watch it. Like, there's no way you're going to be able to get me to sit down and watch an actual episode of Kenobi. There's no way. <laughs> but I'll watch EFAP, like. Abuse shelters that are actually being like, hey, yeah, we, we can now actually speak up that we exist. Because here's the yeah. thing. Women abuse shelters, they're ubiquitous. They're all over the place. They're everywhere. And you need them, right? But male abuse shelters. Well, no, that's not allowed because that goes against the narrative of men are the abusers and the brutes and they can never be the victims. So male abuse shelters are usually firebombed, attacked. Uh, the staff are usually beaten. Like, it, they get run out of town because they, they're not allowed in the racket. It, that is the family court system. It's fucking... Well, it is truly disgusting. Yeah, yeah. So if you are a male abuse victim... Uh, before the Johnny Depp trial, like, folks wants to go to the homeless shop. And, yeah, it, it's, it, was com it was a completely fucked system. Yeah. People are asking how much Cree pays for his ISP. Well, the thing is, I don't think it's his ISP. I think it might be his modem. Yeah, could be. Don't I think Canadians you should get a router. Have, don't Canadians usually have really shitty internet, too? Well, that is the joke, yes. We, I joked about that a while ago, too. Yeah, but I don't know. They... Granted, the USA much better. Let's just let's just be frank here, honestly. Yeah. Unless you're willing to pay out some ridiculous amounts of money. Assuming that his ISP is telling the truth and that everything is good on their end, the only thing I could think of is maybe it's his modem. Because yeah. I did have a really shitty modem as well for a while, and I kept having issues. And then once I got a really good router... I didn't have any problems anymore, so I'm wondering if maybe that's the issue. Yeah. And I just feel to point out, too, yeah, ISP provided routers and modems are usually not as good as personally bought ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I bought that, uh, what is it, that fucking Deco router thing on yeah. from Amazon, and it worked. Again, ours is pretty good. Uh, ours is, what, I want to say about 80 bucks for about 100 megabytes up. Um... What was it, 250 mm -hmm. down? That's not bad. Yeah. It's not amazing, mine's... but it's not bad. Yeah, mine's pretty cheap. Uh, it's it's the kind where uh, it's they just put, like, the little satellite thing on your... It, it uses the radio towers around us to get us our internet. Oh, satellite. Yeah. It works really well. Good. Well, that's, that's the first time I've ever heard anybody say that. Yeah. Oh, well, we tried... Uh, satellite internet before and it was shit but then this th this is a yeah. local like uh thing like they like they're ground up like they were built here by the people who live here and stuff and it completely uses the it relies on the radio towers and uh yeah it, it works really well i've had no issues with it ever since we got it yeah I, i'm waiting for fiber at some point as soon as that's available to me i'm, I'm taking it i don't care who is providing it oh do you want to hear some bullshit yes so I live in this 
town and this town where I live got fiber internet installed like the the entire town like if you live within that thing you get it mm -hmm. we live in it but because we live on the outskirts they would not go any farther now to tell you now to show you how bullshit this is i live at an intersection literally like not even maybe oh man not even a hundred feet from me is where the intersection is and the house right across from me uh which they're only maybe about 50 feet from the intersection they went all the way to that house right there and then stopped and they would not go across the intersection to us to our street even though there's other people here it's not just us there's other people that live on this street who should be getting it as well and they even pay extra to get it because we really need it and they were like no we won't go any further. They literally will not go an extra 100 feet. Yeah. They're just indirectly telling you to go fuck yourselves. Yes. Yeah. We we even offered to pay extra and they said, no, go fuck yourself. So yeah, we, we had no choice but to get this satellite internet. Fortunately, it's really good and it works, but that's good. Yeah. It's just bullshit that like literally they laid lines for this town and then they literally stopped like 100 feet short of us and then refused to lay any more. What yeah, kind of companies do you have? Anyone locally owned? I don't know. They did something similar to ours. They uh, they ran two uh, rings of fiber. One they had near the downtown area. They ran a ring of fiber. And then on the outskirts of town, they ran another ring so that they could just branch off of those two to, uh, to a centralized network. So, um, And that was all put in place by, it was originally our power company that uh, put that in place. Their power company dabbled into uh, internet service providing. And they were really, it was a really good uh, internet service, honestly. Um, yeah, then the other companies saw that they were doing good and Comcast and everyone tried to uh, shut them down. Uh, so they had to sell off their stuff. But thankfully they sold it off to another local entity that's started like fighting back and pushing out these things called MetroNet. So. Metronet Although, uh, did push them around and got uh, got that Metronet's um, based in uh, Lafayette, as far as I know. Apparently, we got lucky, though, apparently, because from what we've been hearing, that internet they laid is fucking dog shit, apparently. <laughs> Everyone hates Holy it. Shit. Yeah. Everyone who got the, like, fiber internet is saying, like, it it is garbage. They're, like, I, they're they're actually considering getting rid of it and just getting, like, a local thing instead because it's so bad. So part of me is like, okay, maybe it was a good thing they didn't come any further. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's Fantastic pretty bad when... Vintastic 187 for uh, 5 says, Gandalf has returned. We are saved from obese Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I need to get an actual um, avatar for myself. Like, I love using the, the Varg Gandalf image, but I need something of my own. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get art of mine. I only have like one piece of artwork of my actual character. <clears throat> and yeah, it's a little too horny <laughs> for this show. So <laughs> I need to get, I need to get a redraw of something and for it. Well, I got, I got plenty of stuff now. Now all those, all those emotes came in. So I remember my Twitch chat and everything has them. Fucking ponies sexually eating French fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah this one's pretty horny too i guess too i guess <laughs> yes it is <laughs> oh <well. laughs> hey, at least it's not squad. as horny as my other one <laughs> all right which one nah, i kind of like the gun but which one would be more appropriate let's see Oh, it's it's Bob though. Should I do angry face or should I do confused? <laughs> confused <laughs> on how a man lets himself get to where he is right now. Yeah. Well, it, you know the weird, the weirdest thing about Bob is that he looks gaunt and yet morbidly obese at the same time. It's his fucking face. I don't know how his I don't know how it, his body is like fat distribution and like his parts of his face are like sunken. He's got some, he's got really good friends out there, like Lindsay Ellis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Daniel K. Ha, huh, I'd offer, but I'd probably make it more horny. That's fine. I just won't use that as uh, the profile picture, but feel free to send me that. 
Fuck it. <laughs> I, should <have> a, <laughs> I should have a horny wizard. Oh god. Oh, you need to do uh you need to do um one like making an O face or something like that. And that's just oh. it. Uh, ten dollar super chat from Doctor McDingus. Thank you very much. Uh, salve, furry fat. Today's emperor is Trajan, second of the five good emperors, and is seen as the greatest emperor the empire ever had. There certainly wasn't any better after him in Western Rome. Yeah, I remember us talking about that last week. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about Roman history. As I don't know as much about Roman history, I should say. I know bits and pieces. Yeah, my focus has been World War Two, <laughs> World War One, and World War One is fascinating as fuck. There's a comment from uh, Tears of Lost Socks. Movie Bob could have been her Mario. Now he will be her Bowser. <laughs> yeah, dude, that picture yeah. was amazing last time. Yeah, that shit. fucking picture was great. <laughs> Gritosis, sigh. I'm not a furry. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. gotta we gotta put that in there for him. Unfortunately. I did yeah. find a furry at the at the Ren Fair that I went to yesterday. Yeah, yeah. See, we we need to not start being surprised. honest about these these Ren Fairs and just admit they're not really Ren Fairs; they're just fantasy conventions. Yeah, if basically. You, if, you, if you are open and honest about that, then I could be a little bit more into it. Like for me, being as gay into fantasy as I am, I would like it to be a little bit more historical. Yeah. Just unfortunately, like. You you only get a very uh, niche number of people that are even like want to do historical stuff. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm the weirdo that finds like historical rope making fascinating with its uh, with the turn style and everything like that, and the follower that helps keep it in track. And everything it's like, man, the ingenuity of medieval peoples was fucking amazing. Bring oh, in God. a pop up a pop up museum of torture devices. I want that. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, have you God. seen the, the fucking the the vagina buster one, which is like holy shit. Uh, it, meme, meme night. I did. I, yes, I did. Apparently, find a dash con attendee. Yeah, at the Ren Fair. Oh no, dash con is funny <laughs> as fuck, though. Holy shit. Oh, uh, don't you want some extra time in the ball pit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I paid for. <laughs> someone, someone pissed in the ball pit. God, somebody mentioned rain first. Oh. <laughs> God, just imagine yeah. like you're 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 dumping your own money into the convention just to sing "We Are the Champions." Oh, dude, and doing the fucking cringy ass Hunger Games. Yeah, Whoa! yeah. Put my three fingers up. Whoa! Oh, dude. I need all your knowledge for world building. Uh, okay. Yeah, you'll have to go beyond that statement. What else do you, what do you need in that at regard? Oh, somebody asked, uh, what is this about a ball pit? So <laughs> this this was this was Dashcon. And uh one of the uh, one of the benefits you got when going to Dashcon was uh being able to be in the ball pit. It was a it was a shitty small pool filled with balls. And then they were they were running out of money that was owed to buy you know, owed to by the uh the hotel. And uh, if if you donated extra, then you get some extra time in the ball pit that somebody pissed in. Yeah, and it, it's again to, to to give more context to it. Dashcon was originally called TumblrCon, and they wanted it to be a convention that all Tumblrites could go to. Back when you know Tumblr was a thing, and uh, you know filled with fucking degenerate pieces of shit. Oh hey, we uh, got uh, but, we got fucking uh, welcome to Nightville coming. Oh, o- oops, yeah. I, I guess they're not showing up. Fuck you. Yeah, and they again. Here's the problem with DashCon slash uh, TumblrCon is they were way too broad, way too broad. Like you don't you don't just have like you don't have a Gen Con or an Anime Con just out off the bat. You start up small, more niche, and then you expand over time. Like. You have a Star Trek convention. It's like, oh, okay. Well, why don't why don't we bring in like you know some people from Star Wars might want to come in. Okay, well, let's put a couple booths up for Star Wars. Now you have a Star Wars Star Trek convention. Well, what about people who want to do Doctor Who? And then you start expanding out into just sci-fi in general. Like you build up slowly. 
problem with DashCon, TumblrCon is they wanted to start off as this mega huge million person attendance con. And <laughs> um, so I don't know if any of these super chat, like I, I know you read them. I don't know if the audience heard them or not. I don't know if any others have come in since then or not. So, yeah, yeah fair. I'm just going to grab a drink quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, it might, it might honestly be worth it to start a new stream just to, uh, like clean out everything since now we've got you back. Yeah. I'm not even sure if this is actually running or not. Oh no, it is. Okay. There we go. Um, Hey, yep, I see my new uh, my new picture there. Yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't need to restart. I think it's still going. Um, yeah, it is, it is. To everyone in chat who uh, stuck around for that, I'm very sorry. Um, this seems like the only way we would have been able to get this working again, because um, fucking ISP. They, they didn't detect any issues when I wasn't streaming. But of course, this happens every single fucking time I am streaming. So I have to call them while I am streaming and inconvenience you guys, inconvenience the guests and the co-hosts uh, to talk about fucking whatever. I, I came in when you guys were talking about fucking DashCon. I don't yes. know how the conversation fucking got there. I am goddamn curious about that. Uh, <laughs> um, we talked about the ball pit for a second and then... Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the glorious ball pit. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I while, shared images. <laughs> yeah, while you were gone, I, I I died and was brought back as Gandalf the Horny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Itiko made uh, an edit for him and <laughs> for him, and I was just like, oh yes, here you go. <laughs> yeah. It, it's fucking amazing. It, it's great. I love your chat, man. I love your chat. Yeah, they're great. I fucking love our chat. Chat can be full of degenerates, but they're all great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. And, yeah, as we talked about, thankfully, um, we hadn't started the video, so all that entire thing with the tech issues and everything like that can just be the preamble. Well, see, so here's we... the thing. We might still be dealing with um, roboting and dropping frames and stuff through the stream because the issue hasn't been solved. Like I said, the, yeah. the tech support yeah. guy was like, yeah, we're, we're escalating it to the um, the company whose lines we use. They're going to send someone out to... Uh, take a look at the box outside and see what the fuck is going on. Hopefully things run smoothly for now, though. Yeah. Did they give a time frame of when the guy is going out? Um, Wednesday or Thursday, or uh, Monday or Tuesday next week, so not tomorrow. Wow. Not, not today. Yeah, okay. We're going to put you up on priority. When's priority? A week from now. So fucking okay. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, if it, if it was one of if it was around here, it'd be like uh, same day. <laughs> we're, we're, we're sending them out as soon as we can. Welcome to there's Canada, so motherfucker. There's so many people with uh, with uh, internet shitting up that uh, there's so little time to work on it. Yeah. No, I think what it is is um, I'm not using one of the big ISPs. I'm using one of the smaller companies because they they fuck you around just a little bit less. Uh, yeah. But they have yeah. to use the, the lines of the bigger companies, and the bigger companies aren't too uh, motivated to, to come out and help you right away. I think yeah, if it was, I think if I was using Rogers, they might come out maybe the same day or tomorrow or something, but there's always like a three-day wait at least. Um, yeah. If I was having internet hooked up into a new place from the current ISP, I have to wait three or four days for them to send someone out. Oh, I should refill my coffee. I'll be right back. Sorry. Yeah, no right. Anyways, I don't know which of these super chats got read or not, and there's probably some that got cut off while I was away. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. Okay. Uh, $5 from Scoopmeister. Thank you. Didn't Amber portray a redhead? What if this was all an elaborate scheme to remove yet another redhead character, real or otherwise? Um, I, when I look back on Aquaman, anywhere that she is, I just remember there being a void because she was that fucking unimpressive in the movie <laughs> yep uh oh great the the chat jumped wonderful the chat isn't even moving it still jumped because it's the old live chat it's not going to update anymore five dollars for peace was never an option thank you 
Johnny Depp will forever be known as the first man to win an argument with a woman. I've seen that joke going around. That's a good one. Five dollars from Itiko the Tricky. Thank you. Since I'm now doing a Legion playthrough, your NCR Trooper comment has been replaced this week. Of a tri uh, true to Kritosar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, where's the next one? Five dollars from Fantastic One Ninety Seven. Thank you. Gandalf has returned. We are saved from obese Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even gotten to obese Hitler yet. Yep. Um, ten dollars from Doctor McDangus. Thank you. Uh, salve, furry fat. Still, still not furry. Today's emperor is uh, Trajan or Trajan or I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. If I if the I second one, second one more. Trajan. Uh, second of the five good emperors, and is seen as the greatest emp uh, emperor the empire ever had. There certainly wasn't any better after him in Western Rome. Oh. I don't Definitely. know enough about Roman history as I maybe should. Yeah, I and, don't either. Like I said, that's it's not one of my areas of specialty. Mine would be World War One, World War Two. Yeah. Sure. That's where my chat on OBS cuts off. Were there any more after actually Um I'm gonna go check the YouTube studio just to double check, because I don't want to miss any. This will just take a minute. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the new one that literally just came in. Uh, while you're checking, $2 from Dry Complimentary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Weird seeing a human in this furry podcast. It's not, <laughs> it's not a furry podcast. I'm not a furry. God damn it. I, I am the only human. <laughs> wow. Once again, yeah. betrayed by one of my fucking guests. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> At least he didn't do what fucking uh, Prometheus did and literally <laughs> changed his avatar mid fucking stream to a furry picture. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. I'll find a furry wizard and do it. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gandalf um, the furry. <laughs> hopefully, the issues are solved. Hopefully. We can uh, finally get to the Bob video after a fucking hour and a quarter. There's another. Yep. Oh. All right. Uh, where is? There it is. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. I think this is where we left off. It brought us to the same time. Well, to a time code in the middle of uh, the video. Yeah, I, I believe so. I think we were still on, like, lifestyle and healthy eating and stuff like that. And it's like, Bob <laughs> being the dude. <laughs> All right. You may not like this, but this is the pinnacle of gamers. <laughs> Dear yeah, God. All right, we all ready? Yep. 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 Here. You're a gamer. Great. So am I. But that doesn't mean you can't also be a sports fan, a movie buff, a reader, a music. Oh, yeah, I remember this point. This is the point saying that if you're a gamer, but you only know games, you're a boring, dull individual and a pathetic uh, human being to society. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's saying, like, you need to have other interests. This is his whole argument about him, like, being very learned and reddit. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, I doubt you read any of those, you piece of shit. <laughs> Music lover thing. There's a shitload of gigs worth of space in here, and you can fill it with anything you like, and it cuts in both directions. Just think of how much richer your gaming experience will be when you're a well-rounded human being with more points of reference. Won't it be nice the next time you see a familiar musical cue or character style in a game? <laughs> I hate this shit. He always has to use gamer shit to make his points. Always. You which boring is, fuck. Which is pretty fucking ironic, considering the point he's trying to make. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't it be nice with the gamer sk 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 You want to try that take again, Bob? <laughs> yeah, it's going to fight that out, too. <laughs> Fucking Fuck porky it. pig I, I listen, over here. I listen to a classical uh, music podcast while painting my minis. Is that good enough for you, Bob? I, um, I mean, to this thing, yes. Apparently. You just need one other thing. Like, well, in Bob's case, you just need one other thing. 
Well, maybe maybe Dirk gets extra points because it's classical music. It's not like rock and roll or metal or whatever. It's uh, something that a high class individual, uh, well rounded individual, would listen to. Well, shit. My friend also makes a uh, a heavy metal podcast, so I guess I get some some points docked there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just listen to Sabaton. Let's just listen to fucking Sabaton. So you got. No, we have no. We have to go deeper. Rhapsody of Fire. I was doing Sabaton because then if Bob says it's just metal music, it's like ah, but it's metal music all about history. <laughs> I go fuck yourself. Our Maiden has a few songs about history. Alexander the Great. Yeah, you That's know, I'll, I'll I'll give I'll give this take. I, I'm not sure how how equipped you guys are with with this kind of stuff, but Halloween, the band as it is right now is what Iron Maiden should have fucking turned into. It, it, despite the fact that you could look at Halloween as like the poor man's Iron Maiden, no, they're fucking exceeding where Iron Maiden should be. I do not know anything about Halloween. Oh, Neither it's do a I. lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Kritosis, the word you're looking for isn't ironic, it's hypocritical. I think both apply to, to yeah, that situation. Bob is talking about how, oh, gamers, you need more than just games in your uh, world. While well, he's purely using game references. Yeah, and that in and of itself is irony. What becomes hypocritical is the fact that Bob is the living embodiment of hypocrisy. Talking about health and fitness and exercise and everything while being a fucking land whale. Yeah. And then talking about how you need to be a well-rounded individual and look at all these books you must have read and everything while... He himself cannot stop referencing everything in terms of video games. Um, I think I mentioned this last time too. It would have made his point about eating healthy so much stronger if he actually took the time to eat healthy himself and work out and lose weight. So you see him at the yeah. beginning of the video and he's the movie Bob we all know and hate. And then it cuts to, and this is what you could be if you did eat healthy and uh, took care of yourself. And, you know, he's skinny bob and you know <laughs> he's not a fat piece of shit well he'd, he'd be more of a piece of shit if he got skinnier because his confidence would actually be boosted and he'd feel like more active and energetic and everything so i think he'd become even worse of a human being than he is now no just i wasn't i wasn't up. talking about his status as a human being I, I just said he wouldn't be a fat piece of shit he would still be a piece of shit yeah, just own up to the fact that he looks th that you look like super cunt destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, as the joke with EFAP is, he's diabeto. Oh god. Well, mushrooms won't give you diabetes, Bob. Come on. Uh, two dollars super chat from Dry Complimentary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sonic three and Knuckles is a ten out of ten. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Although I love Sonic CD just a little bit more than Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Desert Bus is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, it does exactly what it says on the 10. Like exactly what it set out to do. I am I the only person who's excited for Sonic Frontiers? I <laughs> Probably because I thought Sonic Forces was dog shit. I, n I know I'm very alone in my fandom of Sonic the Hedgehog while also trying to not be so horrifically autistic but fuck man i i am excited for this one yeah you're gonna make fun of the pony guy over here but meanwhile <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile the, the mobian over hey, here when have i made fun of you a few minutes ago no no <laughs> I, no i talked i talked about your profile being like a sexy pony with a fucking french fry but i'm not making fun of you <laughs> i know i'm just joking also itiko please no you you can't make me share this. You're going to fuck up everything. Oh no! What did he? No! Share? What have you done? <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> See, M nine also sent me a meet. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no! Well, here you go, Idaho. Here's a. You requested. <laughs> oh, that's not even the one I. S oh God! No, oh, I'm. Why I, no, you no. Fools. <laughs> no. You, why you woo woo fools? No. <laughs> I need to get into the actual Kretorsis uh, Discord at some point. <laughs> uh, there should hopefully be a working link on this stream. Good. See, I I'll checked do. the message Itiko sent me earlier, and this is what I saw. Uh, Hurry up and load. 
Oh, oh dude, yeah, he yeah. sent me that too. <laughs> Legion Legionaries posted some fucking fire ass memes in my Discord. Holy. Shit. Anyways. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Fucking lore right. I'm not. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, we sh we should move on. <laughs> Game. You'll find it reminiscent of a song or a painting or a story you know, instead of just reminding you of some other game. Now yeah, there is. I also think this is an assumption of Bob's that. <laughs> Uh, people only dedicate themselves to video games. I, I'm not sure I've ever met anyone who is only video games all the time. Most people yeah. do listen to music they like outside of video games or... Or watch shows or yeah. you know, all kinds of other stuff. Like... Yeah, or something. Like, I don't think I've ever met anybody where literally the only thing they ever did or know about was video games and literally nothing else. I, I, there's probably people out there that uh, exist like that, but they're probably like the extreme uh, minority. Like, you yeah, know, maybe, very rare. maybe people who have uh, mental issues and it's literally all they have, or... <laughs> <laughs> I just love that... the <laughs> fucking... But... Fucking... Uh, Ideka just said... He didn't uh... even post another meme. He literally just, like, responded, and he just responded with monkey's paw finger curls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but anyways yeah um if if there are people out there who only dedicate their time to video games that's probably a very very small minority most yeah. people have um lives lives you know it's the same for any other hobby if someone really 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 fucking loves snowboarding they don't do that 100 percent of their time they have friends and family. They do other things. It just comes across as really weird that he's making these assumptions. You know? Yeah. 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 It's like he saw that fucking, um, like, this is what a gamer will look like in 20 years and took it too seriously. I'm not sure I've seen <laughs> that. But <laughs> You it, haven't? But it does seem like he takes the uh, stereotype and acts like it's... Well, actually, that's what he said earlier is... Uh, near the start of this video, well, yeah, there's a reason I'll... for stereotypes existing. It's like Bob, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you just said Bob. Um, but that does seem to be where he's basing all this from. Oh, this is a stereotype. It must be true. I mean, just because it's true for you, Bob, doesn't mean it's true for everyone else. <laughs> uh, two dollars from Dry Complimentary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sonic CD is amazing, am I right? Hell yeah. There you go. I actually didn't see that one come in. Oh, there it is. See, normally I have two chats uh, on one screen, but one of them is dead now, and the Streamlabs OBS one is the one I normally look at, and it's just not moving anymore because of the disconnection. E. This was outweigh familiarizing yourself with the culture of the world, and that's familiarizing yourself with the reality of the world. I'm talking about current events. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what we need in our video games. It's more fucking politics. Yeah, we need more of it, especially from the fucking leftoid NPC crowd. Holy shit. Oh my god, someone in chat stole my Christmas icon. Mr. Kratos' Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Did somebody call Kratos' Claus the lover of furries and giving love to everyone? What? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, when I come into power, the furries are the first to go. <laughs> Motherfucker, when I, when I come into power, everybody's getting a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there you go, Cree. That's, uh, yeah, according to the mainstream media, this is what gamers will look like in 20 years. Uh -oh. I don't know. Do you think Movie Bob like plays a game like Half Life 2 and, and think. Think, how do I shove Trump into this? This is probably the most mainstream media thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> how how did his hands get that way? Yeah. Why I like, I like the fucking divot. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I like, like the this. divot in his head of like, yeah, because he wears headphones so much, his head is sh it's like sunken. But that's not <laughs> how bone works. I know. Yeah, my, it makes no sense. My favorite is somehow the <laughs> stomach is bulged out, but also flat as a board. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why don't you educate me on how bone works? This looks like a fucking <laughs> Bethesda Fallout mutant. Like, not a super Yeah, I was about mutant, to say, this but... is... So, I guess uh, gamers, after 20 years, turn into a fucking Left 4 Dead special zombie. <laughs> yeah. You approach him, you approach him and, he, and he goes, How do you do, smooth belly? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Who came up with this? What mental... Did, did they get Dr. Spiegel to fucking do this? Jesus Christ. <sighs> yes. Yes. They literally, like, they, they fucking try to play it as, like, oh, we use, like, you know, special, you know, futuristic software to predict what gamers will look like in 20 years if they keep, you know, like, being the way that they are and stuff like that. And, like, this is what they will evolve into and shit. And it's, like, and they try to pass it off as, like, serious. And it's, like, bruh. Yeah, look at this just shit. That was just a normal hobbit until video games came into my life. Now I'm Golem. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how any of that works, though. I know. Yeah, it's like Bob looked at this and saw that fucking article and was like, Oh my god, Oh, this is what happens! I have to warn them! I must Eld warn the world! Elden Ring, precious. But first... <laughs> oh, but first I must eat my breakfast. Fifteen Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. That's a small meal. Blender That's... is now a tool to predict the future, eh? Apparently. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Oh my God. What we need to do is we should make like uh, what a mainstream media journalist looks like in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's God. It's just a picture so of Movie good. Bob. Oh God, no. We need, we need like the inbred, like cross-eyed look that fucking Ethan Ralph's rocking. Oh uh, God. A gun would work too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you need yeah. better fix his eye. You need one of those images that mashes like people's appearances together, and you have to take like, oh shit, I'll be right back. Someone pathetic like Brian Stelter and mix him with someone else who's pathetic. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Setch is okay and not fucking dying right now. Yeah, God, fucking Setch brought up Ethan Klein and it just. Ugh. No, he said Ethan Ralph, but yeah, that that works. Too. Oh, I think he said Ethan Klein. Yeah, well, Ethan Klein still fucking bugs the hell out of me. Just oh, fuck that guy. Oh fuck my him. god, I can't believe it's. I used to like his content too. I we used all to be. Did, didn't we? Yeah, I was a subscriber. I watched all of his videos, and then he just fucking turned around and turned into a complete piece of shit. Yeah, now the motherfucker's doing a show with with Hassan Piker. God yeah. damn, just just end it. I know it's. Oh my god, he just turned into a complete fucking just soy cuck. It's insane how fucking shitty he became. And like, yeah, the moment he got that podcast, like his true self came out when you could actually see like the unedited footage and stuff of how he actually is. It's like, wow, you are just an actual scumbag. Holy fuck. Well, before, I mean, before all of this, he was like the everyman. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he was that guy that like anybody could could relate to to an extent, you know. I I you know, fuck. <laughs> how how did he fall so hard? Yet he still has so much power within YouTube. I know it's insane. Like literally, yeah, he made like a thing. Uh, uh what, what did he say? Um, the NRA are having a meeting in uh, Texas. Oh, does anybody know what that meeting's about? Somebody should bomb that building. And I his. He got, like, nothing. He got, like, a slap on the wrist and then was able to come back, like, a day later. And you know why he would make a joke like that. It's because if something did happen to that NRA meeting, he wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, he He'd wouldn't give a fuck. it on. Yeah. And, but, it, you know, if, if anyone else had said that, or, you know, if anyone had said something like the opposite of that, like, oh, what, it, like, what if it was a DNC meeting or something, you know, they, they'd be permanently banned. Their channel would be gone. But because it's Ethan, it's like, oh, well... You know, he only wished the death of, like, Republicans and gun owners, so it's okay for him to say that. We'll, uh, we'll take his video down, but, yeah, he could come back in a couple days. Just let me have my guns. I'll call them wands. <laughs> <laughs> let me have my wizard guns. That's one of my favorite memes is, I cast bullet to shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, 
oh, it's just insane to me how far he fell. Like all the shit he's done, and just um, I I remember like uh, part of where I started to realize where he was like going downhill was when um it was during one of the podcasts he had a fan come on who made like um the hat yeah the hat yeah and I remember he gave. He gave him like no screen time basically and basically just told him to fuck off so that the actual guest could come in and basically like didn't let him talk hardly, just like came in. So it was like, oh yeah, look at this cool hat. Okay, get the fuck out of here now. I have a gun that casts magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, head of thermos, uh, sorry, hand of thermos says he needed to add in Minecraft. That is the biggest load of bullshit that these fucking lefties do. Like, they always add in Minecraft to, to shit that you know they actually want to have happen. Well, see, yeah. that's the thing. A lot of people use in Minecraft as a joke. Um, I thought the lefties didn't use that so much because they, they don't even consider that, oh, yeah, this is bad. We might get in trouble for it because they usually just don't get in trouble for it. it it's, it's so bizarre how it's like the far left and the far right are going to take things that are meant to be a joke and then take it seriously. God, you said you said a firearm that shoots magic missiles, and I'm just thinking of the fucking gyro jet pistol, <laughs> which was literally that. It literally fired like tiny missiles. I'm imagining Don't... like a desert eagle, but like literal magic comes out of it instead of a bullet. That is a goddamn that, hilarious that, uh, visual. Did you ever watch that uh, um, Why Does Kids You Know sketch about the the guns with bullets that? That uh, <laughs> that go after baby skulls. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. I actually haven't. The only thing I've seen of them is the fucking uh, Lincoln scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. Which is a fucking classic. But yeah, I I, I I miss Trevor Moore, man. Um, uh, rest in peace, Setch. We hardly knew ye, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. He just was like, I gotta go, and then disappear, and yeah. I don't know what's going on. I can't believe Setch fucking died. Yeah. Rest in peace. His fucking house collapsed on him. <laughs> Slow down here. This isn't China. <laughs> See? Yeah, you're right. He does live in the U.S. They don't just fall apart that easily. This is what happens when you, when you play with uh, wizard guns, and you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> There's someone else that chat with one of my icons now. <laughs> I see him. Kratos' <laughs> father. <laughs> <laughs> this is so definitely what you were doing so late. You shouldn't be. In, you should be in bedroom by 10 p.m. If you don't go to bed, you'll be grounded. <laughs> you, you heard the man, Kratos. <laughs> well, luckily it isn't 10 p.m. here. I think I'm safe for a little while. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it could be IBS. Yeah. That's probably what it was. The whole Cree family is pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> They're mad you're still in the closet. <laughs> I don't know, Cree, do, you have, uh, do you have kids with profiles here? <laughs> Daddy, daddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is about to turn into a Jerry Springer episode. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm running out of things to talk about already while Setch is gone. Um, well, I mean, we could laugh at the pathetic losers at DashCon again. That's always there's, fun. There's always that. Um, God, I... I... I saw your morning morning roast uh, doing the uh, the latest <laughs> the latest court filings. <laughs> the the corpos just keep fucking smacking him around like a fucking three dollar whore. It is great. Oh hey, they're on clay of Emily. She says Kratos is gonna get spanked for misbehavior. No. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish I had a bit more time to go over those documents because the one from the corpus was uh, 
there's some amusing parts in there where they're just like completely fucking demolishing him. It's great. It I I I, I enjoy you doing your your morning roast because it, it's you know you you tend to do it when I start my my shifts. It's it's nice to have something sort of akin to morning radio that I get to just watch on YouTube while I'm working. Yeah. I'm glad I can help out with that. I'm glad people yeah, enjoy dude. that. It's good, dude. Cree, show what I sent you of the documents. Oh, God. Okay, let me find this. Um... <laughs> oh, this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, hold on. I, I, I have to open these in the other Discord. Because uh, if I use the one that's on display, then it fucks everything up. So... Um... Let's do copy image and uh, paste that there. Oh, why did that go twice? Um, just just a second. Sure. Okay. There we go. Oh, it, I hate when Discord does that. It's fucking annoying. Uh, okay, so copy link image. This is great, by the way. This is fucking beautiful. Um, on April 10th, 2021, my, leave, my live stream software turned on of its own accord without me realizing it. Okay? Keep, keep, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. That, that, little, that nice little statement there. Um, the only way the accidental nature of the live stream could actually invalidate its copyright is if the streaming software turned on entirely of its own accord without any human input, knowing or otherwise, causing it to happen. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you killed your own case, buddy. You fucked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I disagree with that, by the way. Uh, if a human accidentally starts a stream without knowing it, then that doesn't mean it's a work of art. Or a creative work of any kind. Uh, like I said on stream the other day, you could probably make it into one by... Like, if you notice and you start... Oh, well, hey there, folks. I didn't mean to start streaming, but here I am. Ha ha ha. And, and playing into it. But that's not what happened. Yeah. Did you ever comment about the uh, Acer Thorn video about how... Uh, the developer of a game reached out to him? Yeah. Yeah, It, it it's, it's so it's so transparent like he's he's upset that somebody ratted him out to the to the fucking developer and now the developer doesn't want anything to fucking do with him it's it's just an excuse to pull in the more more of the uh oh you guys are are like making me the victim and now you're making the developer the victim you're harassers well no the, the developer I, wouldn't I, be a victim in that it would still be acer well I wouldn't even consider he's, Acer to be a not. victim in I, that. I, I'm, I'm just talking about from Acer's way of trying to spin this shit. Yeah. As if, as if we're too fucking dumb to notice. I am actually considering checking that game out. Um, I feel sorry for the developer who might have gotten any fucking advice from that monolithic retard. Um, yeah. Hopefully he yeah, didn't no, change I... his game too much based on that. I, I did actually gift that game to a certain somebody. Uh-oh. <laughs> what, did you send it to Enclave Emily? I did. <laughs> nice. I, um, I had some spare uh, um, credit in my Steam account burning a hole in the pocket, so I decided I would send it to her so that she could use it how she wants to. Well... Maybe on uh, Wednesday or Thursday, sorry, Thursday this week, um, maybe I can pick it up and play it myself on stream. Check it out. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I, I'd like to, like, throw the developer a bone here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, nice, Pagan. I see you put the gyro jet in. Yeah. The, the what? The, the gyro, gyro jet. jet. It's a pistol so, that fires uh, rockets. Yeah, because... Uh... Dirk mentioned the uh, like a gun that fires magic missiles, and I was like, "Oh, so you mean the gyro jet?" Yeah. <laughs> weird, weird concept. Weird weapons. Yeah. Didn't go anywhere, but yeah. Interesting. Isn't it like basically ineffective at close range? Yeah. Yeah, because it has to build up velocity because of the rockets. Yep. Oh, uh, <laughs> so it, it's 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. It's kind of the opposite problem you would have with firearms, where firearms start losing their effectiveness based off of uh, just wind drag and gravity and everything like that, the further range out and, you know, all natural factors like that. Whereas the gyro jet is more effective at longer ranges, but up in close, if you like, if you got to in somebody's face, uh, they would hit you and feel like a little BB just going. <laughs> yeah. Because it hasn't built up the speed from the rocket engine burning enough. Yeah, and then it just falls to the ground and does that, that that little, like, fucking spinning thing, you know, like a fucking firework just on the ground. <laughs> yeah, really interesting concept, but fucking horribly impractical. Yeah, not, not, not a great weapon, but it's interesting. At least it, it started people getting the idea for rocketry uh, just in general, you know, that led to uh, anti-tank weaponry and everything, so. Yeah. Because then they figure, they figured out how to do it where it stays uh, through uh, pressure. It stays in the tube until it's built up enough inertia to shoot out past it. And of course, you have the safety mechanisms then built into it too, so it won't detonate <laughs> close. Oh, 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 Cree, your mother's in the chat now. <laughs> ah, I see it. <laughs> Son, you need to accept your... <laughs> that picture's the wet owl. <laughs> It's the outlet got dunked in water. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just a wet owl. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh, God, owls are fucking dope. Um, Meme Knight says, I mean, he grabbed one random comment and used it as evidence that we're all harassers. Like yes. I'll fucking, I will fucking admit that I I bully the fuck out of uh, Crazy Joe. Like whenever I get the chance to, like you don't need to, to to like do this whole this whole detective work of like you're all harassers. No, we're just making fun of people on the internet. Yep. See, I I got close. I got sort of close to being sued. Like. I, someone calling the uh, the office of a uh, a congressman to get a free lawyer to sue me. Yeah, <laughs> it's so bad what? shit. Uh, people are saying you're muted, Cree. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my God, that poor little guy. Yeah, that's oh, the man. image that was in that fucking icon. How dare you! <laughs> Let me How grab the link. You, you... <laughs> All right. Don't bully Cree. His whole family is here. <laughs> 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 just, uh, just don't find his uncle. Cree lore greater than pagan lore. No, you could actually hear what I'm saying. You could actually hear my lore. <laughs> Hey, my lore isn't that interesting. I'm just some fucking rando on the internet. I have opinions about video games and movies and I talk about them. He's just an <laughs> owl on the internet. Leave him alone. I don't even know what I said while I was muted, so I can't even repeat it. I'm sorry, everyone. I failed. I think you were just talking about the owl. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's probably it. This fucking... <laughs> <laughs> fucking owl <laughs> depression in its purest form son do you think I am beautiful if so give me a big kiss <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah this is definitely turning into one of the weirder streams yeah <laughs> yeah alright are we ready yeah we can give to uh, Diabito no I don't want to watch Diabito I do too mad <laughs> Emil is writing your lore Cree. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop it! I, I'm still waiting for the, the stream at some point that would that would go over my uh uh Acer Thorn horror story that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I I know Enclave Emily was wanting to write a fucking Acer Thorn creepypasta. Yeah, I, I just fucking went all out with it and I I, I turned it into art. Um that might be, that might make for, how long is it? It's like, like a page and a half. 
That might make for a good morning roast, actually. Yeah, I think that'd be more fitting for it. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, we, we need to get back to the video. I want to point out quickly, too. I keep mentioning that Streamlabs OBS has a chat and that chat is frozen. I keep, my eyes keep going to it. I just keep seeing the last message in that chat by High Speed Tacos. Tumblr is still full of degenerates. And every time <laughs> I see that comment, I'm like, yeah, I agree. Yep. And it's on life support this entire time. I'm surprised anyone even still fucking uses that site. All right. Yeah this as plainly as possible. If you are living in the United States and can name more supporting characters from the Resident Evil franchise than you can members of the Senate or House of Representatives, you have a problem. Okay. No. So what if someone can name more characters from uh, the book series Lord of the Rings than members of the Senate? Is that yeah. a problem? What if you can name more characters from the entire works of H.P. Lovecraft or Mark Twain or... Um, fucking any author out there. If you can name more of those characters than members of Congress in the Senate, is that is that a problem, or is and, this and just it, a problem because it is just video games? And and again, most people like are gonna know their their state's senators, and then maybe two or three other ones that might exist. That's not a lot of people. Yeah, and, and it's not a problem. It's like. Your state senators are the most important thing to you. They're the most thing that directly affects you. Yep. I, 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 I would fully admit I don't know every one of the representatives representatives from uh, Indiana though. I don't know how many. Yeah, I don't know all the names of our, our members of Congress that are in the House of Representatives. I don't know that. No, shut up, Seth. You need to know every politician. It's required. Yeah, no, I just, I just need to know the, the ones that need to be ousted, that's for sure. No, you need to know the names of every single one, and you have to support all the ones with the letter D next to their name, not the ones with yes. the letter R. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, again, like I said, this is just insanity. So, you probably know, most people would probably just know just four senators, and that's totally understandable. Like, yeah, you'd know the two that represent your state because they most affect you, and then maybe a couple others. It's like how I know the premier of my province, but I don't know fucking any of the others because I don't live in fucking Saskatchewan. So it doesn't yeah. matter if I know his name or not, or what he does there. I don't live in Ohio. I don't live in Illinois. I don't live in Kentucky. I know Indiana. That's what I know. And of course, you know, we got Ted Cruz and everyone like that. The, the, the usual suspects. Yeah, if but those, you can name, those are if more you can so name more. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Those are more celebrity politicians, though. Like, they're the ones who um, are always on the news or uh, are quite frequently making a big stink, you know? Yeah. If you can name more. Uh characters in Resident Evil than uh, current presidents of the United States, you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's easy, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, $5 from Rage vs. ML. Thank you. Did I hear the evil man's name? Uh, and I just started a Fallout anthology run, so I'm playing all Fallout games in order, including the bad uh, Xbox Brotherhood of Steel game. Oh. Wow. I, I still need to play Tactics in Brotherhood of Steel. I will one day. I wish you good fortune. I wish me good fortune, too. Hello. A higher percentage of Valve designers by name than you know members of the Supreme Court? You have a problem. Um, no. No. <laughs> Again, no. People There's... don't want to know the members of the Supreme Court. And if you did know the Valve employees, that actually shows that you're taking an interest in the people behind the making of the game. So, you know, you're you're showing, as you said earlier, more well-rounded human being interests. You're 
you're not just interested in the game itself. You're now thinking about the creators behind the game, the people that programmed it and worked on it and led the teams and everything. Yeah, this is insane. Like, you have a problem if you know these other people. Like, fuck off, dude. Holy yeah. shit, you're insane. The other thing to mention, too, is, like, it's okay to not be into politics. It's perfectly yes. fine. Um, oh, but everything is political. Don't you know? Yeah. Don't you know? I, I, I've always despised that fucking argument. I remember... Um, a few years ago, Jim Sterling made a shitty video trying to justify how uh, Dark Souls is super political. Oh, it's just, yeah. It was bad. Uh, yeah, oh, I mean, that, it's that's Jim a, Sterling. He's fucking retarded. So. That, that's, yeah. a, that's a, a total yeah. Vosh arg argument, too. Like, go fucking touch grass if you think that everything's political. Disconnect for a while. Yeah. They can't, though. They fucking can't. Especially not when their side is getting its ass reamed right now because they're well, it's their side. They're retarded. Oh, man. Speaking of that, something funny happened uh, last night. There yeah. was... Uh, so I'm in a server. It's 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 a lefty server. It's very lefty. And they're not really... They're, they aren't, they're not supposed to talk about politics in there, but somebody shared a, uh, a tweet of the quartering uh, talking about that, like, uh, you know, like, bring your... Like, Oh fuck! What is it? That drag show, where like they oh, want yeah, they want fucking, they want ugh. kids like nobody over the age of eighteen to come, yeah. and uh, they shared that. And they're like, oh yeah, like I can't believe this artist I'm following is following a far right extremist and stuff, and talk about like how the quartering is far right and stuff because he's talking about this. And I just came in with like, uh, he's not far right, like he has a lot of left-wing views and some moderate right-wing views. He's basically a classic libertarian. Um, and uh, I shared a tweet of Shoe on Head, who is also fucking uh, shitting on this thing, like, you know, talking about it, being like, what the fuck is this? Which, uh, Shoe on Head, I, the fact that she's, like, you know, trying to be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm still cool, guys. It's like, go fuck yourself, you, you <laughs> yeah. fuck off. But um, but yeah, and they uh, but because they, you know, they're they're lefty, and she's a lefty too, and all this stuff. She's like a socialist, and all this stuff. Uh, their response was to just delete everything, <laughs> everything, <laughs> literally yep. the tweet, yep. the conversation, everything, and then like, and then nothing else. And it's like, wow, not even a response. Literally, just delete everything. Yep. <laughs> Quartering as two gay black dads. How could he be far right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember that. <laughs> oh god. I I don't think he's far right. He's just dumb. <laughs> he's he's just stupid. I think I, mean, I, I don't think he's stupid. I think the problem is that he he just has to get the content out so fast that he he will fall for baits easy. Yeah. Oh, it's such a bad pitfall. I mean, I I do yeah. I do um I am thankful about uh what he did for helping out with the the lawsuit, but yep. I, I I don't watch him. <laughs> There's a yeah. lot of good stuff he's it's, done, it's... but I try to watch some of his stuff. But man, it is hard. I have to watch his stuff on two times speed, or I can't do it. It, it. His his problem is the fact that he's putting out like eight videos a day, eight videos a day. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, dude, dude's got the grind going for fucking sure. Yeah. But but when you do that. Like, something has to be sacrificed somewhere. And for him, it's that he'll oftentimes fall for the baits. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. He he does some good stuff, but he also does a lot of uh, stuff as well. But, you know, like like you said, it's because he's doing so much at once. And it's like, yeah, obviously you're going to get crap mixed in there with it. Yep. Yeah, the, the fuck-ups are inevitable. Yeah. yeah. I, I think... I, I appreciate he has such a high work ethic, but it's like, Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, so here here's the idea. How about you cut that number in half and then verify more often instead? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Quality over quantity, my dude. Yeah. Well, again, there, there's the old saying, and it is true. Quantity is a quality of its own. And like yeah. I said, it, the fact that he puts out that much content every single day is shows the quality of his work ethic he's he's a hard worker for fucking sure but there are problems when you do that There's something something somewhere has to be sacrificed 
here's that uh shoe on head tweet if you guys haven't seen it yet it's uh it's a doozy <laughs> remember that yeah 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 i posted i i said my piece about uh the quartering and that he's not far right and then brought up what he was talking about and then shared this as well which you know i'm like she's literally a socialist and even she agrees with him and they just were like no response just delete everything like it didn't happen <laughs> yeah and it's like ah i see yeah yeah and as rita points out it, it's also to be fair this is also youtube which fucking loves quantity over quality yeah 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 oh my god it's so bad also i fucking hate that youtube has changed the layout of the site again so that the description is now above the uh the like like and dislike bar and stuff like that but it also compresses it down so you only see the first line yeah of the description oh i fucking hate it i i oh it looks so bad i don't know why they did that it looks so bad i they got to de-incentivize the like and dislike bar i still nice. miss like fucking 2007 YouTube. Remember when you had profiles that you could completely customize? Yeah. Remember yeah. when you had fucking five star rating system instead? Yes. <laughs> it was wonderful. Remember it's when like downvoting a... a comment wasn't completely useless? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's some some uh, drama in Kratos's family here. <laughs> <laughs> by the by kratos is his father uh you only need the apostrophe after the s and extra s is not needed after that yeah it's the weird weirdness of fucking english okay maybe i shouldn't have picked a name that ended in s <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah that's another thing that pisses me off uh daniel k mentioned youtube also removed video showing when they were uploaded yeah like, yeah i fucking hate that shit like I i'm like oh when was this? i'm like was this posted today or yesterday and i go to look and there's no date i'm like are you fucking kidding me what's i want to know what's yeah. the point in removing that it's so stupid it makes no sense and the only way i can tell how old something is is if i go by the comments of when the first one was posted yeah it's so retarded like just let me see when it was uploaded. Holy fuck. I haven't noticed that they removed uh, the date of upload, but I assume... Mine? Oh, go ahead, because I, I think we have the same thing. I, I assume the reason for it is, um, oh, look how long this video has been up and how bad it's doing, you know? Yes, or so that they can be like, to do the whole thing where take things out of context because youtube really loves to fucking do that oh yeah yeah um but i think mine doesn't have that because i have the you know dislike bar enabler thing still so it keeps all that information i have that too and i can see the dislikes but i still cannot fucking see a date mine still shows dates thankfully uh, mine doesn't i don't know i don't know how or why yeah i don't know why and it's not every video sometimes there are some videos where i'll go to it and it's like oh this was uploaded like two days ago but then i'll go to another video and i'm and there's no date and i'm like oh well maybe this is just really recent and then i'll look at the comments and it's like oh from one month ago here's a comment from a month ago and i'm like why the fuck is there no date on this one month old video I don't get it. It's so stupid. Fuck you, YouTube. Well, what if you take find a, a take and put it in the right context? Like, if somebody makes yeah. a bad take and then more information comes out proving it's wrong, then it's like, well, I don't know. I... Yeah, we've had yeah. situations like that on our show where we're watching someone's video and we're like, oh, they just said something that's wrong. Wait, we have to check the date in case yeah. they said it before this yeah. piece of information came out, which has yeah. happened. Yeah. And we've also had examples, I'm pretty sure, of the opposite, where we did check the date, and it's like, oh no, this was said after this, so you're just fucking lying. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's next? Yeah. Remove in the comment section? Well, certain things, like mainstream media, already do that. Yeah. God, and I don't, I just don't know what it is that causes that, because like I said, some videos still have their dates. 
but then other ones don't and i don't know what it is that causes like like what defines a video to no longer have its date like who fucking knows such as dad is in the chat now but but look at mascara <laughs> what the fuck is that uh we should mascara maybe get such father <laughs> we should maybe get back to the video yeah okay oh, yeah, you're right Yes, we were covering one at some point. <laughs> Problem. Can't tell me who these ten people are. You have a problem. Okay, no! so first of no. all, first can't of all, tell you who all of them are. <laughs> first of all, I can name some of them, but not all of them. But that's not a yeah. part. In anyways, why wouldn't you just put them up on screen at once rather than just fucking flashing them for a half second? Because yeah. what if you're someone who doesn't remember the name of someone, like, fucking immediately when you see their face? You're like, oh, that's, um, uh, uh, that guy. By the time you figure it out, the next three pictures have gone by. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> just put them all up at once. And no, you don't need to know who these fuck. <sighs> if you want to be active in politics, of course you need to know who these people are, but I don't, I don't think... I don't even think then, honestly. Maybe I mean, not. God help you. God help you if you want to be active in politics. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'd say we. I'd say we do honestly need people, some people more active in politics, just so we can fight back against these fucking weirdos. Yeah. Yeah, I do wish more people were uh, more informed <laughs> about the goings on of things rather than just being like. Oh, I vaguely heard about this one thing, so and therefore is, I'm a I'm an expert. And that is why I will advocate for cameras in every single courtroom. Yep. Yeah. Another simple fix. There's this thing called the news. Check it out. It's no, do no, do not. You're if fucking you do God, check no. the news, you need to start investigating <laughs> multiple other sources. Tell, yeah. tell me, movie Bob, which the news are you referring to that I should be watching here? Oh, 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 I need to say this. In before he says that. not Fox News, because that's what the lefties always do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but not Fox. Fox News. You should only be watching CNN, the only trusted name in news. <laughs> yeah, your multiple Trust. sources. Yeah. Your, mul Trust your multiple sources. Rachel... Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Trust Rachel Maddow. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Trust Taylor Lorenz, totally. Yeah, your multiple sources shouldn't be CNN and MSNBC. That, that, mm. that That's not really multiple sources. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should be getting your news from multiple sources from different, different sides of the spectrum as well, not just one side. You should be getting it from multiple different sides as well, multiple sources, fact-checking them. You know, comparing them to one another. Oh my god! And like, I don't, I don't disagree when people say you shouldn't watch Fox News either. I agree. Most of Fox News is shit. I think Tucker Carlson's pretty good, but everyone else on fucking Fox News can go fuck themselves. They have moments, that's for sure. They have moments where like you're so close to getting to the point, and yet you fucked it all up. Yeah, exactly. It's like you almost had a point there, and then you, you just fucking just ruined it you just ruined all of it it's, it's yeah. what the fuck are you doing well and the good news is and this is what the news media is scared about is that independent uh news journalists and everything are rising once again just like the the old days when the news originally started yeah, yeah that's what Ricardo was talking that. about the other day and it's a really nice thing to see yep. yeah sorry pagan you were starting to say something there and i no no i'm good all right Sorry about that. No, that's fine. I I don't think I was uh, had anything else to say. All right. It's almost my show, except it's about stuff that actually matters. I know I'm not the only one who tends to keep a TV or a radio. Okay, so games can actually matter. Games can do a lot of things for you. They can change your situation in life. They can make you think about different aspects of things you never thought about before. Like, they're all different types of things games can do. And games can lead you into communities to broaden your own horizons, to making new connections, meeting new friends. Yeah. Like, 
Games like, can Im- do things. To say that they're completely pointless is ridiculous. Imagine yeah, that's if stupid. Imagine if some asshole on the internet is complaining about games he doesn't like and leads to him starting a podcast with uh, a friend and a person he had just met that lasts for nearly a year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. That sounds totally unbelievable. <laughs> Couldn't happen. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Though, if we do turn this into a movie, I call dibs on Johnny Depp. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you can have him. I want the guy, uh, I want the guy from, uh, The Thing, the 1980s version. Oh, (laughs) uh, I don't think such a great (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I'll be played by Kurt Russell. You'll be played by Johnny Depp. I'm not even going to (laughs) say. Oh, no. (laughs) Charles. Oh, no, no. Mm. No. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. Go on while surfing, gaming, or working. So if you do, tune it into some news. There's lots of choices, especially if you've got cable. And if you. Oh. (laughs) I'm surprised he included it. it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he showed Sky. I think he showed Sky Australia. Hold on one second. Gaming or working. So if you do, tune it into some news. There's lots of choices, especially if you've got. Yeah. All right. Well. Hey. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised that he actually included that. So am I. Yeah, especially because Sky has been ripping <laughs> mainstream media apart in fucking the U.S. It's See, great. I, I like this. I like this. I'll have Movie Blob telling me, "Hey, you, you better start watching the news." Oh, okay. Turns on Fox News. No, stop. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, to be that, fair, no this right? is... Hang on, let's switch over to Sky News Australia. <laughs> no, that's worse! <laughs> yeah. To be fair, this is from 2013. He probably wasn't, you know, that politically... Retarded yet? Yeah, like, he wasn't that, like, active in politics yet, probably. It wasn't. It probably wasn't until, like, 2016 that he uh, started to get into that side of things. So... Yeah, he probably ha- he probably didn't have the opinions he uh, he has now. I think he did. God. Well, I don't think he had them as strongly. I think I don't think he knew the narrative exactly that he was supposed that he's supposed to have at this time. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just read this comment. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, by mom. <laughs> 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 Hi, Setch. This is your mother. How are you doing today? I'm just watching you from a live stream, and look at you going from a Dragon Army bomber to a Dragon <laughs> Critic who reviews games and loves his friends. As such, I'm really proud of you. I'm just letting you know as your mother. So please have a nice cup of hot chocolate on me. On the house. Also, don't forget to give me kisses. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm glad your mother loves you so much. <laughs> oh... Chad is uh, definitely doing some things today. Yeah, great. Chad Chad's is got on a, something today. Chad's got a bit going, and they're they're sticking to it. <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah, everything you hear from the mainstream news is through a heavy fucking filter. Yeah, especially if they're owned or at least uh, partly owned by a certain Murdoch piece of shit. cable don't there's even more of it available online look guys you don't have to morph into walter cronkite but it would be nice if everybody understood that when they talk about the <laughs> health care debate they're not <laughs> you don't have to morph into walter cronkite moth and that's the news and that's the way it was <laughs> i'm curious what he's gonna say about the health care debate it's, oh, it, yeah. He just said that really fucking weird. That, that's why I had to pause. It was like, did he actually yeah. say that? Yeah, Moth his, into him. His, his accent came in. Even more of it available online. Look, guys, you don't have to morph into Walter Cronkite. <laughs> but it would be nice if everybody understood that when they talk about the health care debate, they're not discussing which member of President Obama's party has to be the tank and which one has to be the healer. 
Who the fuck uh, does that, you fat retard? What? Yeah, no, what the no, fuck? you know what? Fuck this. It, movie Bob, you're an example of why I'm not for Medicare for all. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want my tax dollars going towards you, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, holy shit! I was not expecting that. <laughs> I, I'm in, I'm in total agreement, actually. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Um, show me one fucking person on this planet who is discussing which member of Obama's fucking cam that was the tank and the healer. You fat fucking retard. Holy yeah, shit! So stupid. I look at movie Bob and become even more of a libertarian. <laughs> God, yeah, this is just fucking. All oh, gamers are just fucking drooling retards that think that everything is uh, like equated to video games. Like, fuck off. Yeah. Obama was a druid. <laughs> I hope the I hope the dogs barking are not catching on the mic. Uh oh, uh -oh. not really. Behavior, behavior. Uh -oh. We're about to be uh -oh. called out, everybody. Oh no! Prepare your gamer words, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you criticize people. Prepare your bad. gamer. Prepare your gamer words. I've got mine. Accountability. <laughs> <laughs> Joker here. I've got some gamer words for you. <laughs> This is going to be the tough one because it pisses me off the most. See all those other things. And we don't want that because then the rules of fat go all over you. <laughs> Again with this dank fucking murder basement. Like how many times did he have to... Okay. I wonder if he stripped it out this entire mess beforehand. And he's like, okay, this section is going to be filled in the basement. He filled them all in the basement at the same time. Or did he realize, fuck, I need to go back down there and record again? <laughs> I have a feeling you might have gone up and down, up and down, up and down. My yeah, clearly not enough. When I make my videos, so I have to go downstairs. <laughs> he clearly didn't go up and down the stairs uh, enough. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we don't need to see your fucking dank murder basement, Bob. What the fuck? Panini pagan girlfriend. Pagan, when are you? I thought you doing not going a live stream. Can I come? I want to be close to you, but again, I want to be really close to you. I hope that face of yours. Okay, well, besides the fact that I literally can't understand anything of what you said, you also put it as girlfriend, so you know it's fake. But beside, beyond that, uh, that's a fucking, that's a fucking changeling right there. I'm just glad that nobody from my end is on the chat. See, I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> now, now someone's gonna fucking do it. You just invoked it. Yeah. Well, what, are we gonna get some other wizards in the chat now? Yeah, we're gonna have someone come in, Gandalf, I'm your brother. Why'd Holy you leave shit, me to I die? Should make, <laughs> no, I, should, I should make Zandalore. Holy fuck. <laughs> King Dude, of Ruth. Of course. Brown. <laughs> King of, Ruth. of course, Pega's girlfriend is retarded. Girlfriend? Why would I have a girlfriend? Like, do you guys not know me? <laughs> it doesn't work. I don't know you as well, so I. Tears of lost socks. Pagan would never accept a female's touch. <laughs> <laughs> I cast deny Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, whenever Pagan's out in public. Any oh. every time he's out in public, he sees a woman coming up to even talk to him. He's like, I cast deny the witch! <laughs> Back. Back, harlot! Back, he just whips out a fucking wreath of uh, a fucking garland of, of fucking garlic and just tries to throw it on them. Back, back, demon, back. Uh, uh, I like how fucking Dirk was like. He said, <laughs> he said the, uh, "Oh man, I already forgot what he said." But like, the fucking uh, I 
fuck? What did you say? Like, you're lucky or something? And then immediately yeah, I could hear him lighting a pipe in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but which weed am I smoking here? <laughs> I love that you can hear that. <laughs> uh, anyways, that meme uh, was by Itiko the Tricky again. Thank you very much for the laughs. Thank you, Itiko. This <laughs> is great. Are really fucking good. Uh, someone left a comment on the uh, last stream we did covering Bob, and they said they almost crashed their car laughing at the fucking image of uh, the the cartoon image where movie Bob is in like a room full of piss jugs and stuff. And <laughs> I, I'm just thinking, why the fuck are you watching this stream while driving? Please don't do that. I don't want you guys to die. Yeah. <laughs> but that All was right. a hilarious image. <laughs> Isn't Pagan an African warlord? <laughs> <laughs> Things. Fitness, cultural myopia, I can understand that. I mean, those aren't exclusive to gamers, Lord knows. But if there's one thing that stands out about all the other problems with the gaming community right now... We're toxic, right? We're, we're toxic. We're calling it right now. We're yep. toxic. Yep. Now, it's that way too fucking many of us... Whoa, 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 what are you doing with your camera there, buddy? What are you there for, buddy? Is the camera, like, it's all the life and energy is getting sucked out of the room into Bob's fat rolls. He, no, he's <laughs> sucking the sugar out of everything around him, and they lose their color as a result. <laughs> it's it's kind of like in Planet Terror when, when Quentin Tarantino's scene comes up, and the screen, like, slowly turns red. Yeah. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. I like watching it on Easter. Well, yeah, that's a very good Easter movie. <laughs> I, want cl I watch Clockwork Orange on Christmas. My name is not important. What's important <laughs> is what I'm going what, to do. What I'm about to do. <sighs> Fuck. That ending of that game just keeps reminding me of Ride to Hell Retribution. Oh, so <laughs> Okay, anyway. ...with the gaming community right now, it's that way too fucking many of us have no idea how to act proper. And that is just fucking unacceptable. It's also the only Why? problem... Why the, <laughs> the weird camera stuff there? Was... Not enough of you fucking gamers drink your tea with your pinky in the air, and that's a fucking problem. Dude, and then his his weird thing, like, he realized his line was done, yeah, cut, and then he turned at the end. It's fucking great. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, and now I've got a picture of John Carpenter's The Thing, or at least the promotional image for it up on screen. Yeah. I, I don't know why he's using that picture of himself, but okay. <laughs> I don't even see that yet. I'm at a blank screen. Yeah. Um, okay, so, Bob, I guarantee you that 100% uh, 100 of the people who drop gamer words in chat or trash talk other players in multiplayer games, 100% of them are not going to take some random fat asshole seriously and change because of what you said. Yeah. In, in fact, fact, they don't... Uh, yeah, I think we're going the same exact way. Go ahead. In fact, hearing you say this makes me want to be more toxic, you fat cunt. Exactly. I was going to say, in <laughs> fact, they'd probably double down out of spite. Yeah. <laughs> piece that thing as in within the last decade once upon a time being a gamer did not automatically make people assume you had no grasp of basic human interaction uh when was that because that was th that was the whole thing with every new form of media what, like what is this the 90s like yeah jesus christ the, you had the fucking tabletop revolution with people doing tabletop rpgs you gotta we're gonna worship the devil oh, satanists get up like what the fuck like it's just Dungeons and Dragons. <sighs> no, Mom, I'm just Monsters. a wizard. Monsters and Maze is a far out game. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Hey, whatever his name was, jumps into the pit to crack pluck the treasure. How much does he get? It was Jim and Crest Spikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that movie was so <laughs> awful. God damn it, Pagan. Oh, that's good shit. <laughs> Yeah, Itiko just keeps sending me these. 
Oh, by the way, we will get through the uh, Halo memes on the next episode that were sent during the last episode. Yeah. Hell yeah. Action. Oh, why? Because if we wanted to game in any way other than on our own, we had to go interact with other humans. Mm, <laughs> kind of? Sure. So, uh, you go to the arcade, which always stank. Like, you know, the arcades always had that very specific smell. Oh, it was like old must body odor and everything was dark and smoky. It was like a universal standard of arcades was they had to look shady as fuck. It was like you were literally walking into a goblin cave whenever you went to the arcades. They, were, they weren't, like, big and vibrant. It was, didn't turn into, like, the Japanese thing where they were bright, vibrant, tons of colors and everything like that. It was always kind of like, you know, hey, let's go to the arcades. And you open the door and, like, dark room with black lights and everything like that. It was always weird. Please, for the love of God, don't tell me I'm the only one that ever went to the arcades. Uh, the um, arcades did not have Sonic the Hedgehog, so I did not go there. Oh. Um, the arcades kind of died out before my time, really. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> Let's just turn gun on self. Yeah, no, and I unfortunately, think... I lived, like, I live in the middle of nowhere. There's nowhere around here where I can go to an arcade, there... so no, I did not go to any. There, there is kind of, okay, I'm not completely accurate about that. Um... The bowling alley I used to go to had kind of a side room of, like, several crappy old arc uh, arcade machines, but it was brightly lit. No, um, that's, that's, not, that's not really an arcade. That's just kind of like a side expansion thing. Yeah. Arcades, when they were fully dedicated to just arcade machines. We do have were... one around here called uh, Pladium, which is purely, like, arcade stuff. You win tickets and uh, get prizes from stuff from some of the things. Others are just video games that you could put a token in and play. Um, mm. And the only reason that thing stuck around, play, the only reason Palladium is still around is because uh, it's like this massive complex that it's like a special thing. It's not like a normal arcade that you had in the 80s. Yeah, we have stuff like that where like the big fun palaces and stuff like that where it's it's obviously like really brightly lit multiple floors tons of different arcade machines it's kind of more like a love letter to what the arcades used to be except uh, as legionary hunter puts it in chat if it's not dingy and with a shady cashier it's not a proper arcade exactly the dude who literally looked like he was eyeballing everybody in that room like i could take them <laughs> ah fucking arcades man Oh yeah, and you always you could get pizza at arcades, and it was always like the sloppiest, greasiest, floopy floppy thing ever. It's like bowling alley pizza. Yeah, pretty much. I like the urban legend about how uh, the the pizza from Chuck E. Cheese was just like scraps of pizza put together. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrifying. Jesus Christ. Used to have a Chuck E. Cheese, and then it went out of business, and a new place called Adventure Zone came in, and then it went out of business. Yeah, no, nobody cares to go to those. I mean, um, we're just not we're just not the age where where arcades are really going to get much uh, traction here. Yeah, that, that's why I said you need those big ones that are all like a love letter to the arcades, because then you have the the massive variety and everything like that. It becomes a spectacle in and of itself instead of you know, going there to play the games. You're there to be at this huge, like, extravagant place. But also, who wants to be the adult that goes by himself to Chuck E. Cheese to play the Simpsons Arcade? Yeah! <laughs> that one lone adult in the corner who's playing an arcade machine. And it's just like, oof. If I oh, ever my, get my, a my shit zillion... Always... Go ahead. <laughs> go, no, go ahead, go ahead, buddy. If I ever get, like, a shit zillion dollars, I'm absolutely buying old arcade machines that still work. Or have them repaired if they don't. And yeah. just putting them what, in a room. What you should play. do in, instead, Cree, um, 
find out if there are any penny auctions. Uh, it, well, I don't know what they would call them there, but they, they would call them penny auctions here. And what you would do is you would take ex an extension cable with you, and you'd go to these auctions. It was all old arcade machines, and you could play them all you wanted the entire time the auction was going. So you could see what, what machines you wanted to bid on. And all you had to do is you would hook up your extension cord into it, into the plugs, and you would play. And then when you were done, you'd unplug and move on to the next machine. It was just a fantastic experience. Going to the penny auctions were amazing. Oh. Huh. Like, and there, there's got to be tons of them around. They're still making arcade machines today. So I would not be shocked if they're still around. And you could find some really, really cool fucking machines. Yeah, I'd love to have, um, not just the space, but the money to get a couple really good arcade machines. That would be fucking awesome. The, Holy shit. Highly recommended, the Lost World uh, light gun arcade machine. If you get enough money to actually get one, because they're popular for a reason, they're, they're sought after for a reason, it is a fantastic arcade game. It's kind of like House of the Dead, only set in uh, Jurassic Park. It is really fucking cool. And it has multiple different pathways you can go based off your shooting skill and everything like that. Really fun game. Cool. <laughs> I hear Konami still makes arcade machines. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It's fucking oh. pachinko machines. Yep. Uh, I will always always be fucking mad about Silent Hills being cancelled. Yeah. Even if I even if I wasn't as big of a fan of the Silent Hills anymore because of Downpour and Homecoming really kind of shit the bed on that. Well, yeah. Silent Hills looked like it was going back to its roots and I was like, that, I'm Ex very much interested. Exactly. Um, wasn't Silent Hills also being developed by a Japanese team rather than the American one? Because I yes. thought it was an American team that made uh, Downpour and Homecoming, which were fucking garbage. Yeah. Oh, fucking Homecoming pisses me the fuck off. Both why of them. Why the fuck is Pyramid Head? Why the, why the fuck is anything in Homecoming? Uh, yeah, Did... your, your guy's good at combat because he was a veteran. Oh, we lied! He's not actually a veteran! He's just a crazy piece of shit! <laughs> do, you like, do you like the ending where they turn him into a Pyramid Head? This creature is supposed to be a manifestation of fucking guilt. And, oh, this guy just got turned into one. Because that's <laughs> that's how it works like this. That, I'm going to edit uh, that slightly, but Overseer USA says Silent Hill uh, downcoming. I say downs coming is more accurate. <laughs> I heard downcoming because two best friends played both of them. And they both hated those fucking games as well. And they actually uh, accidentally referred to them as uh, the downcoming. Which was very yeah. fitting, because holy shit, they're, they're both terrible. There's a remake of 2 in the rumor mill? Ooh. Ooh. I, I think... Remake. You think what? I think they would fuck it up, because I think they'd be too tempted to showcase the graphics instead of going for the atmosphere. Well, we've got Resident Evil 4 coming up. That I'm also very worried about. But oh, yeah. I, I'm also... I wasn't as big in Resident Evil 4 as I was Resident Evil 3. I am much more... I enjoyed the original trilogy and Code Veronica. Um, I enjoyed the original trilogy much better. Four, four is a good game. Four is a good game. Five, uh... <laughs> no. Yeah, In no, particular. not five or six. Five yeah. and six could fuck off. Seven, even seven. I don't think seven's that good of a game. Yeah, I don't really think seven's that great. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's that good either. I, I love seven. I'm worried about... I, I did not. I'm worried about a Silent Hill 2 remake, particularly for the voice acting, because that seems like one of the things they'll be like, oh, the voice acting in the original was so bad, we need to fix it. It's like, Jesus Christ, no. The voice acting is, like, one of the biggest things you should keep from the original. Yes. Like, literally yeah. just keep all the original voice acting. You don't need to change it. Because um, that's part of... The atmosphere of the games is everyone is talking weird. Yeah. Because they've, they've all got their own different traumas and stuff, you know? It's supposed to be awkward. 
Um, and Daniel K brings up, man, as I said on such as streams, one game I'd love to get a remake of is Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. I would too. I thought they were making one. Uh, I, I'm i not positive on that. Oh. I hope they are, because I would love to see it, because it's probably one of the things that still scares the piss out of me to this day is the hotel chase sequence. Holy fuck, that is so good. If you if you want to if you want an experience that isn't jump scares but is pure tension and dread, the hotel chase sequence is so fucking good. I remember seeing a clip of that before, and I know there's a sequence in fucking Outlast that kind of resembles it but far shittier. Yeah. The reason it worked is because of the pacing. You you'd been in this town, you realize a bunch of people didn't like you this whole time while you're doing your investigation, then you go to sleep. And then you you get from your visions, because your character has visions, which is part of the thing that's making him sick and not feel good. You're getting your visions, and you see the Innsmithers walking up to your door, and they start jiggling the handle and trying to get in. They're like, it's locked! Break it down! It's like, uh... And now you're, you're just up. You're up, and you're running for your life through the hotel as they're trying to murder you with shotguns and axes. Fuck it, it is a great, great, uh, great sequel. Also, no, not Sinking City. DC Dynamo, Sinking City is entirely different. That's more of a detective noir thing. And it is, it's really good, honestly. I, I enjoyed Sinking City. Its endings were pretty weird. I didn't like that you could just pick any ending you wanted. I, I It would have been better if your choices had dictated the ending, but eh, whatever. I did like it wasn't black and white. I, I enjoyed the shit out of that a lot. Anyways, back to the video. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to, everyone would have to go to somebody or another's house, necessitating the basic skills of no. I, I realized what he just said. I, it took me a second there to process what he said. No, he, what he said there was okay. It's a, they just had that brief moment of like, oh no, he did say with your friends. It's like, alright, fair, fair, yeah. We had to go interact with other humans. If you wanted to play with your friends, everyone would have to go to somebody or another's house, necessitating the basic skills of knowing how to act as someone's guest. We also had the... N no. Not at all, in fact. Like, I got some fucking horror stories from some friends that didn't know how to fucking act at all. And, you know, I'm sure that I did things that also annoyed them, too. That's just, that's just fucking being, that's being kids. That's what happens. Yeah, what I had as a kid is uh, all my friends wanting to play Goldeneye. Fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of us play Goldeneye a lot, too. Uh, uh, or Halo. I'm, I'm... Halo is a big one. See, Halo was fine. Goldeneye controlled, like, fucking shit. Yeah, but that's what. But that was when FPS was still trying to figure out its feet, you know. Well, like console FPS, yeah. Yes, but... that's what I should. I guess I should make that designation. FPS towards the, towards consoles was still trying to figure out its feet. And to be fair, they had a really shit controller to work with. The fucking N64 controller is a nightmare. I I like the N64 controller. It's just it's just not good for shooters. I. Same yeah. for the Dreamcast controller. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. But I don't know. I guess I just got used to the Dreamcast controller more. Um, but it's because I play Eternal Darkness a lot. So yeah. Seriously, one of the best uh, GameCube games there is. Eternal Darkness, highly, highly recommended. these great arcades which were public places where you didn't just game but also met people hung out maybe had lunch it helped gaming maintain a constant and very real connection with the physical world what no 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 bob no 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 bob i see through you i know what you did you went to the arcades and play the games by your fucking self and then yeah. scarf down on pizza again by your fucking self we know what happened you yeah, didn't have friends I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking that's more likely <laughs> Because even when you go to the arcades, you had divergent tastes from your friends. Not everybody liked the exact same thing. I was the only kid that liked Rayman 2 back in the day. <laughs> Fuck. 
Yeah, and I was the one that wanted to play StarCraft a lot. So. Yeah. Look at those picks, dingy as hell. And these are still, like, modernized uh, arcades. But, yeah, this is kind of what it is. It's always low lighting and everything like that, so people can see the machines more. Uh, they're pretty dark and dingy. Uh, just in general, and that was that was the good old times of arcades. Where was like... I'm pretty sure the other kids waited waited until Movie Bob was done before they played Turtles in Time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wiped down the fucking machine too first. Hey, get me a fucking wet rag so I can play this game. Uh, Enclave Emily says, you guys should moderate how much of Bob's videos you watch. You may get proximity-based diabetes. Well, this is why we only cover them once every few months. This is still the same video from two weeks ago. Yeah. It helped gaming maintain a constant and very real connection with the physical world. What happened? You know exactly what happened. Online multiplayer, which for all its supposed benefits has done, in my view, a Massive amount of harm to the medium and the society it inhabits. I How strongly boy. disagree. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Xbox it's... Live came in and then everybody started using the gamer words. <laughs> yeah, it was I, great. It allowed people more to be themselves and to find people with more of their interests and build up relationships across longer distances and understand that there were different uh, aspects and different viewpoints around. Even around something that you had a shared interest in. I, no, I, I strongly disagree that it, it had as had more of a negative impact than a positive one. I think it had a great positive impact. Yeah. yeah fuck, I remember... squeakers, fuck squeakers, fuck squeakers, fuck <laughs> squeakers. <laughs> uh, I remember, yeah, I played uh, a bunch of Halo 3 online back in the day. I played a bunch of uh, World of Warcraft and other games online back in the day. And being in those lobbies fucking uh, helped me grow a thicker skin, you know? Yeah. Because oh, you realize this shit that. isn't important when they're calling you names. You just yeah, have to be yeah. better. Well, you got a wizard in the chat now. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Watch my first trick. Uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> It helped finding people, period. Kind of like Pagan. I live in the middle of nowhere and share no interest with my peers. Without internet, I'd be miserable here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I would I would have killed myself a long time ago if it wasn't for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm not Jesus. laughing at what you said, Pagan. I'm sorry. I was reading a comment that was funny. <laughs> what was the comment? Some... I, that was the hand of Themis is the one I'm reading. Yeah, some kid on Call of Duty called Bob a friendless fat fuck whose mom is easy. And he took offense to that. <laughs> I can imagine all of Bob's hatred for the rest of the world stems from that one interaction on Xbox Live. Yeah, probably. Bob is the kind of person that sees copes and molds all the way through life. Yeah. I get it, Bob. I, I got my banter back when I played Call of Duty on the X on Xbox Live. I get it. <laughs> yeah, you you get clap back. You say stupid shit like, like oh my god, back when I used to be in the Gears of War MLG clan, and fucking talking shit about how I, I was friends with like one of the best uh, snipers on that game. Just oh. see, uh, it was Modern Warfare Two when that was pretty new. I bought that and played it online. I had some some guy saying, hey hey, where'd you where'd you buy this game? Uh, Best Buy. It goes. Oh, I'm pretty sure they have a good return policy. <laughs> <laughs> However, here's the thing: you can't actually return the game that you bought after you've un unpackaged it. So I'm pretty sure that means he didn't know what he was talking about. So therefore, his parents probably bought the game for him. I was self-sustainable. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's always fun ways to logic your way around a burn. It's great. Behold the rival. In terms of making it. Oh. Behold the rival of the Owl Re Revolution. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> In 
terms of making it somehow acceptable to release a $60 game with a single-player mode that doesn't even last the fucking weekend. No, far more problematically, online multiplayer has created a situation where by having people play with people without actually playing with people, you've raised a generation of gamers who think nothing of treating an actual person they're playing with online with the same lack of respect they treat a computer-controlled enemy. Let's listen. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to think the theory that Movie Bob is just eternally mad about being called uh, fat and retarded on Xbox Live is the source of all this. Oh, Probably. yeah. in on the most people as Xbox Live user who sounds like he's maybe fucking 12 trades clever verb. Oh, no. We're going into the squeakers, boys. Verbiage. <laughs> Yell mod, the pro. Yo, the pro, I fucked your fucking grandma so fucking hard in the fucking dumb teeth that she fucking spit out blood, motherfucker. You suck dick. Abuse your power. Console beam out. Give a fuck. You'll never see your Xbox again, piece of shit. <laughs> 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 oh my god i love that he had to add that this is real like bruh it's fucking... yeah, that's pretty tame that is tame dude what oh, the fuck come on <laughs> that was this also real that was also uh, fucking funny yeah it is it is it was genuinely funny and then i there's some salt and then there's the flip side of it. People bullying little kids on games. I love that <laughs> shit. I slurp yeah. that the fuck up. Oh, dude. The, the fucking salt is real, though, oh. from that kid. That kid is... That kid is butt man. Oh, yeah. yeah. God. <laughs> that just made me think of, like, well, you mentioned the bullying kids thing, and it just made me think of the fucking, like, stop killing me! Stop <laughs> killing me! And then the fuck, I guess it's his mom comes in. Hey, hey, quit, quit bullying a small child <laughs> he's a, i don't know what you're talking about i ain't doing anything yeah, yeah. yes you are yes you are <laughs> <laughs> and if, if the dad if the dad is anywhere in the scene you know he's thinking that he raised a fucking pussy yeah. <laughs> stop killing me oh dude yeah i genuinely God. wonder where this kid is today oh yeah yeah me too you know, he probably he probably owns a few 7-Elevens, um, and he's uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he's moved on from uh, from insulting this uh, this this other guy's grandmother or kid's grandmother into uh, taking on some fat inbred retarded. Oh, uh, I, kn I know what you're talking about, buddy. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Oh man, that is great. I don't get the reference. I don't want to explain it because it would ruin the magic. Look up, uh, look up Mudahar and Ethan Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> that that saga just keeps getting more and more interesting. Holy shit! Uh, it does. I can't. Yeah. I can't blame Jim for pushing back the Acer Thorn stuff because Nick Fuentes and Ethan Ralph are so retarded that like every new day there's an entire like ten new chapters in the pay in the book of. How Ethan Ralph and Nick Fuentes destroyed themselves. Oh, the, the, yeah. the book of the book of Ralph is thick enough as it is. <laughs> Dude. I love that reply to that Mudahar tweet. By the way, the fucking like, I think this is the first time I've seen an Indian slaughter a cow alive. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so fucking good>. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest fucking thing too is Fuentes is never going to shake the fucking cum hunter shit. That will follow him to his fucking grave. Absolutely! <laughs> yes. oh, Holy my God. shit! Or the or the fact is fucking tranny porn thing or whatever. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, I love it so much. Well, here's the thing though. Like, you want to be you want to be the the leader of the Groiper movement, a, a a very white nationalist kind of movement, and then having fucking Richard Spencer saying, yeah, "I think that guy's gay." <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Fucking uh, em Emily, he was on a live stream and he accidentally showcased. Well, he was trying to show off. 
He's trying to show off how great the stats for his website or fucking whatever were. Yes! And then, in the tabs... Uh, this is on his phone, by the way, so it's showing a preview of each of the tabs behind it, and one of them is on a fucking <laughs> porn site. And, and the, the quickness of Kiwi Farms doing the sleuthing. <laughs> it, like, one, guy, one guy just decided to search uh, trans porn this time frame, and it, it immediately finds it. it yeah. You know what that actually reminds me of? That reminds me what? of, there's this image posted on 4chan of, um... It's like a bunch of different people combined together into one image. And it's like, okay, so there's like someone, I, I can't remember the full image, I'm just going off of memory. There's someone like on their bike and they're going off a ramp and there's weird shit in the background. But there's also like a guy giving another guy a blowjob. And someone on 4chan is like, I recognize that gay blowjob. And they post the actual picture from where it came from. <laughs> it's, it's, the same, it, it's the same energy as, as I recognize that bulge <laughs> wait a second enhance I know that bulge anywhere <laughs> oh dude <laughs> alright Yes, yeah. back, back to the video. <laughs> I'm gonna call your mom right yeah, now. Yeah, call my mom. And there are gamers out here who are taking this kid's side. What the fuck is wrong with us? Nothing. No, I'm taking the kid's side. Fuck that kid it. is awesome. I am absolutely taking the kid's side. That was an awesome salt fest. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah, it's like... It's fucking hell, grow some fucking thicker skin, Jesus Christ. The fact that you're actually made a video bitching about this he, is like, wow, fucking seethe. Peggy, seethe he more. He can't, all the fat stretches out too thin. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox Live at any given time, and you stand a good chance of experiencing racism, sexism, homophobia, and just plain vile rudeness of the type that even the worst radio shock jock wouldn't think of trying to air otherwise. The anonymity of online play. So. Boo hoo. Yeah, so what? Yeah. Cry Get more. outside your box. Get uncomfortable. God, I miss the old Wild West days of fucking Xbox Live and the early days of the internet when oh, people really God. did not give a shit about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm upset. I gotta, I gotta step away for a sec. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, it was just part of the fucking game back then. You, you'd go online, you'd play a game, and someone would call you, you know, the F word. It's just like, okay, yeah, whatever. I missed that. I genuinely missed yeah. that. It still exists, but it's a lot harder to find. Uncle Emily says, you stand the risk of suffering from based, 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 based. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you you know what's uh, actually funny? I was just thinking, a lot of these games try to censor stuff now where they take out a uh, voice chat so you just can't talk to people. And all you've mm -hmm. got to work with are, uh, you know, preloaded messages. Great job, teammate, and shit like that. But it reminded yeah. me of Grand Theft Auto Five Online. This is the funniest fucking thing in the world due to how retarded it is. You can't swear in the Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 online chat. You can't do it. Do you say fuck it starts it out? Like what? Yeah. It's yeah. fucking Grand Theft Auto. The characters are constantly saying fuck, but you can't say fuck on in the online mode? What? It gets even funnier if you start, like, if you get an Asian, an Asian to English <laughs> censorship thing. It's way, way funnier. Oh, because God. then you can't you can't use words like horse. Oh no! <laughs> because H O R, <laughs> star that shit out. So you're just star 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 S E. <laughs> oh no! I I bet fucking Red Dead Redemption Online, uh, playing with Asians would be fucking amazing with that. Star 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 S E. That person oh, stole my God. star 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 S E. <laughs> Oh, it gets it gets so much funnier too because you can't have night because of yeah. 
Uh, you can't have assassin because it's got ass in it. You can't have like you can't have monkey because M O N is in there, which is apparently an insult. In fucking... <laughs> oh, dude, Asian chat filters are fucking funny. This is one of those scenarios where I wish I had a shit zillion dollars just so I can make my own online game and have zero censorship on it. Yeah. That would almost actually be a selling point on its own. You're like, like we ain't gonna censor shit. You, you are warned. <laughs> this meme. Oh no. <laughs> Let me get that up on screen. <laughs> the only F word five year olds on Xbox Live didn't call me was friend. We live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> How could I? I know other people have pointed this out, but I can't go over it. How could someone be so fucking fat and still have their cheeks caving in like they haven't eaten in fucking three weeks? Yeah, that, that was me. I he he is like the contradiction in his skin suit. It, it <laughs> doesn't make any fucking sense. This has definitely been a wild stream, though, once the uh, internet issues got at least temporarily sorted. Yeah. Yep. Maybe he sucks some in? Ah, God, I don't know. It seems like it would be hard to do with your mouth open. And, like, constantly while you're talking, too. Like, yeah, if you... Yeah, I, I just tried doing that, and it, it's just... It doesn't work that way. It doesn't suck in enough. You can kind of do it. Yeah, because but... Because you can pull it against your teeth, but... Yeah, it just doesn't... It, yeah, it doesn't get that, like, shape to it. Uh, $20 from Hand of Themis. Thank you. Here's some from my latest commission. Oh, thank you. I figured you boys deserved a chunk, since I listened to Stag while I paint. Also, no French guests today? Um... Enclave Emily is welcome back on, uh, obviously in the future, where I don't know if she wants to, well, now maybe not today, but maybe another time. Yeah. It just gets a bit awkward trying to, uh, bring someone in in the middle of a stream. Um, but yeah, we'll have her back if she's, uh, willing to come back on. Yep. Oh, hello. Oh, welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, you are our current meme on the screen is uh, the latest one posted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a society. Play us to the absolute worst instincts of humanity, and these cretins are dragging all of gaming down into the muck with them. So I've got a message out there for every fucking troll with a headset and a copy of Modern Warfare. Guess Steve what? Cope mold. Steve Cope mold. Literally that exact statement. I've got a message for all you fucking trolls out there. That's just gonna make them go harder. You yes, fat fuck. Yes, exactly. It, it's just pathetic. Like it just makes you look like a fucking pansy. I mean, he is. I mean, he is a pansy. Yeah. I know, but it's like he's literally just displaying it for everyone to see. Well, get with the times, Bob. Right now, the game is uh, Mech Warrior Online, and we're we're all yelling at each other while we're firing our guns at each other's machines. Oh, the golden days are upon us. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he says that these are the people that are dragging gaming down, and it's like, no, Bob, it's people like you and the fucking all the censor happy fucking publishers and shit. Like, fuck off, they're what's ruining gaming. Yeah, all the woke garbage nonsense and everything. Yeah. No fun allowed. No is this kind of bullshit behavior. Especially being good at a goddamn FPS doesn't excuse this kind of behavior. 
Sure it does. Trash talking is an art form, and there are some people that are really fucking good at it. Yep. 100 goddamn percent. I'm sorry. Uh, Teabagging is a is a thing in Halo for good reason. <laughs> yes, and the and Bungie knew and allowed you to ragdoll with the corpse so it could bounce up and down like you were dribbling like a fucking basketball. <laughs> it's literally rape. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, if you're good at a FPS, uh, I think you have room to fucking trash talk people. Um, Absolutely. It's you've, called you've, bragging rights. Yeah, you've kind of earned it. Like, if you completely dominate at a game, it's like, oh man, all you guys fucking suck. Screw you. Like, that's that's yeah. fine. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, when I when I had a legendary fight, because to be more fair, people like fighting were, were garbage. When I had a legendary round of Modern Warfare, and I went 72-2, and two, you best believe I was shit-talking the fuck out of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm getting something. Oh. Uh, hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it's the same one Itiko just sent me, I'm not sure we could share it. Uh, no, I don't think it is because he hasn't sent me one yet. Oh. Oh yeah, he sent me. He sent me. One. Uh oh! So you're you're getting something else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can find the right one. It's not giving me the right one. Hold on. <laughs> oh what god, is this it? is great. What I I, is I... It? hold on, hold on. <laughs> the, the only way this could have been funnier, meme night, is if you had uh, if you maybe edited a gun into one of his hands. But this is great still. <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> movie bob is sending a message to those trolls <laughs> oh there we go <laughs> oh boy <laughs> unfortunately this is not the edited version I'm trying to find the one where it like just devolves into fucking screaming I'm trying to find that one uh oh but... Okay, how many gamer words are in this clip that I have to worry about? Uh, just cunt. Okay, so we've uh, already said that on stream numerous times, so that's fine. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play this just so people can hear. Oh, it's not letting Where? me. Restricted. What is that, what is that last line? <laughs> it's age restricted to YouTube. Okay, give me a second. Copy link. Yeah, but I, I just want to know what that one last line was. Hold on. Uh, from the first message, I should say. Do I see it needs to go? Give me just a second while I... Oh, God. People are doing edits. Oh, yeah. that again, He even calls out. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, what was that? All right. Um, that's only 32 seconds long. Let's listen to this. Bro, I'll tell you what, you fat little cunt. You're boring. You don't sound Nigerian at all. So go and fuck yourself. Go and fucking crawl in a dirty, dank little hole where you fucking come from, you dirty, dragon eating little fucking spastic. fucking over the top, but at the end of the day, you're fucking boring. I just love that, that, that weird, Every like, single... uh, eat a fucking dragon. Okay, the dragon eating thing was a bit over the top, but uh, at the end of the day, you're just boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm playing that part like, now. Fucking spastic. <sighs> right, okay, the dragon comment was probably a little bit fucking over the top, but at the end of the day, you're fucking boring. Every single person who watches your videos are fucking stupid. They're fucking ignorant little cunts. And you're just a fucking... <laughs> it cuts off at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I oh. can't find the fucking edited one. There's a really funny one where it's that, but then like, it just gets more and more fucking like distorted as it goes on, and it just becomes more like, like it just goes off the rails. Where listen here, you fat little cut, like da da ba, I survived. Just like starts fucking <laughs> screaming. It's so great, but I can't find it. Hmm. 
Two dollars from a guy under a bridge. Thank you. These kitchen nightmare outtakes are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right, all right. Yeah, let's get back to the video. You are not a badass because you own a copy of Call of Duty. You are not the man because you can swing around. FYI, this bit took about five takes. <laughs> you, 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 you guys are you guys are badass. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Go back and he's got his finger pointed at me. No, get your chubby finger there, Bob. That's more exercise than you can handle. He's waggling that finger. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Better fucking run, everyone. He's fucking uh, waggling up a finger. That's, he's, that's he's, a, he's a fixin' to holler. That's <laughs> the angriest pull my finger I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I can say that. I don't know. It almost looks like he's trying to not cry. Yeah. Like as if he's remembering all the traumatic experiences flashing before his eyes as he's trying to do these takes. That's why he took him five times. They called me fat online. How could they know I was fat over Xbox Live? <gasps> How could they know I was a land whale? <laughs> well, well, Bob, here's, here's how they could tell. It's because every time you opened your fucking mic, we heard, and then we just gotta go get the objective, guys. <laughs> that, that's... You can tell the fucking blob is like... Yeah, that's a joke I was just making. <laughs> Oh god. I yeah, I wouldn't know why you would admit that it took you five takes. That's that's weird. I this is a, okay, fractural criticism. I cut that out because that just makes it look so much worse. Yeah, there's no point. Except the like. finger. <laughs> well actually it, it does it does actually make him look or at least come across as more pathetic. Because yes. obviously he's moralizing about, oh, people are saying mean things online. We can't have that. He's literally waggling his finger uh, disapprovingly at the audience. And it's like, yep. oh, it took me five tries to, to get this take. It's like, oh, okay. So, wow, so this isn't even like, you know, unscripted hatred or anger or anything like that, which is what makes Salt so funny. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's not an off-the-cuff thing. You actually scripted this and tried it over and over again. Uh, Tears of Lost Sock says, Wag your finger all you want, Mr. Bob. Lindsay Ellis will never give you head for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> also, the comment's asking, is that Vosh's dad? No, we all know that Destiny is Vosh's dad. Why do you think <laughs> Vosh is so obsessed? Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. being good at a goddamn FPS doesn't excuse this kind of behavior. You are not a badass because you own a copy of Call of Duty. You are not the man because you can swing around a pretend virtual gun on a kill streak. You think you're so damn hardcore? Go join the actual army if you're such a badass gun. <laughs> I, I hope. I hope. Hey, um, I, think there's Bob, funny. I hope he never becomes a dad. I, I sincerely hope he never becomes a dad. I, I doubt he will. What, what woman would want him? I, well, right. What woman would want it? But, like, you, you never know, man. If Ethan Ralph can become a dad, so can he. I just hope it never happens. Yeah, but but Ethan, Ethan Ralph's baby mama is a pedo that likes lollies. Well, then there's a chance for Bob. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, dude, I just realized that's why she likes Ethan Ralph, because his dick is small enough to... Ah! Ah! Oh! We've all seen the footage. I ah, haven't. I'm right, glad I fucking frankly, haven't. With all the horror stories... No! Why the fuck would I? Oh, it's funny, bleach. that's why. Send me brain bleach, please. Look, I can laugh at the antics of a fat person online without having to see that fucking Eldridge nightmare. Oh, it is, it is horrifying, but it is really funny to watch the the other all the women like laughing at him. That is that is even funnier. Yeah, I I have seen that clip where they're all talking about it, not showing it, but talking about it and laughing at it. Goddamn dogs outside! I swear to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. 
And if we listen carefully, we can hear the sound of the shotgun pump sliding. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a fucking neighbor who, who's always letting their, their dogs out. And every once in a while, they'll be roaming the streets, too. The street? Yeah. Do they not have uh, a fucking fence? They do. Oh, they're just they're just dogs that either dug under it or can jump over it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, DC Dynamo, he he created revenge porn and people got to see his, his baby carrot. I mean, sure you made that revenge porn, but you still ate the shit. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 did Grace's ass butter taste like? Who? Uh, Who? Uh, what? what? I, lo I love him trying to play it off because he realized immediately what the dude said. I, I I don't know her. But you seem pretty interested, my dude. What the poo poo tastes like, dude? You ate the poo poo. You ate the poo poo. Well, the poo poo comes the poo -poo. out, and they eat the poo poo like ice cream. You ate the, you ate the poo poo, Ralph. You seem very interested in this. You seem obsessed with it. You ate the poo poo, Ralph. I'm not the one who ate my my n word. I, you ate, I ate the one who ate the poo poo. <laughs> yeah, just this is insane. Like, uh, don't play video games. Uh, you think you're so shit? Go join the military. It's like yeah, and I also think you're saying join the army when you're showing Marines. Yeah, it, which is, oh again, this is funny to me. Yeah, it's but... just so fucking stupid. Yeah. But yeah, think... you can't say these things unless you join the fucking military. That's the only way that this is justifiable to say. And it's like, no. I think shut the fuck up. I think Bob might be one of those people who uses army and military interchangeably, even though the military is the overall thing and the army is a division. Yeah. trying to find when because i need i need to know specific things of when the change happened for the the god awful ucp i can't remember the exact year the ucp got adopted by the army but yeah mm. it, it's not important it's just a funny thing for me and swing around a pretend virtual gun on a kill streak you think you're so damn hardcore? Go join the actual army if you're such a badass gunslinging motherfucker. I bet you're in for a rude awakening if you Yeah, did. he is. There's Marines. <laughs> He's just doing Marines everywhere. I'm pretty sure Bob has never fucking shot a gun either. Probably not. He's... Oh my god, he's probably like that dude who, who's, who's a reviewer for... I think it was Kotaku. I don't like guns in my m middle age. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were he was uh, playing a VR game and he he had his booger hook on the bang button and he pulled the trigger <laughs> and it scared him. He actually jumped and dropped the gun. He did, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, oh, I, I thought you were going for the other article where the smell of sulfur and <laughs> fucking whatever. It's I forget the full quote. <laughs> <laughs> No, like, and I and I remember that clip from uh, uh, bullshit from from Penn and Teller where they they let a kid fire a gun, and it and it fucks with him and he cries. You know, like I get that shit. He's a little kid. Yeah. If you're an adult, you and you can't handle firing a gun. Pack it up. You're done. Yeah. Holy shit. But I just, I just love how pretentious the fucking video was. The review. I don't like guns in my middle age. <laughs> it's like what the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is so fucking stupid like oh my god like oh you think you're hot shit oh you know you've probably never even picked up a gun it's oh uh so bob, how much you want to bet a lot of these people actually have used a gun bob yeah so so bob i i shit talked on xbox live and i joined the marines <laughs> <laughs> i didn't now to be transparent i got medically discharged because i got fucked up but I did. I joined the Marines. Because that shit was like, yeah. Movie Bob only shot insulin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Senator, that's great. Um, but yeah, this, this just comes across as a really dumb point. Because you don't need to be uh, an actual military person and be like, yeah, I killed you in Call of Duty. You suck. 
Like, they're, they're not even comparable, Bob. What the fuck are you talking about? I will say they kind of are comparable because you have not heard trash talking until you hear a veteran trash talk. Oh, well, yeah. I mean... It's fucking incredible. It's not... <sighs> trash talk is, like, yeah, but I mean... When I say they're not comparable, um, it's in the sense that, yeah, one is just playing a video game and the other is, like, a career, basically, you know? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's fair. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of fucking really good uh, <laughs> comments come in here. Was the kid shooting a fully semi-automatic yeah. AR-15 death machine and then... <laughs> I like the fucking one from Vessi, Bob Lo uh, Bob's Logic. Talk shit and list lower life form. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Holy shit, man. Oh, yes. I play. I have a clip that I play on my streams that is really fucking funny. It's about women in the military. Hold on a second. Oh, I think I know what it is. Are you talking about the, uh... She crumbles like a fucking yes! crouton. Yes! <laughs> That's my favorite one. It is I one fucking of my love favorite that. clips of all time. <laughs> she fucking crumples like a fucking crouton. I especially love the distortion put on it, uh, to that clip at the end. Yeah. Yes, it makes it... <laughs> I hate I hate having to go through this thing. I'll probably just save it some other thing. Kiddo. Anyway, the oh. only solution You got yeah, that got a it. lot faster than I thought you would. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'll I'll backtrack it there if you want to play There's that for the why. chat. 26. Yeah. I'm gonna play it now. Um hopefully it comes through for chat. There's a reason why twenty six of the most physically fit women in the Marine Corps have failed out of this course. That reason is simple. When you put 120 pounds on the back of a woman, she crumbles like a fucking crouton. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that clip. It is fucking oh, gold. Great. It is. Perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> from Forsaken. As you can see with this AR-15, it shows a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I've seen that. It's so fucking like, Jesus Christ, how can you be I, that stupid? It's so funny how the people screeching the loudest about guns are people that don't know anything about fucking guns in the first place. Yeah, yeah they but didn't you know, know guys, nothing. you know, but if you get shot with a twenty two, it, it might get stuck in the lung and we can save you. But if you shoot, get shot with the nine millimeter, it blows the lung right out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love that meme of like, here's here's what it looks like when you get shot with a nine millimeter, and it's literally like this dude's back completely blown out, like it's yeah. just a giant hole in the back. They must be using literally Fallout as a reference for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's insanity. Like, literally, one of the fucking things that people bitch about 9mm is that it's not powerful enough. It ain't yes. no fucking 45mm or 10mm. It ain't worth shit. And then you got the fucking president over here. It literally blows your lungs out of your fucking body. Yes. <laughs> I God, my, I love... handgun, my handgun is, is a 9mm. I like having control of my fucking gun. Oh, Come on. I, I think my favorite part was Brandon Herrera talking about how it's like, even even if you have hollow point, it's not gonna blow your fucking lungs out. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's complete bullshit. These people have no fucking clue how guns work, but then they want to fucking ban everything that they think is bad. Yeah. Ah, it's so stupid. We got it. <laughs> Vehicles of Peace Limited Edition. We got to do something about these assault SUVs with their automatic transmissions. <laughs> oh, oh, it's good. Uh, $5 from Rage vs. ML. Thank you. I have a range day on Wednesday. What do you recommend for someone who has never shot anything? A cannon. Um, I would 
I would do a uh, 20 gauge shotgun just so you get used to it. 20 gauge are very light shooting. It, it, so here's the weird thing about gauges. Again, the, the lower the gauge, the stronger it is. So yeah. don't do a 12 gauge, do a 20 gauge. 20 gauge is a lot lighter, but it's still shotgun. You'll still understand how they work. Um, nine millimeter, any nine millimeter pistol is fine. Um, just, and just stick with, uh, just stick with some weapons. Just find ones that you feel comfortable with. Like ask them if you can, if you can, um, handle it, obviously no ammunition loaded, but ask them if you can grip and see, like, I see which ones feel comfortable in your hand to use and everything. Oh yeah. Grips are, grips are different. Yeah. Yeah. And, and don't be, don't be afraid to say, Hey, ask them, say, Hey, I've never shot before. Can I get some instruction? Can I get some help and let them come and walk you through safety tips and everything like that. Don't, don't be ashamed to admit you've never shot before. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Again, the people there aren't going to laugh at you for not having shot before. They're going to be excited because then they get to, they get to give a, you know, give you a tour, a walkthrough through, through something they're passionate about. Oh yeah. Yeah. Letting a gun nut like introduce you to things. Like, they'll, they'll love it. Just don't be the guy that thinks that they know more than they do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. You just reminded me cause you were talking about the gauge, uh, gauges and stuff <laughs> and how the lower the number is and stuff. I had a cousin, uh, well, no, I still have a cousin. He's not dead or anything, but I don't know if he still works there. But I have a cousin who works, um, uh, what is it? I don't know if it's a steel mill or what exactly, but basically, you know, those giant furnace things with like, you know, all the slag, like melted slag and stuff in it. Um, yeah. Whenever those get emptied, uh, like the slag, some of the slag will like, you know, stick to the inside and, uh, you know, like they, they got to get they got to get it out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, so what they would do is they would lower. <laughs> this was literally his job. He would lower into these huge vats on like. a. Oh, what are those things? They're like a little eh, like a little platform on cables and stuff. And he would take an eight gauge shotgun and just shoot the slag off the sides of this thing. <laughs> And it was so fucking cool. I got to see him do it once, and I'm just like, holy fuck. Like, that is insane. You want to know the coolest thing I never knew I needed before? It seems so random and arbitrary why they would have it. What? It's in cereal factories, okay? They are puff cannons. The way you puff up grains of rice is you overpressurize it in basically a giant cannon. You literally wrench a lever into it and fire it like a fucking cannon and it explodes. Oh, they're cool. See if I can... oh. Dude, they are the coolest fucking thing. I'm mean, like, these are in cereal factories. What the fuck is that? Yeah, what the hell? Let me see if I can get it. Um, the puffing guns are what they're called. They are really fucking cool. After this, we have to get back to the video, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to get to one firing, so I'm just trying to go as fast as I can through to find one that's actually the puffing gun firing. Uh, here's one. Let me get to when he's about to fire it, though, because he's, he's doing the loading sequence and everything. You have to be very, very careful with these because... Obviously, it, it not only is it firing out a projectile, but it's also firing out a uh, a lot of fucking steam and shit. I guess you want me to uh, show this on screen? Yeah, let me get it. Let me sh uh, share. Uh, start at time. All right. Uh, and brace for ears, by the way. I can't remember if this video is really loud, but these are usually really fucking loud. I will turn the audio down. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that's still... Oh, this, one, this one's video is not actually that bad. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's really quiet. 
Yeah, they have literal cannons so that they can puff the, the rice in your cereal. It's great. <laughs> Sorry, I let it go too far. That's fine. <laughs> God, I just see that. And them talking, you know, like, because, you know, they're... This is how Rice Krispies are made? Yeah. What it's the how fuck? They puff, it's how they puff rice. Yep, all, every, every cereal factory that does uh, puffed uh, grain stuff like that uses these. Huh. I was just waiting for the live leak logo to show up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god oh my god imagine a standoff with police and you just see them like trying to they're about to siege a cereal factory and then they just wheel a bunch of these up to the windows <laughs> <laughs> sir they shot rice krispies at us oh god yeah i know cocoa puffs are so dangerous <laughs> <laughs> think you're so damn hardcore go join the actual army if you're such a badass gunslinging motherfucker i bet you're in for a rude awakening if you did kiddo anyway Not most the of them actually for this is for us out. for all of us to stop standing for it don't do it yourself do it yourself do it to your friends thicken up that skin baby shit yeah. talk it is wonderful do whatever you want if you want to shit talk online to people do it yeah literally don't fucking care yeah, don't let weirdos like this fat blob tell you what to do. Yep. Join the army, aka the Marines. Self <laughs> <laughs> to shun and refuse to interact with gamers who do. If gamers wish to be regarded as a community worth taking seriously, we need to stop being a community that simply puts up with racists and gay bashers and other petulant little antisocial assholes as though you can't do anything about them. That, oh god, this is so lame. I, I don't really view gamers as a community because there's so many different games that have their own unique communities to them. Exactly. Yeah. If I really want community bad enough, I've got other shit I can I can do for that. Yeah. And if I've got and if I've got people that are like that in in, in my games, I can just call them a slur and then move on. Or you know, <laughs> shit talk. I can shit talk them. Yeah. yeah. Also, nine times out of ten, when people say racist, sexist, you know, all that kind of shit, like homophobic stuff, they're not actually like they don't actually believe that shit. They're just trying to get a rise out of you. They're trying yeah. to offend you. Yeah. That's the whole yeah. point. Yeah. Like, you fucking idiot. Yeah, it's like when you see clips of uh, um, people playing games and they're like, oh, hey, bitch, get in the sandwich and make me, or sorry, get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. It's like, yeah, they're obviously saying that intentionally to piss you off. If, like, if they're, obviously, if they're saying it to a woman. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's clearly done to get you mad. A lot of yeah. people fucking do stuff purely for the sake of making you mad god i love that video of that fucking where the dude says that and then the fucking girl her comeback <laughs> just destroyed him oh yeah that was great was so good it was so funny yeah see see i'm the dominant one in the relationship i tell her bitch shut up and let me make you a fucking sandwich <laughs> 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 between us i actually am the one that cooks yeah yeah, oh, trust same. me, when you when you learn how to cook uh, for yourself and you start making some real fine meals, it's like, yeah, this is yeah. it. Yeah. And getting it to share getting it to share it with people that you care about. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. When you're confident in your cooking skills, like you just want to do it. Like you want to be the one who cooks. It's it's very it's relaxing weird. experience. And it's great. Yeah. Like I'll make I'll make Irish stew or a batch of, of my chili. She'll take it with her to, to work and her coworkers get jealous about it. <laughs> I the cockles of my heart, man. Yeah, dude. When I make my three meat chili, oh my god. Yeah, that's Fucking the shit. Heaven. And I always, and it, it's just weird because people are like three meats. Like, yeah, you'd be surprised how different each one can taste. Well, beans and are how just it all filling. works together. Beans yeah. are just filling where you can use it for more more meat instead. Well, what I do is I do um, 
7327 uh ground beef let that cook in the in the pot first yeah. drain it then it's already coated the entire pot then i throw in italian sausage and and grill that up in there while it's in all that fat and everything that's still in there so i don't need any oils don't need any um butter or anything like that then i throw in meatballs throw the beef back in and then we've got the red the red kidney beans the the um the dark red the light red and then the chili beans and oh so fucking good yeah i just go i go beanless for mine um i don't drain the meat either and then uh make sure i use a can of beer now uh 73 27 it's 73 lean 27 fat Mm -hmm. so yeah it's it's your the the secondary number is your fat content uh most people will go for 80 20 because they don't like to have as much grease and everything like that at the end, oh, but I that. like I like the grease for flavor. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And again, th- that's not just flavorant with with keeping it all in. Because I'm somebody that I don't keep it all in. I know that can be heresy, but I don't keep it all in. But even while it's cooking, all that grease while it's cooking is really fucking good for it. Yep. Oh, no. Ambulance chaser? No, no. That is not commie shit when you go beanless. In fact. Traditional <laughs> Texas, traditional Texas chili doesn't use any fucking beans. I don't want beans uh, when I can use when I can use that room for more meat. Dude, I have had this fucking argument so much with somebody in my server who's just like, it's literally not chili if you put beans in it. You're doing it wrong. You literally cannot call it chili. And I'm like, yes, you fucking can. You can have beans in your fucking chili, and it still be chili. You fucking, oh, I'm gonna strangle him. Uh, well, okay, there, there's a difference. So this is why I always said that even though I'm I'm really good at cooking and everything, I don't want to become a cook. Uh, High Speed Taco says, as a line cook, that's a fucking lie. I step in the kitchen and I stare at the electrical cord with suicidal intent. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah, that's why I don't want to go cooking. I like it as a relaxing experience. When you're, when you're a home cook and you're just cooking for yourself, it is a very relaxing kind of zen experience. Just work, yeah. going around the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to cook a chili again after all this discussion. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah boy. Too, oh, man, you got to yeah. make sure you get your onion and garlic in there. Mm. Yes. I, yes. I love garlic. I yeah, don't I think saying. I put onion in my chili, but I do put it in my stew. And, uh, yeah. I, mm. Oh, what, what you should do uh, to really give it some, a really good flavor profile is make your chili... And then just dice up raw onion and put it in there. Right yeah, very absolutely. In. Yep, that's what I do. I just it's, dice it's got up a the... great sharp bite. Well, one of the yeah. things I would do is I would use ground beef for my chili, but I would also cook up a steak and cut it into bits and put that in. Mm-hmm. So you have like yep. the ground yeah. beef, and then you have like the steak chunks, which is yep. really well, that's good. What I do. Well, that's and... by the way I do the three meat one. Well, I would also uh, cook up bacon and put it in, and it was really good. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah, good idea. Ooh, I, I should try that. I haven't thought of that. I've done the bacon thing with both um, stews and chilies. Hmm. Yeah, I've beef done the stew. Fuck. Yeah, I've done the ground beef and steak, but I've I don't think I, I don't think I've ever done bacon. That might be pretty good, actually. God, I love my Dutch oven. Fuck. Well, now I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. God damn it, now I'm just thinking about camping experience of being stuck in a tent when somebody lets one rip and you're like, oh, <laughs> and, yeah. uh, I don't sleep in a tent for that very reason. I just, I just, I either sleep under the stars or if it starts to rain, I put a tarp over. I like, I bend a, like a young tree over and put a tarp over it. <laughs> and then you, you tell Arthur about this big plan that you got. Oh, God. <laughs> God, we have. Arthur. We had we just had to get into a fucking food discussion. I haven't eaten all day, and my stomach is rumbling at me now. Same. I get haven't eaten any right. food. And I, I, I had time. some right before the stream, but that I was... I did not. I don't have time to make a chili, and I want to so goddamn bad, so I'm pretty yeah. sure I just have a fucking pizza. Yeah. I'm gonna I, make something later, I just don't know what. I might actually get a fucking uh, panzerotti later. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, uh, $5 from Zimzilla99. Thank you very much. Thank you. This, this is why you should gatekeep. Probably burned more calories in the last hour than Bob has in his entire life. Also, no beans. 
Nah, I'm I'm okay with beans. I like beans. If if you cook them right, they add a good flavor to it. Yeah, I prefer mine with beans. I'm totally fine without those as well. Like I, I'm fine going crazy with things. I like trying new things. Mm-hmm. That's so why it's that's how I got into uh, trying all different kinds of Asian and, and Mexican cuisines and everything. Just trying all kinds of new things. Yeah. That's how I oh, learned man. I do not like cactus. Oh man, Themis, you you brought up venison, please. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm very hungry uh, too. All right, I love venison. We've, we've got less than three minutes of this video left, and we have a quick article to go through. If yeah. we if we stop tangenting so much, we could get through it, and we can all get off we'll stream get and get some food. But but Cree, but Cree, some tangents are guaranteed. Yes, yep. we've had some tangents. Now we can get the <laughs> fuck on with it. Now there'll be more tangents. There we go. You can. You yes, we can. <laughs> can we build it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Just do hill. it. Can we fix it? No, it's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Five dollars from Simzilla ninety nine. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Unfortunately for you, you are beanless. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no beans. No beans. <laughs> oh my god, imagine it the other way though. No meats. Oh no. no! Oh, a vegetarian chili? Get bent. Yeah, oh. fuck that. Oh. <laughs> chili is short for chili con carne. It has to have meat. Mm -hmm. I like how um, some places have been doing that fucking plant-based meat shit. So some other place did a meat ba uh, based plant thing where he just made like <laughs> carrots out of meat oh dude oh that sounds good <laughs> oh that'd be, that'd be so weird it, it does look weird it's like a very greasy looking carrot it's like mm. yeah i mean it's funny for the meme but that that looks a bit off oh i know <laughs> gandalf the hungry fuck Oh, dude, chili dogs. If you do a three-meat chili and then you make a chili dog with it. Oh, oh yeah. So good. I fucking love chili dogs. Oh. We didn't even make it three seconds into the video. We're back to tension thinking about food. Yeah. <laughs> this is my fault. This is my fault. No, it's the chat's fault. <laughs> yes, it is blame... chat's fault. <laughs> yep. Yes, we can always blame it on chat because while there's a lot of them there, they can't really fight back. Exactly. <laughs> 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 we shall not <laughs> we shall not rouse the rabble <laughs> <laughs> why'd you have to remind me of that shitty fucking show <laughs> I, I, I will tell you right now and put my foot down I will not watch season 2 yeah same I, I won't do it I don't... right now I am not watching season 2 yeah if they if they make a season 2 of that shit fucking I'm, I don't I you can't get me to watch that shit there's no way I barely got through season 1 alive oh. yeah I'll probably do it because it'll be good to do a video on or some videos on or whatever. I, but you guys, you guys don't have to join me for that. I drag you through fucking Bebop flicks. I drag you through Halo. I'm going to drag you through fucking Amazon Lord of the Rings and uh, Fallout. Yeah. So I can spare I think, you I from think Amazon season Lord two of the Rings might kill me. Oh, I think he'll kill yeah. all of us. We'll yeah, have to do the stag stream as fucking ghosts. Vengeful yeah. spirits. All right. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you... I I guess this would be a good time to ask Dirk for the eventual yes. stag where we break down every episode of Amazon Lord of the Rings. You want to I... join us for that? Well, I want to pause on that thought for one second. I don't, I think breaking down every episode gets kind of tedious. Yeah. Um, I th I think. Give our overall feelings and then jumping through the highlights of why shit's fucked. We could do would that. Would probably be the best way to do it. I think yeah. we'll finish out Halo doing every episode. But, man, oh man, I started losing my voice uh, last time doing the Halo one. Because holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, so, when we go through everything, it's kind of just like a lot of stuff in between that doesn't really matter. And it's kind of yeah. boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we so can figure that out uh, off stream. We don't have to, like go through every little detail, but just relevant stuff and stuff we notice, like, uh, yeah. just using Halo for the example, oh, here's this big, dumb, fucking sci-fi room with nothing in it. That's dumb. Yes. 
Yeah. The, the thing is, I want to do this with you guys. But if I do it, I'm going to be a fucking hypocrite because I made a video talking about how I'm not going to watch the fucking series and give it attention. Uh, okay, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Because uh, that's that's fine. You can uh, you can be in the you can actually no you don't have to watch it. What you can do is you can be the guy who's knowledgeable in the lore setting and everything like ooh. that. He comes in to just talk to us and be like, okay, so here's here's the thing, here's the breakdown, here's the rub. Yeah. While we talk about the show, and then you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> I, if you if you want me there for your streams, I'll fucking do it. Like, I mean, I my boner for for Tolkien's work is massive, <laughs> and, and and like as soon as soon as um, Amazon announced that they canned the uh, uh, Tolkien historian in the project, my interest was done immediately. Yeah. So, fuck, man. I, no, no, I that's know. what I'm saying. You don't need to watch it at all. You can keep your promise, and then you can well, just listen to us tell you about it, and then you can give more information about the lore, yeah, and the background, so, and everything. So the, the way it would work would be like, you know, we're describing what's happening in the scene, and a character does a thing, and you're like, okay, here's why that's fucked because this contradicts the lore. Yeah. I might as well just fucking watch it. It's not no. like I don't have Prime anyway. Don't. No, you don't have to watch it. It's understandable that you wouldn't want to. Yeah. Um, especially since it's going to be shitting all over something that you clearly love dearly. Um, yeah. I understand well, that feeling. I've had to watch everything I love go down in flames. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's my argument is that like, why do I need to to have this series? I already have the fucking books to enjoy. Mm -hmm. What's what's the point for me? It, it's, it's just weird again it, they just have to do these kind of things because they're like name recognition and everything like that we don't actually have any ability or you know any talent whatsoever but if we just rip off something else that's already pre-established for us it'll be easy right i'm so happy that there is no elric of melna Benet tv series you don't know they're gonna it. fuck that up don't jinx it well, no, the reason why we don't have it, like, it was actually something that was planned a, a while back, but then The Witcher came out, and they decided, you know what, it's a little too similar to The Witchers. We can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Ambulance <Yeah>. chaser. <laughs> Just make an apology video saying you're going to watch the show. Don't forget to sigh at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do the <laughs> dramatic sigh as I, like, sit down on my chair. Yeah. Light up my fucking pipe. Yeah. Which, by the way, I need to find a wizard robe for this shit. <laughs> Anyways, I want food, so we need to finish this video. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. and the article. Yes, you can. You can make the virtual battlefield a lonely place for them by refusing to game with them, by logging out, or failing that by treating them with the scorn and derision they deserve. <laughs> 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 don't be a dick to people on the internet but you know what let's join the good fight and be a dick to people on the internet well yeah. no i like the i like i like the other part because it's like if they're being mean you can just log off oh so you're letting them win yeah yeah exactly and then the, the other thing is either you log off or you literally do the exact same thing they're doing and just do it back at them it's like Wow, it's almost like that's the <laughs> fucking point. Mm -hmm. Fucking retard. That's what trash talking is, you goddamn moron. Also, I like how he's like, oh, we have to fucking stand up and push these people out. Oh, don't you worry, Bob. We are. We're pushing you out. We're pushing people like yeah, you, people, you people, out. people out. Yeah. Don't you worry. We're taking care of it. You're, you'll all be gone before uh, just one of these days. You'll all be gone. Yeah, we're trying to save the things that we love. Keep yeah. fucking from corrupting. Rings, Halo, and Fallout TV is just the beginning, Kratosis. We still getting Last of Us TV by Neil. Okay, so two oh. things there. No, First of all, no. Last of Us has already been ruined. But secondly, I wasn't into Last of Us in the first place. So, mm -hmm. it, it's I, like, you know, it, it's not a, that big of a deal for me. It won't Just be leave. as painful as, like, seeing Lord of the Rings get fucking raped by Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Yeah. Leave Fallout alone. 
Leave, leave Fallout alone. Oh, it's no, it's gonna be horrible. Yeah, if you uh, heard, oh. it's gonna be a wacky, gonzo, kooky adventure. Uh, do do you know who's working on the Fallout show, Dirk? No. Um, the the showrunners of um. <laughs> oh fuck! What's it called? W. Westworld. Yeah. Westworld. I didn't see Westworld. Okay. Oh. Everything be- I've heard about it says season one is amazing. That fell off a fucking cl- uh, cliff and went woke. Absolutely. Season two oh, is awful. No. And these are the people oh. who are going to be in charge of uh, Fallout. Uh, no, a wonderful no. little show that won't have anything at all wrong with it. It'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> that fucking article that we read on stream. I, oh my god. I wanted to blow yeah. my brains out. Yeah. Just goes to show how much they don't understand Fallout. Again, this is something I've pointed out before. It's like they took one look at Fallout 2 and said, Oh, this is a wacky, weird world. Okay, let's run with that and crank it to fucking 11. Yeah. Yeah, I... It's so weird. I don't get, like, how they diverted so much from... Like, yeah, this somber, you know, desolate, just apocalyptic setting that's dreary and sad and... There's death everywhere with very, you know, morbid humor in it. Yeah, no, it's kooky, crazy, gonzo, wacky. I'm like, where the fuck did you... That's like playing Stalker and getting fucking, like, comedy vibes out of it. Like, what the fuck, man? Well, I do think it is the pop cultural references in Fallout 2 and stuff. I love the fuck yeah. out Fallout 2. It's my favorite game in the series. But I said this before on stream. I didn't need the Monty Python bridge encounter like a dozen times in my first playthrough. Yeah. Yeah. And just just don't give me the the equivalence of Tiny Tina in Fallout. Yes. Oh, but I fear God. that's what we're going to get. All right. All right. Nobody else. I don't like saying it, and I'm sure a whole bunch of you are already pissed off and you're ready to hit me with some but but buts about political correctness or how come some people can say it but I can't say it, and I want to tell you to shut the fuck up with that right the fuck now. No, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, as I grew, special. as I got older, I watched people that, that made the most horrific and, 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 and like racist jokes like laugh like get their yucks about it and then and then very shortly later become super woke and now all of a sudden like the the edgy humor is just not fucking okay because you think that you grew up no fuck you yeah yeah go fuck yourself being mature is being able to laugh at these subjects is being able to laugh at at dark moments to find the comedy and even the darkest situation because that's how you get through these things that's how you bring other people through these things to the other side yeah, being grown up and mature doesn't mean getting your panties in a fucking twist because someone said a word you don't like. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime I hear people, you know, fucking say this kind of shit online, I just want to post that fucking, like, I know iDubs is a cuck now, but I just want to post that fucking video of, like, either it's all okay or none of it's okay. Where you yeah, What the fuck all... happened to iDubs? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, never, I never was a big fan of iDubs. But dude, that that dude's testicles just fell right off. I remember, yeah. Yeah. I remember like back when uh, the Elder Scrolls Online and Final Fantasy fourteen were still pretty new, and I was talking to a, a gay friend of mine about it. And I was like, I, I don't know which one to go with. He goes, Are you a faggot? I said, No. Get fu- then get Elder Scrolls, and that's <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a that was a gay friend who was like comfortable with his sexuality enough to make that kind of joke. And then, and then, not too much longer later, he's he's all about like, hey, don't be using uh, uh, language that puts down people. Oh my god! Oh, I fucking hate uh, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking it's, hell. It's, it's a literal cancer. It's a literal cancer. That's why you have to oust these people. That's why, hey, LGBT community, you want to become respected again? You got to oust the Q plus fucking weirdos. Get rid of those child grooming kitty diddlers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, LGBT needs to get keep the fuck out of of pedos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but they've basically taken over. That's why I don't like the fucking community. Yep. Yeah. I I separated myself from that shit years ago. I was like, yeah, no, you guys are not going to actually gatekeep this community, and I don't want a part of that. 
Yeah. So I'm done. But yeah, Idub's just fucking. He fell off, became kind of woke, and uh, yeah, fucking definitely became a cuck. Uh, really, that basically everyone from that kind of era has. Well, uh, well how's Chris Raygun holding up? Chris Raygun's okay. Filthy Frank. He didn't really go woke. He just wanted to do other stuff. He actually had one of the best, like, the way he left it was probably the best way. Yeah. Where he was just like, I don't do this anymore. I just want to make music, which is fine. Yeah, I, I, um, I, res I respect uh, Frank you about how he handled things, at least. Yeah, Joji's fine. Uh, Sam Hyde is pretty well exactly the same as he was back then. I don't think he's changed. Like, he literally does all the same shit he used to. It's just unfortunate yeah, think... he was writing for the KOTOR remake. <laughs> yeah, I, I, remember, remember. Oh. I remember that. That's yeah, I was, I was like, that what was the fuck so are you talking about? <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, I couldn't believe it. And then I then I realized at the moment, it's like, don't you mean Sam Max? Like, oh my god, did I say Sam Hyde? <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. I was like, what? <laughs> but yeah, that was great. So he's basically the same, but fucking iDubs, Ethan Klein, all of those guys just fucking like, Oh, Ethan Klein is the funniest clown I have ever seen. Holy yeah. Shit. Fucking worst. Yeah, Ethan just, he fucking fell off hard. He he fell off the hardest out of everybody. He was the worst. Yeah. Yep. Um, Deus Volt ends for the last, uh, isn't Raygun boinking that one woke chick? Uh, he means Lacey Green. That ended quite a while ago, I believe. Yeah. As far as yeah. I know, that's that's over with. I I haven't kept up with Chris Reagan that much then. Okay. Yeah, I, I I don't care enough to know about his personal life. It's just something that I somehow know. Yeah. Well, the then last you're... the last video I saw of Chris Reagan's was when he was talking about um something to do with uh, Halo. I think Sargon fell off the wagon too, a long time ago. Yeah, kind of, but not quite. He still does the Lotus Eater podcast, which isn't bad. I did actually uh, like have an argument with Sargon on Twitter about how you know you don't have to have kids. It's okay if you don't. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I don't agree with him on. I don't think he's a bad person or anything. I think he's fine. I just also disagree with him about a lot of things. But just but you know a lot of people don't seem to understand that you can disagree with somebody and not fucking hate them. Yeah. I, I think that he I think that he became a little too self important. Like once the liberalist shit like happened like the, the writing was on the wall here yeah oh my god his campaign to like <laughs> oh my god that <laughs> how did awful. how did how did anyone not see that was gonna go in flames yeah <laughs> that was and he just he did not know how to speak to like the public like my god dude you need to shut your fucking mouth sometimes because my mm. god dude you burned your own campaign that was you yeah holy fuck he fucking shit the bed on that one Sargon, Sargon of Applebee's. Of Applebee's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember Jim covering all that shit. That was hilarious. Um, I think Sargon's problem was he was trying to be too much like Trump, but he just didn't have... He didn't have the and... natural charisma. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, it's it's not just the charisma, it's the cadence of speech and everything like that, and the mannerisms that go with it, too. Yeah, like Chris was really a lot know. more varied than just the way you look. Because I don't, I don't think, you know, spoiler alerts here. I don't think anyone's gonna say that uh, Trump is, you know, in the top 100 men of all time looking here. Yeah, but uh, no, he just has natural charisma. That's again, that's one of my big arguments for why I hate that charisma. It also means like how good you look. I'm like, no, I don't think that should be the case. I think they should be independent of each other. So I hate yeah. RPG systems that make them ubiquitous. Yeah, same. I it's fucking stupid. Uh, five maple leaves from Adam Riley. Thank you very much. Thank you. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where they're filming Last of Us. I'm an extra background character in some night scene. Idub's wife is from Edmonton. Oh. Oh well. Well, I hope you have fun on that project. I hope they uh, pay you a lot of money. I know they probably won't because you said you're a background character, but yeah, all the best. Just make sure you don't talk to anybody. You're not paid to talk unless they specify you can actually speak. That you know that actually gets into a whole thing. Like extras are not supposed to talk at all, 
and so when an extra breaks character and actually speaks for a moment, but the line's really good, they then have to quickly draw up a contract and sign you to it and everything like that because of legal reasons. It's fucking fascinating. It's what happened to Star Trek, um, uh, what was it? It's when Spock, they all go back in time to save the whales. And, uh, one of the extras because they're talking to uh, that, the Russian. Guy. That is the journey I home, I name. believe. Yes. Yeah, and, and I can't remember. Um, I keep wanting to call him Stukov, but that's not right. Holy shit! Fuck it, hell, I am racist to Russians. Um, I can't remember his name. Chekhov. Yeah, Chekhov is like, uh, where is Almeida? Where they keep the nuclear vessels? And one of the extras. Uh, chuckled and pointed and said they keep an alameda it's like that's what i said that's what i said and they thought the line was so funny they had to quickly drop a contract for that extra so they could use that line because it's <laughs> fucking perfect <laughs> and of course his ad lib of that's what i said was so fucking great oh that's great i kind of want to watch that movie again i um the only one i haven't seen is star trek six i've seen the other five and i kind of want to watch them again Oh, should we keep going? Yes. Yeah, we're almost there. And then we got the article to do and we're fucking done. Being nice, not treating them like shit is not political correctness. It's just being polite, not calling... Contrast equals angry. Thanks oh, so for that's pointing why you it went out. Black and yeah, white. that's why you have your fucking tism fit of sucking all the life and color out of everything. <laughs> It's an, it's a, you don't get it, guys. It's an allegory for how he ever like, but, goes into a room. He literally kills the party. I've never seen a man eat color. <laughs> I have. It's called, it's, it's called being a Marine. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Here's the other thing, too, is we wouldn't have known that's why he was making it black and white unless he literally put it on screen. He would have been actually better off to draw angry eyebrows on his fucking forehead with a sharpie <laughs> to get this yeah. point across without literally spelling it out. Yeah. Because the otherwise... Fact that he has to... He has because... to explain his, like, editing. It's like, dude, if you have to explain your own editing and what it means, it means that you're shit at editing. Like, you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, because it, it went black and white earlier. It's like, what the fuck? Why are you making it black and white, Bob? What the fuck is this? And I was doing it again, and then contrast equals angry. Oh. Just, yeah. just don't zoom into yourself with with the pointing. We'll we'll get the picture. Yeah. Just make it red. Like that's, <laughs> it's like ubiquitous. It's like yeah, just do the fucking red shit meme. Like what the fuck? And, yeah, and the see, laser eyes. Don't forget the laser eyes. Yeah. yeah. If you make something black and white, that makes me think more depressed than angry. Yeah, it's more of a yeah. sad thing, not a fucking angry thing. Calling people names is not politically correct. It's common fucking courtesy. Do you even understand what some of these words mean? Yeah, I saw that one South Park about the F word too. But reclaiming language and disempowering taboo words is not what douchebag gamers are engaging in when they call people that word on live. It means you're calling them gay and meaning it as an insult. Boo! Yeah, yes! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Fuck you! We can use words like dumb and stupid, but we can't use retarded for some fucking reason? No! Fuck you! You just don't like that word because it sounds nasty. Yeah. 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 Like, it's a double standard and it's stupid, but also it's just fucking stupid. It's like, you're sitting here trying to be like, oh, well, it's it's mean to the gays. Okay, well, what about the gay people that, that do it, that use it and use it in the same way as you're describing? What about that? Yep. We we can't let words evolve for some fucking reason. Despite that that the word that the f word has meant multiple different things, including women, <laughs> like women who are a burden for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's just so fucking stupid to me. It's like it's like as a gay person, I just do not fucking care if people use that word. Like it's just funny to me. Yeah, that's, that's the reason why I use the term pony fag as like an endearing thing. Well, that's a 4chan thing, too, where um, they would add that onto the end of anything to uh, refer to other people on 4chan. And it's just, yeah, like, it, it very much became a term of endearment yeah. uh, more than anything else. Yeah, yeah. it's great. B, B fags, pole fags, like, 
it's just it's just the nature of the beast, dude. Yeah, seriously, like just grow some thicker skin and get over yourself and quit fucking quit being offended on other people's behalf. Let if if a gay person wants to be offended by it, let them get offended by it and say it. You as you don't need to fucking speak for them, okay? We don't need you to speak for us. Like we're fucking like debilitated, like oh we're fucking we're just too disabled to speak our own minds. No, I know. I know plenty of, of gay and trans people that are infinitely stronger than this piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, um, speaking of stronger... I was going to say quickly, too, point of reference, Enclave Emily, based as fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he, he, speaking of stronger, that reminds me when Brandon Herrera went into the anti-gun uh, thing, and they, he came upon a guy and recorded him. Of like this scrawny, literal looks like a fucking stick. Oh, warrior. Yeah. You only need a gun because you're weak. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I love his joke of like, dude, whoever told you to like make that sign and chant that at at a gun rally, like th that is meaner than anything I could ever say about you. Yeah. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I just read the text on the fucking screen. What? No, it doesn't. What? <laughs> doesn't mean that you believe that you fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> what? His, his take was so retarded that I immediately like blanked out and figured he was just re-emphasizing what he was just saying. No, it's like holy shit. No, w when we say yif in hell, we're just talking about furries. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, when you call somebody a faggot, that means you want to literally set them on fire. That's not no, part of the definition. not at all. Are, are you saying you want to bring in the Fourth Reich? What? <laughs> Fucking what? Uh, Five dollar super chat from Guy Under a Bridge. Thank you very much. Seeing red isn't a metaphor. It's from the vessels in your eyes bugging due to being so pissed off. Just like me watching anything y'all cover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am glad we can bring such joys into your life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> which has been rotten to do on two levels at least. Do not try to bullshit me on this, kids. If you do this, you're an asshole. Okay. I'm an asshole. He's an asshole. What an asshole. Furthermore, using, like, using the word y'all makes me look at you like you're, like you're a fucking idiot. I hate it when people use that term and think that they're like being so based. Oh, wait till, wait till you get to the Midwest where we say all y'all. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm part of the Midwest. The, oh, okay. Are you, Iowa, part dude. Of, I, are you part of the Midwest that says all y'all? Please don't I, tell I'm me Iowa, that dude. we're crazy. Please. Okay. Okay. I, so we had a discussion a long time ago in chat. And chat was like, such as being dumb. It's like, no, no, no. We actually do use all y'all here. Okay. And it's not... Y'all is a single person here. All y'all is everybody. Yeah. Yeah. See? Look! Third person, chat! Third person that says <laughs> yes to that. Y'all is based as fuck. Now, <laughs> do, you, do you mean it like any use of y'all, or is it just like when movie, like people like movie Bob are trying to come off as endearing, but they just aren't? <laughs> It's like when when people like Movie Bob like try coming off as like okay, being so. super, super like really in there, really in it emotionally, and, and and like really chewing us out. Oh, so it's pretty much the hello fellow children thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, like I, working in customer service uh, a long time ago, I, I get people saying words like y'all like in text, uh, in text to me. It, it, it was it was so fucking ridiculous, like seeing that, and like they're thinking I'm gonna take them seriously for it. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all going to the Super Bowl today? <laughs> I I don't know, Scooter. All y'all gonna be there? <laughs> Hold on, Detroit report again. Kratosis is a filthy southerner. I'm in Canada. <laughs> I can't be anymore. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't be further <laughs> from the south if he tried. <laughs> No, Kratosis, uh, I'm... Uh, I, I, I now announce you to be an honorary Iowan. <laughs> uh, thank you. 
but I'm not, there's not much to really thank for here, but you're welcome. <laughs> what, do I just get a debuff applied to me? What? <laughs> no, no, I think we're trying to save you from little Castro's bastard. Fair. <laughs> um, Bo Jiden, I'm gonna touch all y'all's kids. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, wake up. Wake up, Bo Jiden. Wake up. <laughs> Joe Biden, wake up. 9 <laughs> 11. Oh, shit. Uh, $5 from Cryogenic. Thank you. This guy is the reason why uh, video games for adults say mature. <laughs> yeah, Bob, are, aren't you? I think you're a little too young to play any of these games. Uh, from yeah. Unfunny Moron, Iowa is just core. No, we are also the meth capital here as well. And oh. we're the home of, of Slipknot. But <laughs> it's not <laughs> just corn. Wow, you, you actually took the meth capital away from Indiana. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Indiana has the running joke. We have a theme park called Indiana Beach that's literally its motto is there's more than corn in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, uh, and those, those, I love those meanwhile pictures, so people will do meanwhile, and they'll show, like, a, the state, and the Indiana one is always meanwhile, and you see that it's a, it, it literally looks like a hillbilly hick, and suspenders with a pickaxe defending a bunch of pallets of corn. <laughs> Laughs in hick. <laughs> oh, dude, it's great. Uh... Laughs in corn. <laughs> Five dollars from Rage. Five dollars from Rager. Thank you. Weekly Tendy donation. Also petition to have Captain Dirk as a permanent resident of the stream. He's great. Um, we're probably not going to have any permanent hosts on unless someone leaves. And even then, if uh, either of these two leave, I'm, we might. I, I don't know how we ha how we'll handle it. Whether we'll continue on, like Efap did, or if we'll just start a new thing. With uh, yeah. different people, I, 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 I do very much appreciate that that, that though, Rager. Um, like I love doing this. Whenever the dudes want me on, as long as I've got the time, I'll fucking do it. Well, that's that the thing. We good. usually have like an open policy for if guests want to come on, then they can come on. Yeah. You know, and, and emphasis chat guests, people who are actually going to be giving the guest tag and everything. Yeah. I vote we throw out Kratos. Why me? I'm the one who left the show. <laughs> I agree. What have I done? Hey, we get, to... get the Canadian out, 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 out. We're sacrificing the owl to the corn. No. <laughs> the children of the corn. All right. No, you're supposed to sacrifice a fucking rage pig to the corn, not me. The times have changed. No. <laughs> Kick uh, out the furry, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who we would kick that because I'm not a furry. I have the mean you, Kratos, clearly. No. Alright. <laughs> uh, I posted a meme if you guys want to see it. <laughs> I'll have to check that after. We, we need we need to move move along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great video though, holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go. Knock it. I also don't want to hear from a bunch of angry white boys who think there's some kind of massive societal injustice attached to the fact that they aren't allowed to casually toss around the N-word like black people are. Yeah, 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 double standard, whatever, uh-huh, shut the fuck up. Do you have a clue? No, fuck you, we won't shut the fuck up, dude. It's literally part of America's fucking constitution that people could say whatever the fuck they want, get over it, cry more. Yep. It's literally, if you don't like that, leave. You don't have oh, to live here. Wouldn't that be fucking great if we could kick all these people out of the U.S.? If you think the U.S. is so bad, go fuck off to another country. Yeah, seriously, just go somewhere else then. Go to Canada, which is currently being butt-fucked by its own government. Go to Canada. Enjoy yeah. that. Don't fucking send them here. Yeah, but your, Welcome, your country's screwed, so fuck it. Welcome to Canada, where if you donate to the wrong cause, you don't get to use your money now. Mm. Yeah, holy shit. It can still be saved. 
We, we just need the right Well, people. how soon are you going to hang Trudeau? Mm. Oof. I'm, I, oof. Uh, I don't know if I, I can you're... actually answer that without getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I don't think you can answer that. No, yeah, you I'm actually cannot. That's the only way it's going to happen. Let's kidnap the owl and bring him to Gunland. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, have I, a, love... I have a garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would love for us to be able to go on a camping trip though, like Actually, somewhere in Utah or something. Oh, that'd be great. Just a uh, weekend. Dude, Ooh. fucking camp in Iowa. We've got great places, but no, the house that that I have uh, was actually a drug house where they let some kid like just live in the upstairs in the uh like attic of the garage <laughs> as, as nine points out trudeau has an inward pass don't you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cut his mic cut his mic <laughs> quick, quick, quick. no wait, wait no it needs to be the free hong kong announcers where they had to duck under the table real quick like don't don't show any emotion say nothing at all <laughs> <laughs> Right. What a Jew look like, acting as though having people look at you funny for using a bigoted epitaph is some kind of epic discrimination. Uh, fucking get on with it. Jeez. Guys, I keep saying that I don't like doing this, and I know you don't like hearing it, but at some point we just have to accept that if we want the broader culture to meet us halfway, that... No. No. But no, we don't. No. Well, we don't. Go go fuck off. The brother culture can go shit itself for all I fucking care. Yeah, we don't care. We'll just fucking gatekeep them. Fuck off. Yeah. So you you were saying blob? That kind of means the other half. Okay, good. So let's make sure we burn that bridge instead. Yeah. Fuck them. None of this is complicated. None of it should be controversial. We as gamers could stand to live better. We as gamers could stand to improve our cultural acumen. We as gamers need to treat the world around us with the same respect we want the world to treat us. Except that Atkinson guy in Australia. Fuck that guy. There. That wasn't so bad. Who? Uh, I think he was some, like, super anti-game dude. He's, like, one of the people that push for the whole, like, you know, games can't come into the country unless they're rated by a certain board or whatever. Mm, how topical. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, Bob, um, I'd rather push you off the bridge to their side and then just be like, no, you can't come back to Gamerland. Yeah. Yeah. And again, gaming is just massively broad, but I'm talking about in the individual things. Like, I don't want you anywhere near the Elden Ring community or the, or the Souls community at all. I don't want you near anywhere near Space Station 13 or any of the games I like. Yeah, we are, we already have Vosh. That's that's uh, that's way oh. more than enough right now. Maps belong on the wall. Uh, yes. yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. Was it now? Let's all soothe our jangled nerves by watching something that we'd all like, like uh, Yoshi's debut in Super Mario Galaxy Two. Is it is is this legitimately what we're doing? Hold on. Okay, that doesn't matter. All right, fuck <laughs> off then. That's like that's your moment of zen to end a video, you fucking man child. <laughs> Again, his whole thing, his whole thing about not always coming back to video games. Always. Yep. Yeah. Also, I like how we were talking about, like, mature-rated games and stuff, and it's like, oh, you're clearly not mature enough to handle this stuff, and then what does he show at the end? Yep. Yeah. It's like, dude, fucking grow up. Grow a also, fucking Luigi's spine. a better character. Yeah. Maybe not than Yoshi. Yoshi's pretty fucking... Because Yoshi had uh, some cool shit, but again, Mario can't have anything. He's not allowed to have actual characterization because they might offend somebody. So Luigi gets all the characterization. Anyways, uh, do you guys need the link for this uh, terrible New Vegas article? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and toss it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll just drop that in chat. Uh, so this was another one that was suggest uh, suggested to us. Um, let me just. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, no. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Actually, no, I can't edit this. This isn't a quick article at all. Oh, it will be, we'll go through it pretty uh, quickly. Trust me. All right. Uh, 25 glaring problems with, Elf, uh, with Fallout New Vegas, fans won't admit. Yeah, right. I'm, we're pushing next down on this, because the very first one, <laughs> I, I saw what the very first one was, I'm like, goddamn. Yeah. New Vegas is considered a cult classic for many Fallout fans. Unfortunately, it's riddled with issues. Here are 25 glaring problems by fucking whoever, I don't care. 2018? This is older than I thought it was. By the way, um, we've had this issue before. Uncredited fan art. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. If you click this image, it goes to um, this exact image. Not a page hosting it. Literally just the image. Yep. So, wow. Hold on just a second. I was just moving so I would be closer to the microphone for this. The Fallout series has always told the tale of post-apocalyptic America. The first two games expanded upon the struggles that most take for granted. Uh, Fallout 1 sent the Vault Dweller out into the world to find a water chip to save their people. Thanks to their efforts, the settlement of Arroyo was founded. Uh, okay, uh, you're, you're missing a bit of lore there. Yeah. Like, yeah, the yeah. Vault Dweller founded Arroyo, but we don't find out about that until Fallout 2. Yeah, and also, he didn't, like, like, he didn't save, he saved the people of the vault, but then he was kicked out of the vault. Yeah. yeah. Fallout 1 ends with you walking off into the desert alone. Yeah. Yeah, the people of the vault didn't have anything to do with the creation of, Ro of Arroyo. That's just your character, that's it. Yeah, in fact, the, the people of the vault actually... Uh, get a pretty kick-ass companion instead. Oh my god, the fucking sex bots are back. Yeah. I turned off the thing for the stream, and I was hoping it would be over since that's been weeks now, and apparently they're back. I think I turned it off last week, too, and we didn't get any. Hmm. Um, but yeah, they're missing a lot of lore here. This is already bad. The descendants of the Vault Dweller once again had the, uh... The descendant, sorry, of the Vault Dweller once again had to travel outside of their home to find a Gek to save their people. Fallout 1 and 2 focused on rebuilding rather than destruction. Yeah, because uh, that, that was the point of the series. Yeah. Bethesda. Just, just weird that, like, this... It's weird that this article, especially since I saw what number 25 was, uh, that this article gets it more than fucking Bethesda does. Yeah. When Bethesda obtained the Fallout IP, longtime fans weren't sure what to expect. They were known for developing story-rich worlds such as the Elder Scrolls series, which, even by that point, had a ton of fucking issues. I yeah. love the fuck out of Morrowind. Um, I really enjoy Oblivion. They've got issues. Um, they're not perfect. They're sure, they're sure as fuck better than what everything Bethesda has done since, though. Um, this next, what the fuck, this sentence? Holy shit. You're very... Fallout 3 divided fans. They were excited to explore the East Coast, but disappointed in what they found. Um, many liked the change from isometric gameplay to first and third person action. Uh, while the gameplay was improved, the game's story. No, no, read exactly what that says. Oh, God. Yeah, what the that, fuck? That... <laughs> Yeah, that, that's why I stopped. That's exactly why I st uh, stopped. While the gameplay... Hold on. While the gameplay was improved... Which, by the way, I disagree with. Um, the games felt the story... No, no, yeah. The, the games felt the story fell flat. I think they meant the gamers, maybe? I think it meant that the game's story fell flat. I, I don't know. Yeah, I... <laughs> you ever see that 4chan post where, um... I think a kid was playing soccer, and he tried to kick the ball, and he accidentally, uh, kicked the other kid in the face? And he <laughs> tried to say, I'm so fucking sorry, and are you okay? At the same time? And it came out as, 
uh, like, are you fucking sorry? <laughs> That's what this feels like. <laughs> I, I had to think about it there to remember like which one he are accidentally you, said. Are you fucking sorry? What, was that Ace Thorn <laughs> soccer experience as a kid? <laughs> oh, oh man, just kicks a kid in the face. Are you fucking sorry? Because <laughs> that that seems like that's what they fucked up. Clearly, no one edited this article. Um, and this is so, from 2018. Yeah, so yeah. this is it's four years old, and they never bothered to correct this. Yeah, of course not. Um. While the gameplay was improved, the games felt the story fell flat. So it seems like they were trying to say the fans felt the story fell flat. Or the gamers works as well. Yeah, yeah but you don't yeah. you don't really say the gamers like that, you know? Yeah, yeah I know, but I'm, I'm just trying to think of how they would have like butchered it this bad. But yeah, it's probably a combination of the fans felt the story fell flat and the game's story fell flat. And then they just bungled it. Yeah. There were elements in the story that made little sense and frustrated fans. Uh, big fucking agree there. Yep. Holy shit. Um, two years after the release of Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas was released. The series was developed by Obsidian, which was composed of several original team members of the Black Isle Studio. Sorry, of Black Isle Studios. They knew the Fallout world best. The role-playing elements uh, were where Fallout New Vegas shined. Some gameplay bugs kept some gamers from coming... I guess they are using it. Uh, kept some gamers from coming back to enjoy the game. While many fans argue which game is the best, um, New Vegas is probably the actual best. Two is my favorite. Three is fucking dog shit. Uh, there, uh, there are glaring problems with each one. Fallout New Vegas may have been... Um, God, I keep fucking this up, sorry. Fallout New Vegas may be regarded as one of the top games of the series. There are issues in our spoiler-filled list we can't ignore. Yep, and then the very first one. Manual saving becomes mandatory. Um. Uh. <laughs> now, how, how is that really an issue? Like, you... You, so you have to get in the habit of manually saving. How is that? A, how is that an actual like? Again, these are these are glaring problems. If it's going with the issue, I think it is. Which is, I mean, yeah, Fallout made me a compulsive saver because these games crash so much. But Fallout Three did that the way before New Vegas did. Three is what made me a compulsive saver. Well, See, it, it's yeah. it's the idea the that like you you save early and often in role playing games. Yeah. It's not a new concept. In pretty much any game, but yeah, especially role-playing games. Even Morrowind said, uh, save frequently because the island of Vardenfell is a dangerous place. Yeah, there. if there are consequences in the fucking game, yes, I want to manually save. save. I mean, especially if I want to try out the different outcomes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just weird to me because it's like, Oh. I, I I can guarantee they're going to go with, oh, but it crashes. It's like three crashed well, all the fucking yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, that's that is exactly what they're going into. I'm well, reading ahead a little. Well, the thing too is, I haven't experienced crashes with New Vegas nearly as badly as everyone else says. Like, any time I get, well, I shouldn't say any time, but frequently when I get uh, comments on the uh, Fallout Three video, um, people are like, "Well, at least it doesn't crash every five minutes like New Vegas." I can literally play that game for hours without a crash. Yeah. yeah. Same. Um, I, yeah, same. I could play it for I mean. hours like, with no crashes. That's why it's like I, I will fully admit it probably does crash a lot for some people, but oh, I yeah, don't I, experience it. I have had crashes, just not to the frequency that people uh, describe. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, I bought Fallout Three uh, the first time I got it. It was a used copy. I was playing and having fun, and um, of course I nuked Megaton, got the ten penny apartment. And I ran into an issue where anytime I tried to load into the top floor of uh, Tenpenny Tower, the game would uh, freeze. This was on Xbox, so it didn't crash properly. Um, so I assumed it was an issue with a disc, took it back to uh, EB Games, got another copy, and it happened again. The exact same spot. So I had to go back to an older save to continue playing. Like, yeah, shit like that happens. It's just video games. It's the way that... It's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Also, yeah. manual saving? 
uh there's literally a setting for where you can set the autosave to happen on its own after a certain amount of time. Like, you can literally set it to every five minutes, it'll save. Well, not just that. I think it's fair to say that most games had manual saving. Yeah. Because uh, the whole autosave thing, the Telltale games, uh, we're going to save after every single fucking button press you do. That's a more recent thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just it's just saying it's mandatory. It's like, but it's not. Like, there's literally a setting that makes it so that manual saving is not mandatory. Yeah. Five dollars from Lunar Phoenix. Thank you. Excuse me. Manual saving exists in other games. It's actually a thing in games like Resident Evil One to Four and helps set the tone. Are these guys stupid? Uh, yes, they are. Yeah. Follow uh, me. Yeah. I, I think when we do these, we should say what the thing is, and then we should read the blurb, because otherwise, because the, the what what happened there was, Pagan was already pointing out stuff that is going to be said here in this, so we'd just be rehashing it again anyways. Yeah, fair. Fallout New Vegas contains a vast world with interesting characters. Unfortunately, many gamers don't uh, make it out of Doc Mitchell's house without falling victim to game crashes or glitches. Uh, I'm gonna press a big fucking X to doubt on that one. Like, maybe... Well, they're using many, and many is so vague and nebulous that it, it sure, it can be, that's a true statement. That's yeah. true, many. The other thing, too, is a lot of people really hold the release quality against New Vegas as if it hasn't improved since then. Well, the same thing for Elder Scrolls Online. People hold that release quality to it. And it Elder Scrolls mm. Online was pretty awful on release, but they still hold it to this day, even though it's, like, miles better. I oh, do, yeah. I do definitely think there's something to say about um, poor release quality, but when the game is, like, ten fucking years old and it isn't in that state anymore, you can't really say, well, this is a terrible game because of, you know, Doc Mitchell's head turning upside down at the start of the game. Yeah, because it doesn't yeah. happen anymore. And it got patched it, it, even before the DLC came out. It was getting patched, and then when the DLC came out, it, that also fixed a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, but a lot of people so, seem desperate to try and take New Vegas down a peg, so they have to constantly refer, uh, refer to, "Oh yeah, well it crashes all the time." No, oh, well it's bad on release. Okay. Yeah, well so was three. <laughs> yeah. Had this three had the same exact fucking issue. Oh fuck. I can't remember what the next one is. <laughs> yeah, the next one's terrible. Um, uh, even if they make it to their first battle against a Cazador, the irradiated creature may be turning cartwheels in the air. Um, okay, I haven't actually seen that myself. Yeah, me either. Not yeah. unless you kill them. Like, there's the there's the weird ragdoll stuff where once something dies, sometimes it'll just like roll into space or something, but. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, though the game has a strong storyline, the glitches can cause headaches during gameplay. Uh, again, I hardly encounter glitches, like severe glitches when I play New Vegas. Yeah, I don't... I, I'll get small ones here and there, but I don't really see very many big ones that often. Yeah. The instability of the game engine can cause many players to drop the game without picking it back up. The game was patched uh, since issues were first reported, but many have to resort to manual saves just in case. Wait a minute, so you this give tips his hand. They're talking about launch New Vegas compared to now, 2018. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, literally an issue that isn't even an issue anymore is somehow a glaring issue. That, that, that the fans what? don't admit. It's like, I, I don't know a fan of New Vegas that wouldn't say, yeah, there are bugs. Yeah, that's insane. The fuck are you talking about? That's why even that's why even I said it's like I I don't get crashing issues that often. I've seen it happen to people, but I just don't get it. Yeah, I did when it first came out, but it they got patched. Even when it first came out, I didn't really have that many issues with it. Actually, oh, I had a lot of issues. <laughs> oh, I don't it. doubt it. I just personally, I didn't have many. I yeah, suppose I... more in Salt Twenty Three was as well. Ugh. Yep, I. One of my uh, one of my fucking saves got like permanently destroyed because Ooh. for whatever reason, the fucking uh, the Ucelid Seafinder 
animation yeah. just it it was stuck like nothing i could do it just kept doing the fucking like laser beam circling shit in front of me oh and it just did that infinitely forever and nothing i did would fix it and i'm like what the fuck and it would like it would glitch my character so like whenever it would start it would like unequip my weapon so it it would just like i would pull my gun out and then like a second later it would just unequip it because that would start and i was like what the fuck and i just had to completely make a new uh new game that sucks yeah ready for the next point yep yep and like i said let's do the blurb with it yeah that that's what i'm going to do 24 they don't need the perk but you do um an issue that began in Fallout 3 was rolled over into Fallout New Vegas. One of the perks the Lone Wanderer and the Courier must earn is Power Armor. You mean Power Armor Training. They cannot wear this powerful suit without learning the basics. Followers don't need the perk to wear Power Armor. Brotherhood of Steel characters such as Star Paladin, Cross, or Veronica may have already learned to wear Power Armor with ease. Characters like Cass shouldn't be able to equip it uh, but can wear power armor with no restrictions. Um, Again, uh, glaring uh, issue. Uh, this is a glaring issue. Something that you could literally do in fucking Fallout 3, and I'm pretty sure you could do in Fallout 1 and 2 as well. Uh, yeah, I don't remember needing you don't... companions and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty sure any time you gave your companions armor, no matter what it was in the previous games, they could wear it. To be fair, they did say this was an issue in Fallout 3 as well. I just don't mm -hmm. think it's that big of an issue. Um, yeah, I, yeah I don't either. What if I want to put my companion into power armor? I should be able to without the game arbitrarily saying no. Because the whole point of the power armor training perk is so you can't get power armor at level 1 and just fucking raffle stomp the entire wasteland. Yeah. Right, there's like in D and D, there's a reason why you need to have the the skills to be able to make the right kind of role for it. I mean, and, and if and if my companion is is going with me and I'm in power armor, then it turns into an escort mission unless that person is able to use it too. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah this I was is about fucking this. stupid. This isn't even a fucking point. Yeah. Glaring issue. Um. Yeah, I, was, I was just thinking about the people and. Uh... D and D, who want to be able to cast like Apocalypse or fucking like Five Finger Death Punch, shit like that. And it's like, oh, what's that? My character doesn't have the the skill for swimming. Tough shit. I got to figure out some other way of working around the scenario. Yep. But anyways, yeah, the only reason power armor training exists in Fallout Three New Vegas is to restrict the player. Yeah. It's not. It's not a thing that like should be an issue that the companions can just wear it. Like the only solution for there's there's two ways to solve this in the way they're making this a complaint, either those companions can never wear power armor, or you just have them talk to a character and they get the perk applied to them, which is like pointless. Yeah. Number twenty three, Mister New Vegas's favorite song is obvious. Uh. The Mojave Wasteland has a few radio stations to pick. If you don't take out uh, Tabitha, you can listen to her station on Black Mountain Radio. Another choice is Mr. New Vegas, who provides the latest news around the Mojave. Unfortunately, the radio stations don't offer much variety. They often play the same few songs over and over again. Few gamers want to listen to Johnny Guitar in the, uh, in the middle of a battle against Caesar's Legion. Luckily, there's always the option to turn off your Pip-Boy's radio and listen to the sounds of the desert. So this That point gives is... me a big iron. <laughs> yeah, this is again. What? They. This is after the apocalypse. You know, like you, you can explain this away. Like they just don't have a lot feels, of songs to choose from. It feels like they were struggling to fill out this list. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it. it's like you maybe know it. maybe you should have just done ten. Yeah. Just look, wait till you see number twenty-two. Is, is we're still getting in stupid shit. Yeah, but this is just so fucking stupid. It's like there's a pretty decent number of songs it's not that few there's a decent amount and i, I think and then the whole thing of oh you don't want to uh, most people don't want to listen to johnny guitar in the middle of a battlefield it's like that wasn't an issue you don't fucking know that you don't yeah. know if people would want to listen to that 
Yeah, Most exactly. Most music is probably destroyed anyway in this kind of apocalyptic setting. What, what do you expect? Yeah. yeah. They also missed the point, uh, the part where people really loved in Fallout 3 that you're listening to goofy fucking 40s music while killing super mutants. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is... Like, what something. do you think? There, there's like the, the uh, music industry booming and up big there in, in Fallout? Yeah. Number 22 will blow your dick off. Um, it's pretty I, fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh god, Come I just on. read it. I just read it. Give me a second. Oh my god. <sighs> Number twenty-two. Not everything is useful. Fuck off. Actually, fuck, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Are you really gonna make the fuck out? Oh, but Fallout 4's junk economy. It had a junk <laughs> economy. Fuck uh, off. Oh. Almost any item is lootable uh, within buildings in the Mojave. There's little reason to purchase something when you can either find it or craft it. Holy shit, this po this po this is even worse than I thought it was going to be. Yep. There's little reason to purchase something when you can either find it or craft it yourself if you have the right skills. There are a variety of items that can be taken from either defeated enemies or shacks. The courier can take teddy bears, health items... Or goods to repair their weapons. There are more unusable junk items than usable products within the Mojave Wasteland. You'll quickly fill up your pack with random goods, which will quickly max out your carry. Why the fuck are you picking up random shit? <laughs> oh my god, it's literally the fucking Acer Thorn Syndrome. Yeah. Yes! It is! It is. Oh god, I, my inventory is filled up with so many fucking wrenches and teddy bears. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Oh my Stop god. Doing that. Mm, well, this is such a nothing point because one, a lot of these items are meant to make the world feel lived in and real. Yes. Secondly, a lot of these items you can actually use to make things. Yeah. You can craft a lot of stuff with the junk in this game. Wrenches are important. Duct tape is important. Uh, you know, sensor modules are important. Conductors are important. There's all kinds of shit that looks like just random junk, but it, you can actually make a lot of stuff with it. So for him to be, so for this dude to be like, oh, there's a lot of unusable junk items. It's like, oh my god. Well, one, you missed the point, and two, they're actually they probably are usable. You just don't realize what they're used for. What's that after nuclear war? There's gonna be a lot of junk. Oh, go figure. Well, yeah. This is, and, <sighs> this is a point a lot of people try to make against these games, and it's one I find incredibly irritating. It's like, oh well. There's knives and forks and spoons and cups and fucking whatever other junk items that don't do anything. That's a problem. How is that a problem? Would it suddenly stop being a problem if he just couldn't pick them up? Yeah, I, like I don't if, get if it. Everything was just empty. Yeah. Um. Because it, it might not serve a practical purpose to be able to pick up plates and shit, but I always found it to be like. A positive aspect of uh, these Bethesda games, like Morrowind, Oblivion, uh, even Fallout 3. It's like, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't see how it's an issue. It just makes yeah, the world feel that much more interactable, you know? Yeah, especially when they put the junk to use sometimes. Sometimes they use, like, a cluttered room to hide something, and you have to move the junk around to find something underneath it. Yes. It's like, yeah, true. you're actually... You're actually scavenging. You actually have to search and use your eyes to find the good stuff hidden beneath. Or, alternatively, there's a location where you want to... You either get your in-game house or you get some fucking shack or whatever that you like and you want to decorate it with whatever junk you find. You can do that. Yeah. In fact, that's something I did in Morrowind all the fucking time. I, um... The guy in Balmora who uh, is dead, the murder mystery quest, he has the big fucking mansion. Um, I would take that place over, I'd get rid of all of his shit and start dumping my stuff on the tables to show off to myself because it's a single player game. But I, I could still decorate the house the way I wanted to, you know? Yeah. It's and like, with certain a... items, you can, make cer you can make different themes with different items. Yeah. Like I had... Um, my favorite was to get like a bookshelf in one of the houses and just put all the different helmets I was collecting there. I tried to get one of each to put on there. 
Yeah. It, <sighs> what a nothing fucking point. This is so stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, just wait. <sighs> 21. Watch out for Good Springs Mountains. Oh, boy. The courier uh, begins the game in an uh, already fucking it up. Uh, the courier begins the game in an un, in an unfortunate position. Benny and two of his men ambushed them, robbed, and then left for dead. Or, sorry, then left in Good Spring Cemetery. Um, yeah, that's another fucked up sentence. Left what in Good Spring Cemetery? Yeah, because they don't say you got shot. Like, okay, thankfully a friendly robot brought you to the doctor. Why did I need to be brought to the doctor? Did something happen to me in that cemetery where I was just left? Yeah. yeah. Again, this is the whole thing of, like, why you need editors sometimes so you can fix shit like this. Or maybe playing the damn fucking game so you yeah. know what you're talking about. Oh, but that's work. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Too I, much. Sh I shouldn't expect people to do work. Um, I know that Fallout New Vegas is is bad, and do you know why? Oh. <laughs> why the fuck does he talk like that? It's so weird. <laughs> well, there there are people that um, that really think that they're being um, catty through the use of of certain ways of of uh, saying things, and they they don't understand that that it just comes off as dumb or douchey. Or being a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after leaving Doc Mitchell's care, you are given a vault suit, pit boy and a low-level weapon. The courier is not prepared to take out the, uh, dangerous threats. I mean, you are, though. You are prepared to take out dangerous threats. Yeah. They even train you how to shoot. Uh, once you have left Good Springs, you'll find yourself fighting against some of the toughest enemies in the region... Nests of Cazadors will quickly attack, causing you to restart several times before you make it out of the region intact. Okay, so uh, here's, here's some options. You yeah, can, that's you, your you, choice to go that way, idiot. This is a person that requires uh, invisible walls. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just oh, wait. The next point. Um, but yeah, like again, this is this is this is a your own fault type issue. Um, it's like when you get into uh, Elden Ring, you know, you don't have to fight the tree sentinel in the beginning of the game. You can avoid it and, and go elsewhere. Yeah. I literally did that by accident. He, uh, spanked me twice and I was like, okay, I'm going to go look around. I ran into a, uh, giant nearby, tried to kill him several times. Wasn't working out. So I was like, okay, I'll keep looking, keep learning the game. And I just, oh, wait. I'm at this castle place now, and the tree, uh, tree sentinel? He was, like, way behind me. I mean, dying constantly is the game telling you that you're not supposed to go to that area yet. But I guess this person is just not listening. Apparently. Yeah, he thinks, he thinks a intentional design choice is a glaring flaw. The fuck? Like, yeah, you're just not meant to go that way, but y you could still go that way. There's numerous and ways to take them out or get by them. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of these people don't seem to understand that you're allowed to do more than just stand in one spot and shoot at an enemy. You can actually, you know, take high ground and strafe, and you can actually move while shooting. You don't have to stand in the same exact spot when you shoot. No, you don't get it, Pagan. Whenever you see an enemy, you have to become a fucking turret. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently. Uh Daniel K is saying uh, that's why the tree sentinel's placement is genius. One hundred fucking percent, absolutely. Yes. Yep. Um. Oh, and here's the other thing too: is uh, there's other ways to go. You don't have to fight the Casadors. There's other paths available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if the game literally directs you towards Prim. Which is in the opposite direction of the Cazadors. Yeah. You fucking idiot. It's like the kind of mentality where it's like, I, I I, have to go to this place in Skyrim, but there's a big mountain in the way. 
I have you mean I have to go all the way up the mountain and then down it again? I can't go going around it? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, like what the fucking hell, man. You mean there's roads in Skyrim and I can just just use those? Well, actually, this is a literal problem Acer had because um he fucking relies on clairvoyance in Skyrim and uh, apparently vans in Fallout 4 that just directs you an exact path to everywhere you need to go. He tried following the quest marker in New Vegas and wound up in the fucking river trying to climb up a sheer cliff, and he was getting mad about this. This is one of his criticisms against the game, is that he couldn't just beeline the fucking arrow, and he got in a shitty position because of it. Because his yeah, inability yeah. to fucking uh, think critically about fucking anything. Yeah, literally trying to climb a cliff that's not only just straight, it's not just straight up, it literally, like, faces outward. As in, there's literally no way to climb it, and he thought, oh, well, if I just run my face into the wall, I'll magically, sh like, scale this sheer cliff. If, if yeah. you if you put them in the vehicle and tell them to go north, you're going to find some uh, tire tracks in the grass. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. It's so bad. And, yeah, I just find it weird whenever I hear people like, oh, yeah, people actually rely on clairvoyance and vans. Like, two things I've literally never used in either of these games. Apparently, yeah. they do have a slight utility to lead you to some actual secret things. But they also help you with, like, all the main stuff that you should be able to find on your own anyways. Yeah. Um, just, just fucking stick to Fable 1. Acer? Just stick to Fable 1. Acer Thorn is the kind of person where if you had to put a GPS in his uh, truck, if it told you to turn right and there wasn't a road there, there was a fucking sheer cliff into a pond, he would take that turn because he was okay, told to. Okay, good luck, everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you're, yeah. <laughs> okay, I turn now. Good luck, everyone else. Whee! <laughs> um, number 20. Stuck in an invisible prison. Now, just you fucking wait. I've previewed this one already. Yeah. Um, Fallout New Vegas followed the open world environment of Fallout 3. There was a vast new region to explore, unlike the isometric worlds of Fallout 1 and 2. New Vegas's map is even larger than the capital wasteland. Don't let all that map space fool you. Either in the open world or while exploring in, uh, an empty building, invisible walls are hindering your exploration. Okay, so first of all, the only invisible walls I remember encountering were on the cliffs around the areas of Good Springs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Personally. But just wait, this isn't the retarded part. This is about to get a hundred times more dumb. The game has limits of where the courier can travel. If you dare travel beyond the map border on your pit boy the game will tell you that action is not allowed. <laughs> The game literally doesn't allow you to keep walking all the way to the East Coast, therefore it's bad. <laughs> what the game, fuck? Game yeah, maps have care. limits, therefore bad. Um, I don't care if the programmers didn't didn't make this part. I it, You can't stop me. Oh yeah. right. my god. Oblivion had this. Skyrim had this. Fallout 3 has this. Fallout 4 has this. I'm pretty sure Fallout 70 fucking 6 has this. Yeah, because yeah, every, every game has because you this. because you can't model uh well yeah every game has this but they don't they're usually not so blatant about it there are invisible walls in these games where it's like yeah you can't go any further turn back um so the issue is that the developers didn't model out the entire fucking world <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me this and, is insane. And, and by the way, the only reason Morrowind doesn't have this is because it's a fucking island, so they could just have an infinite sea. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't go to uh, New York, therefore game bad. Yeah. Uh, Elden Ring has invisible barriers that prevent you from leaving <laughs> the fucking island. Oh, oh, bad game. It's totally shit. Yeah. World of Warcraft has barriers to prevent you from... Uh, and other methods, too, to prevent you from going outside of the playable area. That means it's a bad game. I mean... Oh, my, my God! Mo Did you read yeah. the next one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta no. be fucking kidding! Oh, no. It's gonna get, it's gonna get worse, Thor. <laughs> oh, can we, just, can we just get to it already? Yes. Uh, All right. I'll, I'll move on. I think we made the point pretty clear. Number 19... 
Hope you enjoy long conversations. <laughs> I hope you enjoy reading, you fucking scrub. <laughs> uh, one of the major complaints of Fallout 3 and 4 is the lack of role-playing options. The Lone Wanderer and Soul Survivor both have predetermined backgrounds. Fallout New Vegas has more role-playing opportunities. For those who prefer the action gameplay, the lengthy conversations with NPCs can quickly become a frustrating experience. Um, mate, it's a fucking RPG. What the fuck are you it's expecting? a fucking RPG. It's literally yeah. advertised as a fucking role-playing game. Good oh my with... god! Remember, remember everybody, glaring issues. Good luck Glare. with playing Pillars of Eternity. Oh yeah, my god. I, I made the mistake of trying to stream Pillars of Eternity, and then I was like, guys, I can't I can't do the dialogue anymore, and yeah, you guys, I'm not going to have the chat just sit there and read and tell me when to go on, because holy shit. Yeah, every single like conversation is about like a book. Now, I love that kind of shit, but I'm not, I, I, in my hubris, I was like, yeah, let's do Pillars of Eternity on stream. That was a mistake. Um... Yeah. If all three and four had good writing, then they would benefit from more dialogue. Yes. Some NPCs will give you a mission and send you on your way. Others will provide you with uh, detailed informa uh, information describing their every movement. Um, that seems like an exaggeration to me. It is. Reading these logs... Uh, Reading these long descriptions, most of them are voiced, by the way, unless you're talking about fucking terminal logs. Yeah. Um, reading these long descriptions can become a chore if you're not used to the original Fallout games, which can make new players quickly lose interest. That's not the game's fault, though. Uh, we are back one second, but I did see what the next one is, and I'm already sad. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I, I've... I've got the Silmarillion at that point. <laughs> um yeah the, the the answer to this is your lack of fucking attention span is not my issue like jesus oh. christ oh rest in peace pagan we hardly knew ye oh no i can't believe he fucking died um <laughs> like Neil Breen. I can't believe you killed yourself. <laughs> Why did you... <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe you killed yourself. Why would you, you do could... this? <laughs> Why would you commit suicide? I Yes, that was it. That was... It wasn't killed yourself. It was committed suicide. I can't believe you did this, Jim. I can't believe you committed suicide. <laughs> 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 God bless Neil Breen. Like, even though he his work was getting ripped apart, he didn't do any like DMCA shit. Yes. Yeah. Didn't the fucking cool cat guy start doing that shit? Yep. Old Randy Savage couldn't take it. Wow. What a bitch. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh, hey. Um, we thought you were dead. No, Pagan was the one who died. Pagan died. Oh shit! Sorry, never mind. God. Yeah. Um, wow. Wait, you died he, too? Oh no. He no, he, he randomly uh, blipped out of the call. I'm assuming he either or he either lost power or internet because he didn't mention having internet issues earlier. Yeah, or, he's fully offline right now. Or he read the next point and just fucking committed self die. <laughs> <laughs> committed self die. Yeah, this is it's, it's really. <laughs> Wait, didn't you guys read this in a previous stag? Uh, no, actually. No, no. We, we read, read a this. different shitty article that was similar to this, but different. Oh, yeah. we're going in blind, boys. <laughs> um, I'm going to assume Pagan is having internet trouble, and we're just going to move on. Um, yeah. Although we can recap number 18, because I'm sure he's going to love it. <laughs> number 18. They're not your friends. <laughs> In every Fallout game, there are followers the protagonists can hire to aid them on their quest. Um, most of them you don't actually hire. Most of them choose to follow you for one reason or another. 
Like, a yeah. hire is very specific. That's paid. It's just, it's just fucking weird. What's that? You're not my friend? Oh, <laughs> no. Some feel obligated to follow you only because you rescued them. Um, or did some work for them that was very fucking valuable for them. It's not just saving... Again, this is a very specific term here. Rescue. You, you saved them. That's not always going to be the case. Um, Jericho and Fallout 3, you do hire. You pay them a thousand caps. Only if you have evil karma. Um, and you can buy the robot. I forget his name because I never use him. Um, some you can save, like... Um, I'm probably going to fuck up his name. Rawl? In Black Mountain? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You save him from living under servitude and threat of execution under Tabitha. And then others you help out, like Boone. You do work for him. And uh, he's like, yeah, I don't want to stick around here anymore. I'll come with you. Um, there are requirements to retain each follower... And many have unique quests that can net you a new perk. Followers become helpful in battle, but they fail to leave an impact. Fucking citation needed, cunt. Absolutely. Tell me tell me how Boone doesn't leave an impact. How about Veronica doesn't leave an impact? How, how about Arcade? Come on, like, holy shit, man. No, you don't get such. This person didn't feel an impact, so that means there is none at all for anyone ever. Yeah. This is more that. This is more applicable yeah. to Fallout 3's companions, if anything. Because... Absolutely. Because yeah. none of them have any uh, quests, and they have, like, very basic personality. It's like um, Jericho. What is he? He's a retired raider who's having fun out there. And, uh... Well, having fun going back out there with you. And that's about it. His personality is hurry the fuck up. I'm mad all the time. Okay. Okay, that's a great character, Jericho. Thank you. Um, I don't even remember the fucking other companions in Fallout oh, 3. They're that useless. It gets, it gets so much worse. I just read the final lines. Oh. Yep, yep. We're, we're getting there. Um, the courier always leaves at the end. Completely alone. Though Cass is implied to develop feelings for the courier, she quickly forgets about him, what if it's a girl, and chooses a new partner. The followers are your only companions, uh, sorry, the followers are only your companions until the end of the game. When you can no longer keep playing, they're no longer <laughs> your companions. Uh... Remember, your companions Remember? when you play any turn-based RPG, your companions when you play, like, Final Fantasy 7 or 9, Legend of Dragoon, Breath of Fire 3. They're only your companions until the game fucking ends. Yep. That's, uh, a, that's a glaring issue. Okay, what have I missed? This... You've you, missed you retardation missed to the nth fucking degree. Yeah. What number are we on? We are 18. on... Yes, well, 18. 17 now. No, we're okay, about to so go I'm... to 17. Okay, I missed... Um, uh, the companions... I missed 19 and 18. The companions leave at the end of the game, Pagan. Did you know that? They're not yep. your friends. They're only your companions until the end of the game. Yeah, wait until this person what? realizes... And that's yeah, a glaring wait, issue. <laughs> wait until this person realizes that their co-workers aren't actually family. Yeah. Oh my god. Also, sorry about that. My, uh... Uh, one of our fuse is blue. And it knocked out power to my room, so I had to go replace it. Yeah, oh, no, fine. it happens. I figured something like that might have happened. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, th oh this God. article is beyond fucking retarded. Wait. Yeah, I just that fucking. I, I still want to talk about that nineteen one because I didn't get to fucking say anything about it. All right. Oh Which my one? God! Like. Oh, the that, long conversations. Yeah. Yeah, it's an issue that the game is what it advertises itself to be. No, 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 pagan. It's not an issue. It's a glaring issue. Yeah. Yeah, it's a glaring, glaring issue that the game is actually what it advertised itself as. Oh, such a fucking problem. Oh my god, this is so annoying. And it's literally like, oh, but fans of the action element will be disappointed that fucking play as a murder hobo. <laughs> you goddamn crybaby. Yeah, a glaring, 
remember, these are glaring issues that the fans won't admit. It's like, what the fuck? It's a glaring issue with Fallout New Vegas that it has guns, because I came into this experience expecting magic and swords. Yeah, or some fucking nonsense. Fucking god damn. Can we please turn subscribe mode back on? Um, I don't know if we could do that in the middle of stream, and I don't really want to fuck with anything right now since we're so close to the end. Yep. Alright, next. Uh, um, right, next. Number 17. You can never go back. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> oh my god, it's way worse than I thought! Holy Unless gamers purchase the DLC or buy a complete version of the game, they'll never experience new locations. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is beyond fucking retarded. It's almost like there's a fucking purpose to DLC or expansions. Are you, are you it's shitting almost... all over my dick? No, no, it's, no, it's, it's almost like percent. games are fucking finite in the amount of content they're able to have. It, it's way worse than that, though. Unless gamers purchase the DLC or buy a complete version of the game. What the fuck? Yeah, what? I, I am, uh. I'm very sorry to um, all fans of Generation 1 of Pokemon. You'll never experience new locations in that game. Yep. Yeah. You'll never experience new Pokemon in Pokemon's red and blue after well, you catch all 150. Technically, there's there's a randomizer out there that actually adds some of the newer Pokemon to the like. There's a limit of I think 255 Pokemon for the original games, but there's a randomizer that will take a selection out of all of them and put that 255 onto the cart. Well, not the cart, onto the ROM, and uh, you can play that, which is neat. Yep, okay, let's, let's go, because this is going to be more retarded as yep. we go. The expansion packs add brand new places, such as the Sierra Madre and Dead Money. Couriers will spend time in the City of Gold. Once their adventures end within the location, they won't get to the special locations in the DLC, even after completing the expansion's primary quest. So, shouldn't you do that while you're there? Why wouldn't yep. you do that while you're there? It's like complaining that Fallout New Vegas has a hard fucking end. I bet that's going to be one of the points. But, um, oh my god. It's like complaining that New Vegas has a hard ending, so you couldn't complete all the other shit before that. So, so why didn't you, why didn't you complete all the other shit before getting to the hard ending? Yeah. yeah. Especially you when the game goes out of its way to tell you, hey, you're about to go into the last part of the game. Are you sure you want to do this? The game even does a special system save, so you can go back to that. Yeah, you know it's what, guys? fucking ridiculous. You know what, they have, a, they have a fucking point. You know, back when um, uh, Wrath of the Lich King came out, why, th why do I have to buy that? I already have <laughs> World of Warcraft. Just let, me, uh, just let me explore the content. Yeah. Yeah, just give it to me for free, forehead. Oh god, it gets even worse. Yes, it does. If you complete the main quest of New Vegas without completing the DLC, you can't finish up any unfinished business after the end credits roll. They they actually went there a lot sooner than I thought they would. This is fucking retarded. Do it before the hard ending! Or reload a save before the hard fucking ending and complete that content, you dumb motherfucker. But that makes mandatory saves necessary. Ah, oh, dude. It's gonna get, it's just getting worse and worse the further down we go. This is fucking insanity. Number 16, an endless desert. Uh, yeah, screenshot man. from Fallout 1, by the way. Um, just making sure everything is on screen. The Mojave Wasteland is true to its name. Once the courier steps out of Good Springs, they'll travel along... Almost endless hills of sand, with a few tumble re uh, tumbleweeds rolling by. To break up the sand is a street that leads to more settlements or dangerous encounters. Though the endless desert may appear like an open world, there is little to explore in some areas. Um, this is true <laughs> for many open world games. Yeah. Again, this is true for Morrowind, Oblivion, 
Fallout 3 fucking especially. Fallout 4. Skyrim. <sighs> God, this is so stupid. I'm sorry that a wasteland is like being interacted with like a wasteland. I Oh my god, this is this is a straight up lie, this last bit. Oh god, okay. The environments begin to repeat itself, the same placement of rocks, trees, and empty shacks. At least it makes every settlement What? At least it makes every settlement you discover a welcome to change. Uh so just because they have prefabs? Is you, are you actually complaining about prefabs in this? I, I don't even think I've seen the same empty shack twice in New Vegas. Like, of course, the <laughs> exterior. But the interior, they're always different. Yeah. Welcome to a location that's in the desert? Yeah, this is fucking insanity. Yeah, Fallout, 3, uh... Fallout 3 was literally an endless dead area where no life should be able to survive. But you knew that already. Yeah. Yeah, it it it's such a such a nothing fucking complaint. It's like okay, oh, well then what's 3's excuse cuz it does the same fucking thing. Until we get to 14. I just read 14. I was so flabbergasted. I'm not even that it. far down. Jesus Christ, slow down. Yeah, you're <laughs> skipping way ahead. Oh, me... uh, we're on 15 now. <laughs> yeah, we're about to do 15. Let me grab a drink quickly. But yeah, this is so fucking dumb just Ugh, there's fucking desert, and how dare there be, like, fucking repeat items and locations that look somewhat similar, even though they're actually different. Oh my god. There's different biomes! In the yeah. What the fuck? What, what do you expect from a desert? <sighs> yeah, this is so fucking... Th this is, like, up there with, like... It's too brown. Yeah. It really is. This is really, really shit. -tech. I bet that'll be on this list at this oh point. Oh my god. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Number 15. They're too difficult. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I fucked that up. Number 15. They're too difficult to defeat. <laughs> um, In Fallout 3, all the followers could be taken out in battle forever. But that's that eventually made Dogmeat almost immortal with the puppy's perk which always created uh, a new canine companion. Fallout New Vegas solved this by making followers essential or immortal in normal mode. Um, I'm guessing I'm guessing they mean that to be the same thing. Uh, some gamers didn't like this change. Hardcore mode uh, changes follower status back to regular NPCs with health bars. No, they still have health bars. Um... In, in the other mode, don't they just go down and don't come back up for a bit? Yeah. yeah. Um, though they can be defeated in battle, they will always automatically recover when the fight is over. Oh yeah, so there it is. So what the fuck? Yeah. It takes them out of the fight so they can't just kill everything for you. So you fucked your own point. Followers aren't yeah. as hardcore as the difficulty setting would imply. W N no! They want you, permadeath you fuck... on the companions. No, 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 no. They fuck, they fuck that up, though. Yeah. Followers... Because the hardcore mode actually does allow you... Does let the companions die. Yeah, they be... will actually die. Yeah, because the yeah. point is... Um, I, I don't know how you could fuck this up this badly. Uh, Fallout New Vegas saw this by making followers immortal in normal mode. Immortal in normal mode. Some gamers didn't like this change. Hardcore mode... Uh, change its follower status back to regular NPCs with health bars. This means they die. So they're they're acknowledging how it works. Though they can uh, be defeated in battle, they will always automatically recover when the fight is over. That's normal mode again. Followers yeah. aren't as hardcore as the difficulty setting would imply. Hardcore mode is a mode in which they can die. You fucked yeah, it. Yeah, they just straight up fucked it. They just straight up fucked it. This makes no goddamn sense. Oh my god, this is a fucking joke. Yep. Great. The next one is so much work. Number 14. Nowhere to call home. What? I already hate this. The Vault Dweller, Chosen One, and Lone Wanderer all have a place to call home at the beginning of the game. Um. I mean, kind of? By the uh, end? By try the and end... go back into the Vault in uh in fallout 3 by the way chuckle fuck 
Yeah, that's hey, that's where I was going. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you want to get really pedantic about things, most people have a home. Like, you know. Um, the courier doesn't... Oh, I think I just realized something. Go ahead. I, but I think I just realized how his point doesn't work. Yeah. Like, the courier didn't even... doesn't oh, have a home at the start of New Vegas, but we don't know if they actually had one elsewhere outside of the Mojave or not. No, this is not the point they're making, by the way. Oh, okay. It's so much dumber than that. Read it. The Lone Wanderer is forced to leave Vault 101, but finds a new home quickly in Megaton. Not necessarily. The Courier doesn't have a hometown. Um, what if it's just not in the game? They no, can't... that's not the point that they're making, again. That is, it's so much dumber than that. They can't live in Good Springs. The Courier must rely on sleeping in cots or renting out ro Are you fucking- Are you fucking with me? They mean actual fucking player housing. Oh, but here's the thing. There's there's nowhere here's the for thing. The, there's nowhere what? for the courier to call home until they reach Novak, which could take several hours, although many prefer life on the road. New Vegas forces this decision. And that's a lie, because what's right outside Good Springs? Um uh, Prim. No, even before that. Right outside of Good Springs, next to the Yanksy Memorial, what is there? Oh yeah, there's that um, the the little Quonset hut there. The, the, the... There's the abandoned shack yeah. with a generator in it and a fucking like uh, the reloading bench and all that shit and a uh, med kit stuff you could store stuff in. All that's it's literally in a bed. It's literally a player home. There's also Victor Shack. You yeah. can literally live in Victor Shack if you want to. This is a glaring flaw in New Vegas. <laughs> yeah, it's a glaring flaw that, that... fans won't admit. Uh, yeah, that player housing comes later down the line than it did in the other games. But even and then, you don't. Even, true. <laughs> even then, you don't get player housing immediately in Fallout Three. You could potentially skip Megaton and play the entire rest of the game without visiting Megaton and miss out on the player housing options, which you could only get from fucking Megaton. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fallout. They don't mention Fallout Four, but. Um, this was obviously after it came out. You don't really have a house there. Like, you're told to rebuild in your shitty town. Um, the the house you can buy comes later in Diamond City. Um, yeah. Morrowind, straight up, you don't fucking get a home unless you do one of the great houses. And even then, you can't... It's, like, not on the same level as a proper player home. Oblivion yeah, let you this... buy player homes, but they cost so... a fuck ton. Oh. So this, this reads like um, the 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 game does not plop you with 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 saying, "Hey, here's your house." Therefore, bad. I guess so. But that's yeah, the thing yeah. is, the if I was that... if I was going to make um, a Bethesda styled open world RPG game, one of the default fucking things would be the player doesn't start with a home; they would have to earn it. Yeah. 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 And, but they're and, literally complaining that the two fucking player homes you get at the start of the game in New Vegas aren't, like, listed. Like, it doesn't say, congratulations, this is your new home. Like, you could still live in them. There's literally two player homes in, like, in and right outside of Good Springs. And it's just going to get way worse because <laughs> I read 13. The, so, so this person's just upset that this game is not Animal Crossing. Well, no, because Animal Crossing has limits. So they're upset but it still that has a game... home. It still has a home, though, at the very beginning. Yeah, but... You're just in debt. But you... It's not endless. You can't go anywhere forever. Oh, that's Versus, right. Like, that's played oh, earlier. Bad yeah. game. Bad game. There's also dialogue. And if you're more invested in the action of... <laughs> that game, yeah. yeah. There's uh, The fact you have to talk to NPCs means it's bad. Oh god. Mm. Yeah, number 13. This is just getting worse and worse. Number 13. No more vault dwellers? Oh hey, they actually sourced this image to the fucking Fallout Wiki. Actually, they sourced all of these to the Fallout Wiki. But you couldn't source the fucking fan art at the start? No, of course not. Fucking hell. Um. Right. No more vault dwellers. 
Those who have followed the Fallout series from the beginning know how much influence vault Tech had on the world. This giant company worked with the government to perform various social experiments on unsuspecting Americans. Fallout New Vegas has a little influence from the series' giant corporation, vault Tech. Motherfucker, what? What? Uh, so what about the vault where people are given too many weapons and a faction of them broke off and took over an airfield and fucking blow up anyone who comes near them? Did, did, did you forget about them? Don't think about it. Don't think about it? Don't what, think about what, it. What about the vault full of, um, um, formerly scientists who accidentally turned themselves into fucking spore creatures? Don't, again, don't think about it. Don't, don't, think, don't, about it. don't think about it? Yeah, don't, don't, don't think about it. Huh. I, I guess uh. they, I guess they don't really have that much of an influence if you just don't fucking think about it at all. Yeah. Um, you may run into a hidden vault across the Mojave, but they have little impact on the world. One of the vaults is literally fucking poisoning the water supply for the food with radiation. What the fuck are you talking about? One of them is literally the home of one of the fucking NCR's biggest fucking hurdles in the fucking Mojave. It's literally full of fiends. Yep. It's literally uh, their headquarters. Yep. Uh, and one of them is one of the things that helped recreate all of New Vegas. The entire population ready to go and everything, you know, after the... Yes, the, the vault... Where people were admitted in with gambling problems and they solved everything through gambling. Yep. It's a, literally a fucking hotel on the goddamn strip. Yeah. The most oh, you hear God. about a vault is a settler who grew up in one, such as Doc Mitchell. Um, mm, that's a lot. What about the entire fucking faction of people? You know, there, there was a their little group in, you know, Vault 34. They broke off. They had too many weapons. And they blow up fucking anyone who comes near? How the fuck do you write this? You can literally still go to Vault 21 on the strip and talk to the owner of the vault which she lived there. Like, what the fuck? What I are just, you talking about? I also, just... they're, oh, the, the vaults, they have no impact on the world. Uh, I'm sorry, but, like, fucking Honest Hearts literally has spore creatures from Vault 22. I just wrote the next point. I, I just wrote the next <laughs> Yep. Number 12. Didn't anyone realize he was gone? Uh, modded screenshot, by the way. Um, yeah. The Legion is seen as a ruthless group terrorizing the Mojave. They raid settlements and rob innocent people. Those they don't destroy, they end up holding them captive. Their leader is seen as a target... Uh, by the Brotherhood of Steel, the NCR, and Mr. House. Um, Mr. House doesn't actually want the earlier dead yet. So, good yeah. job not playing the fucking game, retard. Um, also, is he a target of the Brotherhood? I don't remember the Brotherhood actively trying to go out and kill Caesar. No. I think they would see him as an issue, but they're not, like, demanding his head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I continue quickly, $5 from a guy under a bridge. Thank you. But guys, none of those are better than uh, the Fallout 4 vaults. Who can forget important places like uh, the one uh, the one full of drugs like Jet? Mm. Yes. Yes. The Courier will eventually be asked to remove Caesar from power. Once the Courier achieves their goal, there are no consequences. Not many sellers care that one of the most ruthless villains was removed from the Mojave. Um, so yeah, people do comment that he's gone. And, yeah, they talk about it. And just and how it might be very unfortunate that he is. Yeah. Yeah, because he was keeping them in line. He was keeping them he, control of them. And now yeah. they're, him uh, there, uh, the fucking wild dog Lanius is in control. Yeah. Like, he's literally acting as if, like, oh, well, the Legion didn't fall apart immediately upon Caesar's death. This is that, clearly an issue. Like, that, no, there's there's still other chains of command. It's not going to fall apart overnight. That is one of the most obnoxious criticisms I hear so often when people are trying to be like, 
Oh, you think Fallout 3 is bad? Well, what about this in New Vegas? Nobody cares that Caesar died. Uh, people do care. But, or, yeah, there's no consequences for him dying. The faction isn't going to fucking fall apart immediately. Like, I'm so sorry you're used to Bethesda games where killing the leader of a group means they're instantly fucking dead across the board universally, but that's not how it works realistically. Yeah. <sighs> there's a reason why there's a hard ending so that they can actually explain this shit at the end that your actions did have consequences. Well, I, unfortunately, there's just too much dialogue in Fallout New Vegas, so, you know, yep. what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, mm. but what, what kind of foolish fucking moron plays an RPG for dialogue? I personally <laughs> play RPG so I could shoot everything fucking mindlessly. Fuck. Uh, what class did I pick? Hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Starting, weapon. Starting weapon, shotgun. Yep. Number 11. Followers find it hard to follow. Um, this picture doesn't line up with the thing you're saying, by the way. Uh, follow the chair? That's not even a follower. That's just a random NPC who, um... I, I'm just trying to throw the guy a bone here. I'm, I'm not anymore. Totally He's sure. just channeling his inner crazy frog. Get over it. <laughs> ring ding 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 a ding No, don't. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I don't want to go back to 2006. No. <laughs> in, in some ways, I do. I would like to go back to 2006. That's just not the reason for it. Um, hiring followers make the courier's work lighter. The courier has someone to help them in battle, a partner to help carry uh, to help carry extra loot. Companions will follow the courier anywhere they go, but they may not take the best path. Extra care must be taken when traveling with a follower, because they will often get stuck in the ground. Fall off cli- Fall of? It's the fall of the cliffs, don't you know? The yeah, white cliffs of Dover are collapsing, yeah. Green. I, I hate it when I, when, you know, I have a fall of cliff in, in real life. It, it sucks. That just stopped me dead on my fucking tracks. Like, Jesus Christ. I understand making a typo. I understand, you know, you fuck a little thing up here and there. But you published this article! You did not see... <sighs> Just ignore it and move on. Because they will often get stuck in the ground, full of cliffs, or will take the long way around any obstacle. They do their best to catch up with the courier, but may not always be dependable in battle. Um, and a glaring issue here, everybody. Yeah, a glaring issue that your followers might not be right next to you the moment something bad happens. The moment you get into a fight, they might not be right next to you. Well, I mean, if you just take uh... Boo and he'll kill anything before he even reaches, like, half a mile away from you. Yeah. Yep. If also, only, if if only you they want... programmed it so that they would hold my hand as we go down the trail. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you really want them to be next to you so badly that you just can't wait, like, the couple of seconds it takes for them to reach you, just hit select on your controller and click A. That's all you have to do. You will wait for, like, literally a second. Like, you you'll go through the, the little time skip thing, and then they will be right next to you. Oh, That's literally all you have to do. What the fuck is even this next point? <laughs> Number 10. Follow the predetermined path. Um, the Mojave Desert is much larger than the capital wasteland. Invisible walls are... You talked about this already, though. Invisible walls are dangerous terrain, block most of the region. Be aware that appearances can be deceiving. The map isn't as uh, large as the pip -Boy leads you to believe. Most of the Mojave is barren wasteland filled with monsters and tumbleweeds. If you do find a settlement, it's composed of mostly abandoned buildings. There's a lack of activities for the courier to take part in, but they should probably stick to finding Benny. Uh, what the I actual know. fuck this are you level, talking about? It's funny this is leveled at New Vegas, when New Vegas has, what, four times the content of Literally, Fallout yes. 3? And I'm yeah. talking about 
quests, everything. Like it, it is, it is so much more. Yeah. There's more settlements. There's more quests. There's more NPCs to do stuff with. There's just more, basically everything. More world. The fuck building. are you talking about? Yeah. The fuck. What is this criticism? You're you're blatantly fucking wrong. This you're is just another straight up wrong. This is another one of those things people desperate to shit on New Vegas uh, latch onto is like, oh hey, I can find a patch of desert with fucking nothing in it. Um, my dude, the biggest defense video in the fucking world for Fallout Three cites empty space full of fucking nothing to be a positive. Yep. This yeah. fucker. This fucker better not love Breath of the Wild. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I still need to finish that game. Fun. I like it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. I just only got so far. I didn't... Um, the Gerudo... Or Gerudo Desert, I didn't get... Like, I was just at that point before I stopped, pretty much. I was about to enter that area. I did the other three uh, Guardians already. Um, number nine... Money's always an issue. The fuck? What? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> most people yeah, in the when? Mojave are trying to get rich with minimal work. Benny ambushes the courier to profit off their platinum. Chip. Uh, uh, no. no. That is not his fucking objective. He's... That, that's he's, not what he's, he's trying, trying to, to do. He's trying to take over everything. He's not yeah. trying to make money. He's not trying to sell the fucking platinum chip itself, you idiot. Yeah, he's trying to take over. What the fuck? How did we oh, get here? Oh, just it just keep going. It gets way worse. Oh fuck. How how do how did we get here? Why why, why does one percent of the population hold ninety nine percent of the caps? <laughs> <laughs> Once you travel throughout the Mojave, you'll notice why he was so desperate for cash. He, he owns a fucking casino. Did you play the fucking game? No, they didn't. Benny should literally be one of the richest characters in the entire fucking game. Because he literally runs one of the three big fucking casinos on the strip. Yeah, his is also one of the most popular ones. You'll notice that the Ultra Lux actually has having issues. Yeah, because the Mora is kind of eh. The Tops is literally considered the most popular fucking casino on the strip. Well, yeah, the Ultra Lux is full of a bunch of fucking uppity weirdos who are all fucking pretentious, and uh, the the Gamora is full of mobsters. Yeah. Like, then meanwhile, genuinely, hey, hey yeah, but, there's the high roller. Hey, there's the high roller. New yeah. Vegas needs socialism. I Literally, the, the chairmen are the most welcoming and friendly of uh, the three um, casino families. Yep. Yeah. Desperate for cash. I can't get, oh. I can't get over that. I, I love it from Enclave Emily. Seize yep. the means of cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> capitalism uh, keep, just keep going just keep no going. I, i'm going to there's an extreme lack of caps in vegas those who do have what? enough may not keep them along that's a really uh, weird uh, this is a really weird way to say this those who do have enough may not keep them along since there are bandits everywhere uh, they could have just said on themselves or whatever, but whatever. It's this fucking thing. But yeah, keep going. Thankfully, the courier doesn't have to rely on buying what they need. New Vegas adds crafting, which means you could forage for food or make repairs. If you lack the right skills, you'll be out of luck. Well, no. I, I'm sorry it's a role-playing game with an economic system. <laughs> And what? it's so easy to get money in this game. It's insanely easy to get caps in this game. Well, why don't we just print more caps? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm actually glad that this game actually understands that that's not something that you're supposed to do. You literally have a mission to go destroy a fucking uh, a cap press that actually makes more caps because it devalues the currency they currently have. Yep. So they actually give you a quest to go destroy it. Two dollars from Ted Comet. Thank you. Never, uh, sorry. Never have I heard such a new ost. I hope a I pronounced nuanced. that right. Huh? 
I think I think they're trying to say nuanced. Oh, maybe. Um, nuanced take since Acer. Yeah, this is one of the worst articles, at least, that we've ever covered. We've covered several articles, and each one of them has been fucking dog shit. But this is this is fucking. I don't even know how to describe how awful this is. Holy shit. Yeah, this is just pure dog shit. Absolutely yep. horrendous. Fucking caps. A lack of caps in New Vegas. <laughs> you, you know what, boys? I need a palate cleanser. Where's Yoshi from Super Mario Galaxy 2? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. I want to go back to the Bob video. <laughs> Yeah, that made more sense somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Unironically. At least it was coherent. Mm, oh even if it was more coherent. God, it's so yeah. much more. Uh... Number eight makes the role player tougher. What? What? Give me a second. And be careful scrolling too much because then you'll see what number seven is and about shit yourself. Mm, I just saw it. That's not on screen for everyone else, but I just saw it. We'll get to it. Fallout New Vegas runs on the same engine as Fallout 3. Gamers will recognize similar animations and character models. The developers try to change things up by fixing um, the user interface. They added a follower command wheel, but it appears to be more confusing than helpful. More confusing? It literally tells I'm sorry, you what? It literally, it literally even tells you what it does at the top and each each thing is pretty accurate to what you actually want to do yeah it it is not confusing whatsoever unless you're a fucking toddler who doesn't even understand how like those like uh, what's that toy the, the thing that you pull it and it spins and it lands on an animal and it makes that noise like literally if you don't understand what that is like that is the only way you could find this confusing Holy shit, you'd have to be actually fucking brain dead to not understand how the fucking companion wheel works. Um, but it proves to be more confusing than helpful. Though some gamers learn to live with it. There are some cases where text overflows from the interface box or menu items overlap, making it difficult to read. These bug issues make it harder to enjoy the game when New Vegas focuses so much on reading. Literally never experienced any of that. Yeah, I have never seen I've... text overlay over on top of itself like that to the point where you can't read it. Nor yeah, have I've I never seen had it. overflow issues. Yeah. Yeah. This sounds like a you problem, not a not the game. And by the way, this would have been a chance to hi like show that in a screenshot and you didn't do it. Yeah. This just looks normal. Yeah, it, it's not going out of the border. It's all within the thing like it's supposed to be. I don't see any text overlaying on top of each other. You're you're just literally talking out of your ass. And you'd have to be completely retarded to be able to be confused by this thing. It's literally just a wheel with pictures it's that also describe what the pictures mean. Literally designed to be as easy to understand as humanly fucking possible. Yeah. Uh, five dollars like. from Chris Ellinger. Thank you. Caps are an issue. Chuckles in ten plus gold bar uh, bars and more overweight than a whale. Also ten luck in the casinos and got kicked with ten k caps. Yeah, that's what I do on my yeah. runs now. Is I uh, get nine int, sorry nine luck, um, and went on the casinos outside of the strip. Get enough money to get the uh, um, the implant to boost luck to ten. And then clean out uh, the three casinos on the strip. Uh, two, Jesus Christ. Two dollars from Ted Comet. Thank you. Democrats want to put uh, a cap on your Fallout salary. Oh no. Stay away from my Fallout <laughs> money. <laughs> you know, you know. I think that uh, dialogue wheels are just too difficult to work with. And we need to put like smiley faces and frown faces next to the options to signify <laughs> what the yeah. energy is like here. Yeah. People actually memed about that. That's what Fallout Five is going to be. Well, but then then uh, Dragon Age Inquisition kind of turned that into real. Oh, I've never it played did. that. Yeah. Oh no. I, I have such a love hate relationship with uh, Inquisition. I. 
weirdly enough, I enjoyed its multiplayer. Like, you I don't know. know. I, 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 never, I never tried the multiplayer. I'm just a lonely wizard. It was fun being, uh, being like a, a commando team, strike team. Like, you were carrying out the missions that you would do for single player. But it was, it was also, didn't have a lot of replay value, but it was fun to build up your character to be like a super wizard or a super tank or whatever. Uh, five dollars from Hand of Themis. Thank you. Have we checked to see if this guy isn't blind? Perhaps he has a handler we can contact. Um, I believe this is a she, first of all. And if she has a handler, then it's, uh, definitely not one for sight, let me tell you that. There actually is a blind person that managed to uh, complete Ocarina of Time with, oh. with you know, the help of someone that was describing what's going on. Oh my god, they're making the same point again later, too. Fuck, I actually scrolled further to see what the next... What the Stop doing part. it, buddy! Stop doing it! Just, just, just stick just, with us, buddy! You're making it worse for us to go through because they're constantly like, Oh, the next one's worse! Oh, the next one's worse! And it is! It <laughs> fucking no, is! I, we know... The next one is worse, but you're, you're, you're just constantly building up that dread of having Resist to go the to the... Resist the temptation. Resist it, my brother. Well, I was just going to number seven, and I actually scrolled further past, because, I because again, look how short this paragraph was. Look, the other one was a bit longer. Like, they, they're so fucking inconsistent about how many words they put in these things. The only reason this article is so fucking long is because there's so many goddamn pictures. Literally over yeah. half the length of this page are pictures that are tied in with the uh each point absolutely number seven almost too challenging wouldn't that be the right difficulty then like even before yeah, we yeah. read the blurb almost too challenging so that means it's challenging but it's not a walk in the park so that means that that should be the right difficulty then shouldn't it yeah yeah it's, it's and if it's challenge. almost then that means it's not actually too challenging it's almost too challenging but not quite which means it's still doable it's good to ask questions just just not those dead money is an expansion pack that brings the courier into the sierra madre once the quest has begun the courier will be knocked out again and have all our belongings taken from them um okay the courier has almost no gear or items to complete this quest so first of all it's an entire uh, DLC, not a quest. But secondly, yeah. that's part of the point. It's supposed to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. I actually like that Dead Money takes away your gear. So you actually yeah. have to work within the confines of what's available to you within Dead Money. Also, the hollow rifle you get is pretty fucking strong. Yeah. Um, the antagonists of this quest, again... DLC, not a quest. They are two very different things. How mm. fucking dumb are you? Uh, the antagonist of this uh, DLC, Elijah, makes the journey more difficult by forcing the courier with three other companions to complete a heist with few weapons and gear to find. It makes dead money a frustrating experience. Well, it's, it's no, you're just a be. fucking pansy bitch who can't fucking play video games very well. Yeah, have you ever considered this, uh, dumb cunt who wrote the article? Maybe you're just shit at video games. You ever consider that? Yeah. Did you consider maybe putting the game on very easy so that you could just breeze through it with no problem? If, if you're having such a hard fucking time, uh, there's literally an option to put to lower the difficulty. Maybe they what should put it on... Maybe they should put it on very easy hardcore with God Mode on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, and then still catch him using other console commands, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Elijah doesn't take your gear from you. The casino security does. Um, I believe it's left in a crate in the abandoned Brotherhood bunker, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's next to the door when you leave. Number six. Not so open world. Ooh, deja Fuck vu. off. Yeah, we just keep doing the same point over and over yeah, again. Yeah, this is the third time now. The courier is forced to restart their adventure with nothing in their pockets. Um. But what? That's not what. Hold on. Let me read the next part so we can get a bit more context. 
in Good Springs, the courier will pick up a BB gun and a vault suit, but they must find everything else in the open. Restart their event? That's the start of the fucking game, you dumb twat. I'm yeah. sorry, how, how does Metroid work? Yeah. <laughs> also a BB gun? Yeah, what? A BB gun? I, I've never picked up a BB gun in I always in get the 1911 every time. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, this is just weird. Oh, yeah. That, oh, like, last on. time. That paragraph is just a rehashing of... Uh, come on! Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll read it now. Unfortunately, the world doesn't allow you to explore as much as you want for the th fucking third time now. New Vegas contains various side quests, but the main quest always leads you directly to the Strip. Because that's a central location where the main story is taking place? Yeah, what? Fallout 3 yeah, story... Fallout th uh, 3 story always leads you to fucking, um, Rivet City. Fallout 4 story always leads you to fucking, um, Diamond City. <laughs> Morrowind's main story always leads you to Balmora. And all over the goddamn place. Because that was actually designed so you explore through questing. I'm, ha I'm having fun trolling the chat. Don't troll the chat. <laughs> it's too late. I already called it a 1911. Don't don't kick the hornet nest. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got them all fucking pissed off. <laughs> hey, it's a brownie high power. It's a brownie <laughs> high power. Um, players are only allowed to explore when the game wants you to travel to spe uh, specific regions. Otherwise, it's hard to explore the open world. Yeah, literally, literally pick a fucking direction and walk. Is that so difficult? Yeah, it's not hard. This person has to be just as brain dead as fucking Acer. Oh, they the game doesn't give me any time to explore its world. It's just forcing me to go from quest to quest to quest. As if, as if you just can't stop and then go yeah. like investigate that shack over there. What's yeah. that? If I try going to the volcano area in, in, in you know, Breath of the Wild too soon, I'm going to have a hard time? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> How the fuck is it hard to just go, okay, I'm going to turn left now and go look at this thing? Yeah. What the fuck is the next point? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Number five! <laughs> Are we what? still in the capital wasteland? What? You need a lot of fucking context to justify this. Fallout 3 took place on the East Coast. The world was mostly barren, with little grass and bare trees. Fallout New Vegas didn't change up the scenery. Um, it's a different uh. sort of barren wasteland. With different grass and different trees. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it's completely yeah. different, and it actually makes sense. There's actually living plants and food and yeah. animals and water and everything that a place should have. This is retarded. Holy shit. New Vegas takes place in the Mojave Desert, so there's a valid reason why there's no grass. There's some. But some of the environmentals look eerily similar to the Capital Wasteland. Fucking name them. Yeah, show you know, me what? a single one. I will let you oh. even do one. What is is this similar to the Capital Wasteland because there's buildings in a road? Yeah, it's... what? Oh man. There's dilapidated buildings, therefore Fallout 3. Yep. Um two dollars from a guy under a bridge. Thank you very much. Thank you. This man wants to explore the quarry with no problems. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um there are some subtle color differences, such as an orange glow from the sun, but it could be easy to wonder if you're currently the lone wanderer or a courier seeking revenge. Literally what? fucking how? Yeah, th this maybe if you're mentally handicapped, sure. Yeah, this makes no fucking sense whatsoever. This is actually insane. This is like a schizophrenic rant right now. I'm yeah. hoping point number one is, <laughs> ha ha ha, I trolled you all. If it is, I'll be like, okay, you know what, genuine, you got us, but I yeah. somehow doubt it. I'm yeah. tempted to spoil it now, but we're almost there anyways. Yeah. Number four. 
The courier got their name for a reason. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, God. I just read number three. The courier's <laughs> yeah. initial task was to take a platinum chip across the Mojave Wasteland. Their journey was cut short by Benny, who is apparently doing it out of pure greed and no other reason, and his gang, um, and his ruthless gang. The courier's job doesn't end there. There are several more item-fetching quests for the courier to complete. In the quest, Come Fly With Me, the courier has to find several different things to repair a spaceship. There's also side quests to retrieve teddy bears and holotags, though there are several side quests Though there are several side quests, many will have you retrieving someone's lost item. So again, this is a frequent thing in RPGs. People yeah. have a task they want you to do. Sometimes it's to literally go collect the thing. Yeah, and also yeah. none of these are required or mandatory. And also, good job fucking undercutting the bulk of uh, Come Fly With Me to you, you have to co collect a couple items to fix a ship. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot more than just that. Also, I'm trying to think of a quest to retrieve teddy bears. I, I know assume... there's one in Fallout 3, but I don't know of anything in Fallout New Vegas to have a quest to retrieve teddy bears. I assume it's one of those repeatable quests where it's like, oh, you found this thing, let me give you 20 caps. Because that's what the, yeah. um, that's what the holotags are, pretty much. Yeah, but again... <sighs> oh, for the boomers. Oh, right, yeah, retrieve the... Oh, yeah, you find one teddy bear for uh, a little girl who lost hers and she asked you to go find it. Oh. That, uh, that's bringing... Yeah, because you're supposed to be trying to get on the boomer's good side and helping the kids is one of the ways, and she'll literally be like, I lost no, my I teddy know. bear. The last place I seen him was in here. Can you... Can you look for him, please? And if you find him, you can bring it back to the little girl and she'll thank you. No, I know. But I mean, that doesn't seem like the kind of quest that would raise as like an issue. It's just like a small little thing that's yeah. not even a big deal. It's fucking... This is so stupid. Number... Oh. You read it, didn't you? I, 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 I had a morbid curiosity. What? It's just, number just three, an abrupt ending. I knew they'd fucking do this. I called it earlier. You guys have yeah. it. It's on tape. Yep. Gamers were upset when Fallout 3 ended after the final battle. Bethesda heard their complaints and allowed them to continue the game with the Broken Steel DLC. Oh, so it's a DLC and not a quest now, eh? New Vegas did not learn the previous game's lesson. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, it wasn't the fact that the game didn't let you continue was the problem. It was that the way the game had a hard ending was fucking retarded. Yeah. I do know there were some people who complained about the hard ending existing at all. But I mean, I don't think it was that big of a deal that the game had a hard end. It's how they handled it. Yeah. Um... After the final battle at Hoover Dam, the game ends. Players watch their couriers walk into the desert as slides show their most memorable moments. Um, that's that's not their most memorable moments. It's the that's Fallout consequences, Three. That's the consequences of your actions, not your yeah, most memorable he, moments. He's confusing Fallout 3's ending with New Vegas's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that has Worst to be what it know. is. There's no yeah. way to go back and play the DLC. You fucking said this already, you dumb cunt. Or finish up any remaining side quests. Unlike Fallout 3, the courier survives the final battle. There's little explanation why their adventures can't continue. Um, okay, so here's the uh, explanation, you dumb fucking cunt. 18 month development cycle. A fucking yeah. monolithic amount of work. To portray all four endings. There you go. Yeah. And as we've already discussed, the game goes out of its way to tell you when the game is about to end and makes a system save for you so that you can go and complete all of the content before you finish the game. It's almost like they knew people would be retarded and complained about this and put in an extra save just in case. And they still fucking complain about it anyways.
See, that's yep. the, that's the problem of being a programmer. Like you can you can design something to be as locked tight as possible, and you're still gonna find retards that are gonna find some something to bitch about with it, whether or not it's legitimate. Yeah, I feel so fucking bad for these people. That's why I feel bad for that developer that reached out to Acertard to uh, play his game, because you know, Acer is a fucking chalk looking retard. So it's like, oh well. I had trouble finding this thing that was out in the open. You need to make it more clear. And then the developer might take that fucking information and change the game in a way that might be detrimental to his game. Yeah. Because he's taking the advice of a complete fucking retard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like it, chat. Mmm, chalk. Mmm, <laughs> grands. Um... Number two, when the house doesn't win. This one is actually sourced directly to nexusmods.com for what is clearly a mod. Why are you using yeah. this? Why can't you use a normal screenshot? Yeah. That would require them actually playing the game, and we know they haven't. Yeah. Not every player chooses to join Mr. House to rule the strip. Most players opt to help the NCR or Legion control the Hoover Dam. Or... Or the solo path? Did, did, did you forget that one? The independent Apparently. Vegas. Yeah, there are four endings, you know. Both sides asked the courier to take out House before starting the final battle. The courier discovers that House is on life support inside an open chamber. Um, The chamber is actually closed. It's opening it. That, that That's a big problem. Because if yeah. you change your mind and put him back in, he's like... Yeah, I only have a year left and live now, thanks to you, you dumb fuck. <laughs> you killed me. Yeah, you killed me. Centuries of planning gone to waste. Um, the only defenses he has outside his chambers are four protect uh, protectrons and five securitrons. That is a lot of fucking firepower. Yeah. If you're playing on a hard difficulty, they will absolutely shred you to pieces. Yep. As they fucking should. Yeah. Because one person shouldn't be able to take out that many uh, very fucking high tier robots. All of his robot defenses can be disabled. I mean, the courier doesn't have to lift their weapon. <sighs> okay. Okay. So you found... So there's a way around the security so therefore bad what so if you're role playing as a hacker the the game is bad okay i like when i'm playing a role playing game and i choose a specific way to role play and the game doesn't allow me options to uh, play into that roleplay at all. Because fuck you. Oh my yep. god, I just saw the last one. Yep. Yep. Number one. It wasn't a finished game. Oh god. The glaring glaring issues oh. that Fallout New Vegas fans won't admit. This is like <laughs> the one thing people will admit. And it's still a great fucking game despite that. Yeah, 18 months, and they made this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as I've said before, even with an additional six months, it would have been a radically different game from what we got, and I would have loved to see even that version. But yeah. a version of New Vegas had two, three, four... Sorry, an extra six months is two years. But an, uh, like an extra year or two of development on top of what we got? Holy fuck. That game would be legendary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Fallout New Vegas was pitched, developed, and released a mere two years after Fallout 3. Chris Parker, Obsidian's co-owner, always intended for the game to be an expansion. Did he? I don't actually know that. Uh, I don't know that it's, either. It's possible. I, I don't know. It's possible they were like, hey, this is just going to be a, an expansion, but was told by the higher powers that be that it's going to be a full-on game. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the scope of what they're trying to do in uh, whatever their expansion was was just too big 
for Fallout 3, so they just made it a, um, its own game. Yeah. The development team had several plans in store, but were unable to bring them to life. Gamers could have chosen to play as a human, ghoul, or super mutant, but the game engine couldn't handle all the options. That's not New Vegas' fault. Yeah. Also, why couldn't the game handle those options? It seemed perfectly fine in fucking Oblivion. We were playing as, like, a normal human or a fucking lizard. I'm pretty sure you could. It's just they didn't do that because they didn't have the time to flesh it out. So they were like, well, we're not going to add it if we can't, you know, yeah. do much with it. Because it'd be weird if if everybody treats the super mutant the same as they treat a human. If it exactly. Weird, uh, yeah. The ghoul the same way they treat a human. Man, I would love to get that game, though. Holy shit. That would be super cool. Yeah. Um, the game had to be released in its current state. Luckily, project director Josh, uh, Josh Sawyer eventually released a mod called J. Sawyer. You mean J. Sawyer Director's Cut? They included various fixes, but couriers will always remain human. Okay. Wow, what a shit list. What does that have to do with... Yeah, that doesn't actually... Glaring issues that fans of New Vegas will not admit. This it's is... a glaring issue that you can't play as a ghoul or a super mutant. I mean, we should have the option, but development time, it's understandable why. Yeah, and it's not New Vegas. It's not Obsidian's fault that they had such a tight schedule. You could blame fucking Zenimax and Bethesda for that. So, point one. Sorry, let's go back to the top of the list. 25, that's just silly. 24, that's fucking retarded. 23, sure, Johnny Guitar plays a little too often. Fine, whatever. Uh, not everything is useful. That's fucking retarded. It's fine yeah. for junk items to be junk items. The fuck? Watch out for Good Springs. Man. Fuck it, I'm not going through all of it again. Yeah, I... there, there's like zero good points here. Yeah, I, I was hoping for at least like a, a few. I, I don't know. But this is the same website where if I go back to the, to the top, um, popular now for their articles, Obi-Wan is being review bombed as Disney calls out racists. No. Uh, what am I gonna expect from this website? Yeah, this website is pretty woke trash garbage. It very much seems like it. it well, that this, was fucking this painful. Shit, this this shit is why Beth is part of why Bethesda games keep getting fucking dumbed down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, people like Ace Attorney. People trying like to that. Fucking criticize them. I I don't have a whole lot of hope for Elder Scrolls Six. No, I, neither do I. I. No. I feel like I feel like I'm just gonna get more of the same from Skyrim, and I love Skyrim, but but I want to feel like I'm playing a fucking role playing game. Yeah, imagine it's, if, it's literally going to be a game for toddlers. Imagine if Skyrim was a role playing game. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Well, that's about it for today, I guess. Yeah, life sucks and you die. <laughs> yeah, oh, pretty no. much. Um, I'm just checking of the people I'm subscribed to who's live now. Uh, they're the only person live right now is Nina Infinity. So I'm going to see if I could send um, chat over there once we're done here. All right. Let's see, will this work? Yes, it will. So, uh, Nina Infinity is reviewing Stranger Things Season 4 Part 1. Uh, spoiler review right now. Um, so, once this stream ends in just a couple minutes, you'll be sent over to her stream. Um, I know nothing about Stranger Things, and I can't really comment on it, but yeah. Uh, anything we want to close out on? I'd say just have Arrogant Media uh, show their channel. Yep. Sure. Um, the Arrogant Media YouTube channel, where um, we're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. 
and uh, we've been doing some great discussions on things like Acer Thorn. We've had Kretosis, we've had Enclave Emily on, and I have uh, a video that I'm working on now that I'm no longer, uh, now that I have my voice back, I can finally get it going here. But uh, yeah, if, if you want to check it out and, and see, you know, you know, hear us out, then feel free to. Yeah, so go check out uh, Arrogant Media, everyone. Uh, link you. is in the description, or it should be. Yeah, I, I have a I have a lot of fun doing this. It's it's really great to be able to uh, not have to run a show myself sometimes. Oh, trust me, I know the feeling when I came onto your show. It's like, man, I don't have to fuck around with uh, making sure what's needed is on screen. I don't have to monitor yeah, that... chat. I could just it's fucking a... go. It's a relief, isn't it, man? Yeah. It's, man. But, no, I, I I really enjoy doing this with you guys. Whenever you want me back in, as long as um, I have the time available, absolutely. I, this is great. Well, a few weeks from now, we'll be doing uh, stag number 50, which is pretty much our year celebration thing. It'll be just under a year, but uh, still. Um, everyone who is on in the past is invited on for that. Uh, depending how many people want to come on, we might have to cycle some out. Um, will it, will it be on a Monday or a Sunday? Uh, today is Sunday, and this is episode forty four, so that should be on a Sunday. Okay, okay, I should be able to make it then. Cool. Um, anyways, have a good one, chat. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, good night. Good night.